<laughs> streaming early. No offense, dudes. Um. Well, I don't want to. Hang on, I'm trying to find out how to fucking. Uh, I don't want to. Okay, I got it. So, if you're ready, I'll just start. Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna start in just a minute. So if you'll bear with me, we'll be good to go, okay? But I'm gonna turn off for just a second. Yes, you would. Yes, you I would. would. Oh, no, but God. before you do that with what's your face, I, pro I thought you were amazingly like kind. I'm very, I mean, be right before that. Oh, well, you motherfucker, we yeah, just different life. answer, probably. You now, know. Oh, now that I know the way you asked me, no. Honestly. Yeah, they're chatting. Oh, you're, I'm you're totally hosting it, even when they collapse. Yeah, but, 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 but before you, you would have... Now, can you guys in chat hear I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm what saying I'm saying, or just what's on I, the screen? I don't, I don't trust most people already. It's like, for me to trust people, you know, it takes a huge amount of time, so... Oh, it's, it's, I think your video card is fucking easy. You already talked over this stuff, Aaron. Oh, what? No, I don't want it. Apparently, I'm echoing it. Well, you're never well you probably have an audio, extra audio copy of the fucking Baked Alaska stream going. No problem. I got a display capture. Maybe I can mute that. was very, like, I am not... I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm not going computers. We're gonna figure this out real quick, though, okay? I, um, I was very shocked at the way that mm -hmm. I was very shocked at you going on shows, throwing me under the bus today. Mm -hmm. I didn't. She was not No, she wasn't. Was that's what. It, that, that's what. Everyone. everyone okay, everyone, they're hearing everything, everything twice. Working. I'm gonna mute that. Now, see, the problem with this is, uh, streamy at least lets me preview a stream before starting it. There's, this is just silly on YouTube. Yeah. All right, I'm going to mute my desktop capture. I think that's probably what the problem was. Things are normal. Yeah, you're just right? catching it's too not much. Bugby. I'm used to it. It's not even, it's neither here nor there. It is what it is. I don't have any So, yes, yeah, so if you're watching over there with these people, you know, I would, uh, et cetera, et cetera. It just I would say let them know that uh, we've got some people very interested in talking to them. We want to get the Aaron on here. We uh, definitely, definitely would like to get Zoom on there because he's got some wonderful things to say to these wonderful people. I mean, I didn't say, I literally... Disable preview audio, huh? Are we, can they hear us right now? Yeah, they can, they're, they're hearing... Oh, he's saying copies. mute audio input capture. Yeah, I think that's right. Shame you as if you are it's probably catching your voice yeah. twice for some reason. All right, how about now? This person, I would have come on today and been a fame whore and said, No, nah, just from your voice. This, this, this. I would never Can you guys hear the babbling thought in the background? All right, if we get to a thousand viewers, I will tweet out her nudes. Oh, just throwing that out there. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Samaria said, and I hope those can be worked out. And, no, I, how does it feel I got cucked by Jeff? Uh, what? Okay, I I've got her nudes, bro. Like, I don't also, care. What? What? what do I? Do you think I'm thirsty for fucking like five out of ten? Well, That's nasty. I can do way better. In fact, I'm gonna do way better. Didn't want Aaron around you not yeah, but sometimes but available personal is personal better than better. You know what well, I mean? Well, you know the whole it's saying of bird in the hand is worth twice in the wish. The bird I got in my hand right now is not super happy about at me about today. I will say that. I think it's yeah, I a, saying, a hey, finger in the hand is worth two in the bush. I don't know. I just, it's very odd. Ooh. Talk about the vaginal that explains why my uncle didn't uh, didn't be to me, right? What do you know? Uh, let's, let's get back that's to how terrible. things were, Aaron. Well, you know, I mean, it's a loving family, right? Seriously. Dude, I can't believe how much we were fucking cucked this guy is. This is just so bad. All right, so for those of you in the audience who don't know what's going on, I just got done hanging out with Joaquim and Zoom in the Backyard Blood Sports on Scrub's channel. Although, do you, do you call it BYBS? It's called Scrub Sports over there. No, okay, no, it was just Scrub's show. It was Scrub's secret stream. And half the people on this uh, Andy Worski stream were talking with us, and now they're on his stream stealing all of our jokes and but playing patty cake have anything to reproach now that you and fuck that what happened but she has so i'm gonna let uh joaquin you can invite people in not okay 
And uh, okay, well, uh, let's see who wants to come in here. I'm just gonna go through. I think I still got the. I can't believe we're still using the same fucking hangout link. This hangout has been going for like a day and a half now. Yeah, why not? It's working. Right. Well, I'll send it to people. I mean, I don't know if anyone's even gonna want to hop on, but I, I got it. We'll find it and we'll, we'll put it out to the people. I asked the question as a fucking joke. No, I lost I know, the thing. It's, there it is. Okay. Oh, I accidentally sent it to Chuck Tingle. Oops. Oh, the guy who writes the books about getting fucked by his own book in the ass? Yeah, I was trying to get him on for something else, and I totally clicked on the wrong person and hit Control-V. But, you know, if we get Chuck on, I'd like to hear his opinion, too. Why not? You know, I, he, I, I know about him because he submitted his books to Humble Bundle and got approved. I submitted uh -huh. mine, I didn't get approved. Yeah, this is what I like <laughs> I should have after. had more getting fucked you in the ass by bitcoins, you. I guess. I don't know. Getting fucked in the ass by YouTube. Hey, you yeah, <laughs> that's more accurate. That or well, by uh, Brianna Wu and losing my Twitter. Every time I tweet that guy, he slides his fucking gigantic clip up my ass. <laughs> Sounds good. My husband will karate talk you. My husband came off the boat from Japan. He's a godless gook and he'll fuck you up. You're not wrong. Change the chat to live. It's censored. Yeah, we we can stream now and then yeah. and they'll they'll host us. I have no idea to do that, but I'll uh, I'll do it. Yeah. Host you? What do you mean? Uh, I see, the problem is I got all these big ass group teams, and if I put it in there, then it will just fucking ruin, like, people will get involved in the game. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want it. You should feel free I hope you guys are enjoying the first and last empty hero stream. <laughs> first and last. Really to it's high velocity incompetence. Which is how I try to live my life. God, did you just nuke it? What did you do? Oh, uh, some... Uh, the fucking chat is... Oh, I figured it out, okay. The chat's being censored because it's on top chat. And not live. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry, babe. And who does she have to thank for that? I legitimately have no idea what the fuck I'm no, doing. Me. Who, no, who does she That's have true. to thank for that? That's true. You're not wrong. She has no one to thank for that. She's the genius. She's the Do a Boyd She's impression? What, what, like like a Tweety Boyd? Fire. Or a, a and Red how, Boyd? And, how did you, and you found her because I put her on. The, that doesn't matter. I, I identify it talent. It doesn't matter. That people, people that put you I on... I did switch you to live you, chat, you, you motherfuckers. What are you talking like about? Inspired you guys and put you yeah, on. We're good to go. Always make sure to give you should just have dedicated fucking uh, window captures for the video instead of doing a full screen. Yeah, but if I go full screen, I can't see anything else. Hey, look, I I'll put it full screen, but then they won't know who's talking. No, that's what I'm saying is you're going full screen. You don't need to go full screen. Oh, yeah, try to shrink the window. window and shrink it down. Yeah, yeah, you're right. All okay. the edges. I really want to know. We're having technical difficulties, guys. We're only 924 viewers away from everybody seeing her nipples. Just throwing that out there. Seeing my nipples? No, no Aaron's nipples. Aaron's nipples. Oh, I'll pull my nipples out if it gets people in. I don't mind. <laughs> okay, I, I think I think she was threatened by... You J House Rock, I'm going to send you the fucking link because you're a funny guy. After... No, the last time I used OBS was to stream Star Fox on Twitch, and I had no audio, so it's been a while. It was like two years ago. Oh, no. No, would never. As she stays there overnight. Just rock, check the DMs and come hang out with us. Hangouts. In this little corner. I'm very... Okay, everyone, uh... We're gonna stick we around. Well, I'm gonna be sticking around with JF. Yeah, let's just we'll skip the hangouts. That's not fucking working. Thank you, you oh, thank God. Worski finally got done filleting himself so he can fucking actually get this dude in here. Dude, if he could fillet himself, he'd never show back up on stream. What are you talking about? <laughs> they would just find a withered horse, uh, husk of a corpse a few months later. Oh, the dick in a circle. And we're doing uh, let's play that our, our 10 minute videos. So go subscribe to that. JF's Frankly, none of your biz. Yes, I am. How much can I bench? I used to bench 270 until I broke my shoulders doing it. <laughs> now I do 200. Working my way back up. 
click on failure terminated. I'll be so, uh, what's the deal with Baked Alaska? I know, I know absolutely nothing about this guy except for he had a nervous breakdown last night. So, Baked Alaska, this is this is his fucking resume in a nutshell. Started off as a. Uh, he started off at BuzzFeed. I don't know why they picked him up, but he started out as a BuzzFeed guy. He was not doing very well over there. And so, uh, yeah, so he got he got fucking fired from BuzzFeed. Although I, I don't think he plays it that way. And he basically became Milo Yiannopoulos' catcher and tried to manage him, become the whole thing about that. Although Milo, I'm sure, would disagree with that because he's like, I made Milo. And he basically became the guy who was taking all the R the Donald and memes and like the watered down 4chan stuff and trying to monetize it. And then, uh, then Milo fell apart because it turned out he was a pedophile. And then he decided to try to go all right. All right, he was showing up on things like Fash the Nation and being all wannabe edgy, even though he really wasn't. You could fucking see it from those people. And so he kind of fell out of those circles. And then he, the last thing he had to get to relevance was he got to uh, Charlottesville and got fake maced in the face. And that was a whole thing. And so, yeah, the, the, the blood sports has been the most recent uh, horse he's hitched his wagon to, and he's tried to do. He's been decent at booking because he's such a you know whore. He's got a pretty big rolodex, can get people on. And but, you know, it's, it's funny just... you bring up Milo because when Trayvon Martin's lawyer, you know, dead Trayvon Martin, they tried to get one of my books delisted because he's a character in it. I I contacted um what's that paper Milo works for the the online. Uh, now he's working for Alex Jones, but he was working for Breitbart. Yeah, I, I sent out, you know, feelers to certain organizations that I thought might pick up this story. And he was supposed to be my contact, and that cocksucker never got back to me. Apparently, uh, Trayvon Martin's lawyer went on Amazon and looked up his name, and anything with his name or face on it, they DMCA to try to get uh, blood money. They, they told me I had to donate to their foundation, and I looked up the foundation. It was just the lawyer's personal PayPal account. <laughs> so I took his name out of the title, and, and I just fell off the radar. Jesus. But yeah, let's talk, let's talk about a little bit what's going on here. Because, uh, Zoom, you've got some critiques of the way that they've been handling us on the Worski show tonight, right? Yeah, I don't really appreciate them uh, sitting in our stream for like three and a half hours. And then the minute we close our stream, they go on their stream and basically just repeat every joke that we made. Like, I literally heard four or five jokes that I made in the scrub stream. I heard jokes that Empty made in the scrub stream. Like, no originality at all. And then they invite this fucking dude on and they just suck his dick for fucking four hours. They don't... There's no blood sports and anything. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, they're just sucking his dick. I mean, like, look, if they were handing out dick suckings, you know, we were all together before. How come I can't get my dick sucked? I got more right? fucking followers yeah, in Baked like, Alaska. They'll bring, they'll bring Aaron on, and she's just been sitting there barely talking for the past three and a half hours. This failure guy isn't talking. Like, all these people are on, and they're not even talking. They're just letting this fucking baked dude talk shit about uh, Medicare, and nobody's saying anything. And it's like, where are their balls? Like, the only one that had any balls... Dude, the really only one that had so. any balls all night is fucking that Samira chick. So, so apparently, Bake's like, yeah, we're gonna have our stream and we're gonna have Aaron on. And he's like, Aaron, you're coming over, right? No! <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> fucking denied. She yeah. can come on our stream. Yeah, we would love to have Aaron on. Uh, I wouldn't say love. She's kind of a... Filthy... No, mythic. okay, fair enough. We would very much appreciate her, her business <laughs> and her time. I mean, look, I'm not selfish. I drop a batch on her face because I'm romantic like that. She's not special. Although I do, when I drop that batch, I do whisper, you're special. I really hope they get baked in here, too. I got a lot more to say to him. I think I'll be able to help that boy. I, I, I feel like your sort of help is the permanent sort of help. Yeah, it's going to be good for him. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Look, man, if he'd have listened to me and just got off, it would have been fine. Oh my god, I just went into fucking Baked Alaska's uh, Discord, and it's literally my old Discord people. They just took it over. Yeah, I know. It's fine, I, noticed, I noticed the anal and all those unfunny people are in there. That's fucking hilarious. They just made it theirs now. Oh my god. Well, you know, I had like five of your... Backyard Bloodsports discords 
And I didn't know which was which, so I just deleted them all. <laughs> I can't keep track of all that shit. The only, real, the only one that I, I, I'm i on is the one that uh, is linked on my Twitter. But, you know, whatever. People want to do their own stuff. It is what it is. But, you know, don't, don't stand on my shoulder's neck like you're tall. At this point, we are the blood god. Thanks, Mark Zuckerberg. Are, are you talking directly to Dominic Vanner? <laughs> is he in the chat? <laughs> little fucking midget, get a job. I can that. Nobody bitch. got it. Nobody got it. It was like, okay, come on. Just watch a fucking movie for once. Her dad said it first. Damn. Uh, Ka the Snake of Two, you're my hero. Okay. Okay, babe. Drilling over a thought. Oh my god. So is that guy French or does he have like a learning disability? Yeah, he's, uh, he's Quebecois. He's French. He's a learning disability? Yes. <laughs> oh no. I don't know, JF is like, he's really smart, but, you know, to the point where it's kind of difficult for him to communicate sometimes. He's too smart yeah. for the room. Yeah. Like me. It'll be like, <laughs> right? Yeah, blood sports are like reunion shows for reality TV. That's so fucking true. That's so funny, because I, I was sort of got, I was, I got off the stream the other night, and I was going through Twitter, and some just random ad popped up, because I click on literally everything I see. And it oh, was um, I think about Jersey Shore. Like, where hey, are they now? What's all this horrific just... porn? Oh, I just click on everything. I don't discriminate. Just everything gets up. <laughs> right. But yeah, it's it's just like Jersey Shore, but more of a dumpster fire. In case they uh, all crap out, I'm gonna get like a Super Nintendo game or something set up, so we have a visual. Yeah, it's not the worst idea. Not the worst idea. Scrub this Pokemon. It's not. A, it's not a bad thing to do. Dude, Pokemon is the fucking devil. It, it's it's Maybe I should an OCD that. feeder. It feeds people's OCD. No. Just constant right. levels and whistles and bings and wahoos. <laughs> JF or whatever. Yay, Quebecois. No, that would be his ex girlfriend. I can't tell him apart. It's a beard apocalypse. French and disabled are one and the same. He could be French and have a learning disability. JF is French autistic. JF is a thought collector. Empty. What do you think of this retarded drama? TBH, they couldn't have a script. They couldn't have scripted this better. Literally, all the IBSE celebs in one shot bantering with each other. French is a learning disability. Empty, why are you engaging in the drama? For Empty, profit. why are you engaging in drama? <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I don't, I don't know if this stream is monetized or super chat. So don't go. Oh, he's in it for the money. I'm doing it for you, not for love, not for honor, but for you. LMA, true. LMAO, true. It's all fake now. Is one of these guys Smegma Kim? Oh, she's doing okay? the voice. Sometimes you should I be doing it. It's kind of an insult, I think, to do the voice with somebody in real time. It kind of insults their intelligence. Chewy Boar. Yahoo, yippee. Bing, bing, wahoo, yippee. That's right. I just, I think it's sad that they think that this guy is not completely fucked. I mean, maybe there will be a core of people that will continue to suck his dick, but... His whole thing is, like, if he had begun, grown organically, yeah, that'll stick around. But he never grew organically. He he basically hitched a wagon and then sold out immediately. And so the people that he thinks are going to be the ones that stick around are the ones sticking around because he has a microphone and because people talk to him and take his call. Nobody's taking his call once it's no longer, hey, you want to have baked Alaska on to further self-destruct? Yeah, you don't fucking just piss in the mouth of your fans and expect <laughs> expect them to keep coming around. Right? I mean, my fans, right. they're, they're degenerate, filthy animals, but I love them. Oh, you should see mine. <laughs> well, I, I am seeing some aquas in the chat, so I assume they came uh, yeah, from... Yeah, I was okay. all right. I'm so confused. You're not my Edward. You're a big guy. Snake eater. Raid Britbong. Aqua's leaving rent free in Joachim's head. True. For free? OMG. What on earth did I just walk into? You don't want to know, honey. LOL. Scrub versus Joachim, 24-hour speed reading race. I would be down with that. Who are these LARPers? Empty Hero, please say hot man, molasses in your smegma uh, king voice. Molten hot mahogany man molasses in your mangina, baby. That's horrifying. <laughs> ah, I love you, Empty Hero. Black Alaska. Who are you LARPers? With how much? For you. Baked has a micropenis. Smegma king Siri replacement files win. Ooh, that that's down. a good idea. Our guy old meme. Yeah, that is kind of an old meme now. Our based Jew. That's kind of, I think that was the moment it went over the fucking thing, when Halsey was on and he was like saying vaguely right-wing things and it was like, yeah, Halsey's so fucking based, are you, are you, like, oh god, do you not, do you not get that, do you not understand how fucking unironically stupid you look? Hey, Joaquin, you want to hear a, a terrific Jew story? Can you guys in the sure. chat can enjoy this too? 
When I was in boot camp for the Air Force, and, and by the way, I never fought or killed anybody, so don't go praising me, okay? Uh, in the last week, we had an Israeli soldier transfer into our unit, and he never took any tests. He never had to work out. He was just kind of our, our like, uh, uh, token Jew for some reason. And the first thing he did when he came in was he said that you guys have a great training instructor, and I love him and you love him. Let's buy him a watch. And he went to everybody, and he collected a $20 bill from 40 people to pay for a $200 watch. And I, I was the only guy from the East Coast, so I had a fucking brain. And I did the math, and I'm like, it, it, there's a $600 surplus here. What the fuck? <laughs> they stomped that motherfucker flatter than his leavened bread. <laughs> Never saw him again after that. He left the next day. They put him in a different group. Uh, that's fucking funny. All right, where did I leave off? So this is this baked Alaska is really artificial. Baked is a list list e celeb. Raid Britbong and gas the Jews. Listen to you. Smegma King is my only king. Baked has a lot of loyals from his entrance to the alt right that haven't left. That's true. Those people are called retards. Lol. Listen to you. Listen to you. Weren't most of these guys trying to be political commentators at some point? Yes. Well, no. I, I think Baked was the only one who took it seriously. Andy's an entertainer. JF is using Andy to try to further the alt-right and bring more people around to race yeah. realism in the day, too. Tonk is a fucking wrestler. He's a he's a wrestling promoter and entertainer. And Failure is a YouTube guy. Um, I think that I think the problem was is that Baked was the only one that took this seriously, and that's why he lost. Hey, real quick, um, just for the chat, uh, if we're playing a game, which one of these games you guys want to play? Hmm? Take a quick look. That's what you got. When people start that interested, these audiences are so movable. It's, it's the all right, anyway, keep going if that's all right. That yeah, go ahead. Aha! Uh -huh. Based black guy. Fucking based. Can I have a dollar? No. M mute Joaquin. Smeg my solo stream, please. BYBS is best BS. Objectively true. Fucking based. Gas Halsey. Objectively true. Please stop. Oh, god damn it. Please stop trolling Britbong. His parents are beating him and he's screaming at us in Discord. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of my new favorite memes. Jim is the friend that Bake needs but doesn't deserve. No. Zoom is the friend that Bake needs and doesn't deserve. Uh, Jim is, yeah, Jim's or, being really nice lately. I don't know why. Uh, he's he just sat over there. A new leaf. Leaf. He just sat there and let a bunch of fucking cocks suck this dude's dick and talk about how pretty this girl is. Now they're trying to get Aaron on. I really liked how Jim called that they were going to ask Aaron to come on as a guest host once a week. Yeah. <laughs> he said it like 20 <laughs> minutes before For they being even invited painfully her. average? What the fuck? All right, where was I? Halsey's live with Ray Savage right now. That's cool, I guess. Whatever. Holy shit, you were in the chair force. Wicked sick. LOL, I'm just a guy watching LARPers view Bloods, watch Bloodsports for views. LARPers! I think he's calling us Jews. That's cool. Thanks for watching. He was a spy. Also probably true. Did he have to change his own diaper? Smegma Kang! Oh, fuck, where is he? God, I hate this thing that just bounces around. Now it's going fast again. Did he have to change his own diaper? Smegma Kang. Must have been a really expensive watch. Listen to you! That's his really charity for you. Oy vey. You guys also forgot that Baked also leached off. He will not divide us. That's fucking right. He totally, totally saw that. Totally saw it. Well, he fucking wrote a book on meme magic. Like, this is the only guy who got on 4chan and was like, huh, I can make a buck off this. Even fucking Moat couldn't figure He's out He's not the only one, shit. pal. <laughs> some other people have, have written some shitty meme books. Yeah. Let's yeah. forget. That was just, that was good. Did, did you see it all last night? The guy kept waving the book around like it actually meant something. He didn't write that book. That motherfucker can't even read. You think he can write a book? He's written more books than he's read. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Pretty much. Andy, entertainer. Play Tetris, R-Type. Gradius, Clock Tower, Turtles in Time, TMNT. Play whatever you want, honey. Gradius 3. Techni, I can't fucking speak that shit. Clock Tower, R-Type. Turtles in Time is always fun. Clock Tower. Techie Muyo, Super Mario All-Star. <laughs> I am the Easter Bunny, and I am the Egg. Egg rhymes with Smeg. <laughs> Gradius Duke. Probs Clock Tower, Turtle in Time fam. Clock Tower, Super Mario. The most boring JRPG on SNES. Oh my god, why does it do this to me? Uh, baked has always been a leech. Shalom, Goyam. Shalom. The intervention, baked, the intervention on Baked needs to be done by actual professionals to deal with his blackening. I think he means blacking. BTFO. He wasn't nice last night. It's amazing to me that Baked, Andy, and JF all for, fell for the stupid thought. Jim is buttering up these autists. Walking oh, wait, wait, volcano. wait. Is, is JMA so in the stream? Hold on. JMA. Okay. Where's my special little boy? What name's he using? 
Joaquin the Volcano. Joaquin the Volcano. Best blood sport fighter. I like that. Huh? Hey, if Jamal's here, I want to bring him in. Yeah, bring him on. Jim is going to troll them. Epic stuff. Fucking epic. You know, Baked is scraping the barrel when he has a low life me like Mexican Andy on. Also, Super Google and Ghost. Fuck, I'm disappointed in JF especially. Jim got the higher dose oxys. Probably true. Jim is now sitting alone with a frown face. Brittany Venti is our tit sloth. Smegma is literally a larper and I love him for it. That's so mean. I like sloths are cute and she's got good tits. What's wrong with that? These are chameleons. So People did you fly planes into the Air Force, or were you a just a grease monkey? Can uh, I answer that? I was a uh, air traffic controller at oh, Keesler Air Force impressive. Base, and the base got hit by Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> That's a long story. TBH, I think Jim is just getting really tired of the fucking state of the internet right now. Never underestimate a beta male's thirst for thoughts. He can't come up with any of his own ideas. Empty, what happened to some of your original videos before you edited them? Ba Baked Andy, LOL. JMAA re raid. I think he's also saving his passion. JMAA Raid, JMAA Raid. Baked wrote the, that book entirely off Reddit. Oof. When will Smegma King be selling his own Smeg in a jar? Onion Raid. He needs to get maced again. Jim might call it quits for the Medicare channel soon. Probably true. Can you read Spanish? Viva España cojones? Viva Spanish balls. That's nasty. Spread those ass cheeks for us, empty. Get Jens going and just play Thunder... Spicy. Well, because uh, we are uh, constantly hunted by manlets in, in our real life, I do think Clock Tower is probably the better choice. Oh, there you go. There you go. Are, oh, you, uh, are you familiar Force. with Clock Tower, Joaquin? Only in the Texas school book one. Okay. Is it, going? Is I gotta it like mess with these settings. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, I think so, too. The signs are there, and he didn't make that one publicized post on Patreon that he had cancer aids. You have to play Gradius gradually. Gradually. He's not here. It was a joke, silly, at Empty Hero. JF is a gay frog. Hey, guys, don't get my fucking hopes up telling me the, the king of YouTube, Jama, is here when he's not. That's too cruel. Now I got a fucking uh, blue balls and a priapism. I got my onions out of the drawer for nothing. It's not cool. Jim Jambo Jet, who now? Literally a gay frog. I can't get on, but you're se very sexy, Empty Hero. Oh. Fuck your Super American gas. It's super fresh and it's super gay. Give me milkies. Uh, get us to a thousand views and we'll talk. Jim might purge soon. Not gonna lie, every time Jim leaves and comes back, he comes back strong as hell, so I don't think it's a bad thing for him in the long run. Jim should come back with a new name like Jim82 Jim. I've been gluten free for a week and fat, too, fat free for two. Wow. <laughs> what <you're getting>. <laughs> What's that gotta do with anything? I just, he wanted to let us know because that's the gluten free are like the new vegans. They just gotta let you know. Do you have gluten-free options? Uh, no, but I've got a fucking 9mm here. My fucking my cum's gluten-free. Fucking drink some of that. But is it vegan? Uh, yeah. It's my... technically an animal product. Yeah, I mean, it does turn into a baby at some point. Smegmer has a Tom Cruise Jack Nicholson voice. Alaska got mad when the thought laughed at Jim jokes. Literally nice guy mad at the bully who gets the girl. Dude, that girl was coming in her fucking panties when Zoom was making fun of her fucking buddy in front of his face. Like, I don't know. I don't know why he thought that thoughts are going to be loyal. It was the yeah, alpha so. dog behavior. They crave it. Public service announcement. These oh, hoes are yeah. not loyal. Now they're going to spend fucking three hours rehashing what life was like before they met Baked Alaska and why Baked Alaska is a cuck. You know, because they won't do it to his face. Yeah. The, you know, they'll wait till he leaves the channel to talk shit about him. What a bunch of pussies. Yeah. Well, Andy's like fucking 120 pounds. I might, as, I might as well just write him fucking talking points and hand them to him before the stream. Because that's literally what he did today. Kinda. And real quick for the chat, um, you know, my eyes aren't as good as they used to be. So if you do spot an evil man lit in the game, let me know, okay? What was that one game where you play the chick with the dog and you gotta hide all the time? That is Haunting Ground, which is a, a, yeah. a pseudo-sequel to Clock Tower. JMAA reminds me of the retard. That <laughs> Debilitas. Yeah. <laughs> Except for instead of going, mmm, Dolly, he goes, mmm, onions. <laughs> he fucking splits you open like an onion. <laughs> Jim needs to purge anyway. When V likes you, you know it's time to leave. True. Empty here and the other guy. How tall are you, lads? Spell I C U P I C U P. Oh, he made you. Respect for man you don't even know what he just I made you do. I, I see a P. I see a P. It's funny. All, all on clock tower. L O L. Tur. 
Who the fuck learned to spell? Jim wants in. Not true. True. Actually, Jim has this hangout link. If Jim wants in, it's the same old fucking hangout link. I can't respect manlets. Stop Ooh. running, you fucking slut. What the fuck? Stop Did it! Walk him. I can't hear him anymore. I don't know. Am I muted? Probably. Jim likes V. Weirdest timeline. Move my move closer to the microphone, you chump. No, don't read loud. this. Too fucking bad. Uh, I can't read a face. Jim was in here. Check his Twitter. Oh shit. Turn up desktop audio and turn down the game. Uh, I'm gonna check my fucking Twitter. Real hmm. quick Can you guys not hear the game? Um, well, I'm listening to the my circle. I'm not listening to the output on this. Oh, I'm asking the uh, the fans. I don't. <laughs> you don't need to hear oh, the yeah, game. Oh yeah, Jim is actually on there. Jim is actually oh. on there. I, I fucking already DM'd him. What does yeah, he want from me? Jim, let's go. Jim, get on here. Yeah, I want to talk about why Andy's being Jesus. a faggot. I want to get some fucking Indian tech support so I can get this fucking slut up this staircase. Come on. Okay, so everybody just start spamming. Let's get the fucking Jim people in here. Um, oh, here, this is not from the chat, but this is from somebody. Holy mother of God, a buddy of mine asked me to listen to Chapo's Trap House. My, oh, fuck, where did it go? Ah, God, I hate you, Twitter. Holy mother, holy mother of God, a buddy of mine asked me to listen to Chapo Trap House. My ears are menstruating from the high nasal, no Adam's apple soy goys. That's great. Yes, good boy Jim is apparently watching and wants to come in. Uh, Jim, Jim, come hang out with yes, us. Come in. The door is open. How could he resist a high quality <laughs> clock tower SNES just stream? Just burying people. Yes, just this is just not going to stop. Now we're going to become a twenty-four hour baked Alaska channel. We are we are doing twenty-four hour ops, just not on Discord. We're just going to do my YouTube fucking show. Is he the new Chris Chan? We're going to know every facet of his life. <laughs> oh, hey, man. I think one of the funniest things that ever happened oh, to Chris Chan was when somebody baited him into thinking they were a girl, and he sent that Sonic Shoe medallion. And they just sent him back a video of all the different ways they're destroying it. Yeah, they, they put hilarious. in the pickle jar and then he shoved it up his ass. Although I do think I just heard Jim say hello and you just totally ignored him. What's up, Jim? That, that, oh, hello, that's Jim. Fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I like the one with the, uh, what was the fucking kid's name? Blue 14 or whatever it was, the one oh. that got him to cut the medallion up and shove it up his ass? Yeah, the one that pretended to be a girl. Yeah, that was some good shit. Did you see today somebody paid him $150 to look two pictures of penises he drew on his wall? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I saw somebody sent me a fucking video on Twitter of some dude. I couldn't tell it was Christian. It was somebody just licking cocks on a wall, and I was like, what the fuck is this? You didn't notice the Sonichu barbs on the biggest dick? <laughs> Although I guess it could be a Rosichu dick. He did say that she's a man now. Man, there you go. Oh, Jesus. What was going on in that stream, Jim? You were being, like, so, like, laid back. I don't know. I, I'm just. I, I'm. I, I'm. I, I think I'm burnt out. I don't know. I can't. These people. Dude, I kept yeah. going. Like, can somebody get me on there so I can talk to this retard? He's just lying out of his fucking teeth. Like, he's like, oh, I don't believe you, dude. He said right in front of him, multiple times, that like I think he said it like 17 times. They got different clips of him, where he's like, um, you know, any woman that has sex with her student, no matter what age they are. They're doing the community a service, and they should be given a salary and a raise. <laughs> How fucking dry is his dick that that's, that's the way he thinks? And he was, like, openly saying that. People are like, are you serious? He's like, yeah, I'm fucking serious. That totally is what I want. And no one said anything. I, I didn't get the whole, like, Bay kept going on about, well, last night he was going on about, uh, oh, you're getting a hold of my manager. Um, and like having people call him, which which I didn't do, and then today he's like, "You're doxing this guy. You're doxing this guy." Yeah, that was bullshit. Like the he... guy's fucking face is on the cover of that book in like six different puzzle pieces. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> he's so undercover, man. I got the I got the audio book and I was listening to it and just cracking up. Oh, I, I've got to ask. I hate to do this, but I'm not echoing him. I like that stream no, fucked me not. up. Now I think I echo in every <laughs> fucking stream. I'm going oh, you're good. At least I, I don't know. Yeah, any problems with the stream will be due to my incompetence, okay? Hey, do you guys want to see like... me get killed by this bird real quick? You can yeah, fucking do it. Let's see it. get killed by a goddamn parrot. I let my niece play this game because it's the only game I have with a girl that's not some perverted Japanese thing. <laughs> and she gets killed by little birds and little puppet puppets. You Jim, can't you hear like it. When you come on their stream and people are just like, who the hell is Jim? <laughs> yeah, because then it's a normal conversation. <laughs> they know who I am, but not you. That's how backwards it is. <laughs> no, that, yeah, because then it's just a laid back conversation. And there's no weirdness. It's just a, uh, whatever. Just talk shit kind of thing. Yeah. 
Hey Jim, hey guys, uh, real quick. I feel bad for you, man. Yeah, that, that Aaron girl. Would you uh? Would you give her a batch? I wouldn't touch that fucking word. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you mean on more like an existential level, like her as a a being that exists disgusts you. No, I mean as a human being. If I fucking <laughs> met her in person, I'd be like, get the fuck away from me. Like. I, I, she she bakes life's imploding and this bitch is just spotlight hop and you know loving every second of it and now at the end of the stream he's like oh aaron come back on my stream like she just said nope wow <laughs> i man. was laughing so hard he was he was just so happy about this fucking sh shiite bitch and she's just like shitting all over this aaron girl and he says absolutely nothing. He walks away in his little Cobra Kai gold fucking jacket. And he looks like a douchebag. He, he looked like he was going to be like in the Bollywood version of Drive. Oh, by the way, the yeah. man music is playing, so keep an eye out, chat, okay? He had nothing to say the entire time when she shit. He just walks away. And then, like, he comes back and he's just like, Oh, she made a joke about Jews? What? Well, I guess I'm gonna throw her under the bus, too, because I have no fucking spine, because I'm a little fucking cock. Yeah, I probably could have worded it better, man, but I just, I don't like, I, I can't stand the flip-flopping shit. Like, I, I'm all for fucking shit. with people online and stuff, it but... It's so fucking gay. I, I like consistency. I don't give a shit. You could be the most left-leaning fucking lib shit, I don't care, or the most right-leaning fucking, you could be straight up 1488, but at least just be consistent with it. Don't just flip around whatever, you know, wave you can ride to get money it pisses me off. Yeah, he was literally telling people, like, uh, that people stopped him in the streets. <laughs> he has 12,000 okay. subs. Nobody's stopping him in the streets besides the police just to ask why he's standing across the street. When they're That's stopping him, he's wearing hate speech on a university campus and he starts quoting nautical law. Oh, yeah, that fucking double rallies about how much he does, yeah. Yeah, wait, how does that line up with that fucking music video he released where he's sucking cop dick and then he's screaming at the cop about fucking maritime law in a stream a fucking year later? Dude, he's a retard. Like, wait, what does sucking dick have to do with maritime law? I don't well, know. Oh, you were in the Air Force, not the Navy, so maybe you wouldn't get it. <laughs> you, you, you have to see the uh, the Baked Alaska... What is the name of the fucking rap he does? I love the... Is it, it's literally called I Love the Police, isn't it? It's a three-minute rap video where he's he's got an American flag draped over himself, and he's singing in front of a, co a cop car about how he loves the police. I don't think he knows, like... I would just love if the cop didn't understand what he was doing and just shot him right in the middle of a stupid fucking <laughs> video. Aerated his fucking lungs. Well, he's white. He's not black. They're not going to do that. Well, yeah, that's why it was so weird watching him freak out. Like, he, he, you know, I love the police. I love the police. But then the cop stops him. He's like, can I see some ID? Because, you know, you're running around campus calling, uh, telling girls you're going to rape them. <laughs> and he's like, I don't have to do that under maritime law. He's just going off on him. Dude, what the hell was he talking about? He was fighting Antifa last night. I saw the pictures. It looked like he, he was just being bullied by black women on the street. I, I didn't even oh, watch it. talking about when he was in Charlottesville and he faked getting maced. I think the funniest part about that Charlottesville thing was that one Antifa girl that claimed that she was like, that she just, she was standing there and somebody just ran up and punched her. And you just watch her like run up and try to attack this dude from behind and he just punches her right in the face. No, no, that was the Battle of Berkeley because that was Nathan D'Amigo of Identity Europa. Was it? They, I get the yeah, the girl with the dreadlocks who did the porn. Was it? Was that the one that asked for the money? She they all the ask for money. How is that? Yeah, no, that's like a common thing, isn't it? I, I mean, I know I'm a faggot. I've got a Patreon, but I mean, that's that's become the standard fucking practice, hasn't it? Is to fucking beg for money every second. Well, YouTube uh, <laughs> doesn't really make it easy to make money on their shitty platform anymore. This yeah, is my first ever down. stream, and it's demonetized. I'm already in the naughty boy corner. Well, that's because, you know, Twitter and YouTube, they're all best friends with Google, and Brianna Wu probably threw one of her <laughs> banana tentacles into oh, fucking YouTube. Yeah, for the audience who d doesn't know, um, my Twitter got deleted today because I tweeted pictures of Brianna Wu to Brianna Wu. <laughs> Must have scared them because they weren't doctored ones like he usually looks at. And now You're I'm IP banned. Is it an edited or post op? Uh, no, he still has his dingus. <laughs> his giant throbbing <laughs> cock is nice and fucking present yeah, in the image. His daddy, Larry Flint, uh, did not opt for the uh, extra surgery. He likes it kinkier that way. That's not actually Larry Flint's kid, is it? Uh, I think it's either his son or his nephew, uh, due to many reasons. But uh, my favorite is that when Brianna Wu brags about having gotten $200,000 to start his, you know, quote-unquote animation studio, 
it coincides exactly with the time Larry Flint's children and uh, nieces and nephews got two hundred thousand dollars each because he uh, was molesting them. <laughs> apparently, I feel I, like if I was getting molested, I'd want more money than that. Yeah, but he's crippled, so it was limp. You know, he just kind of rubbed it on their faces, I guess. That's probably what Brianna would what drove Brianna Wu to become Brianna. Wu. He kept making her be a little sissy girl. Uh, yeah, I haven't even been following his uh, whole political thing. Like, is 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 Brianna still doing that, or did they fucking get common sense and stop? He's collecting money, but he's not on the ballot. That's <laughs> a new scam. That's. Oh great. yeah, I forgot he was running for office. What the fuck? Yeah, in my home state. Oh hey, Spectre, how you doing? How's it going? I, I, I was just giving this and like, hey, come on here. Is Baked on here? No. Oh, man. Waste of time. We're just talking shit on Baked. Because he's... He, is he live streaming? Oh, yeah. He should be live streaming now. It's a... Yeah, he's live streaming. Oh, you gotta... Don't, 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 don't stream Stepshin him. Otherwise, he'll send his goon squad over to, like, ruin well, we your freaking... his chat. Fuck, man. Let's get, let's get our people in there. Because Zoom's got, like, a hundred things fucking ready to roast him with. Oh, it was, it was it was great last night because Ralph Retort is like streamceptioning him. He literally sends his goons to Ralph's Discord to take it down, and then it's like, and he's like, everybody raid, everybody raid Bake's uh Bake stream, and Bake's like, don't do that. No, Bake's hey. not live yet. Bake's not live yet. You are like little baby. You 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 have one stream says we were streamcepting Ralph Retort streamcepting Bake Alaska. We don't fuck around. Well, I'm like, uh, like, I I'll fully admit, I, I was watching Ralph's thing, because I love Ralph, and, like, he's like, you know, I'm, and Baked is like, I'm there fighting for this country, <laughs> in his little stolen valor camo fucking t-shirt there. Thank you. Thank you. And Nobody else was calling that out. That dude's never fucking served. He shouldn't be wearing OCP. That's well, fucking No, that, that's, that's the thing. It's like, and I'm, I'm sitting there triggered as fuck. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I, I, I put the uniform on and shit, and I see stuff like that. In fact, I had to deliver the death notice to the family of one of my Marines because they were recently killed over in fucking, I can't, I'm not going to say fuck, where yeah. they, were, they were killed. And I hear shit like this, and I'm like, no, you motherfucker. You're a beta man, you're a bibbity bobbity bitch. You're a fucking beta man. You just call shit. him a bibbity bobbity bitch? I did. I called him that. I even is that a that magical spell? Life. What the fuck? It is. It is. Now, it, it, it's, it's how you turn into a uh, pumpkin a beta male into a further beta male. And I'm like, you're a LARPing little fuck. You are no better than Antifa. Okay, all, all, the, all this shit about you're fighting for the country? No, motherfucker. Walk your fat ass down to the fucking recruiter. Do a four-year stint. You know, you'll lose the fucking weight, believe me. And then you can come out with a little bit of fucking self-esteem and you'll be so much better. And then you can say you fought for the fucking country. Or at least you put the uniform on. But well, he's such a druggie, no one would take him at this point. What's he, he can't even lie to the recruiter and say, oh yeah, I just smoked weed a few times. Because that dude's on stream doing drugs constantly. Let's be real here. We saw him. Oh, sure. fucking the only, the, the only thing he's been fighting against is diabetes. <laughs> he he's not fighting. Well, he is named after a kind of ice cream cake, isn't he? Is that what that is? Yeah, Baked yeah, Alaska. It's like a, yeah, it's like some kind of ice cream. It's like, I keep Googling Baked Alaska, and it's like, there's an ice cream cake, which, by the way, as as a fatty myself, I will probably uh, look into that, be that as it may. It's like, I I'm listening to him say shit like this, and, and it's like, I I'm very upset with Andy and JF, because it turned from really getting on his ass to, let's hug this shit out. And I'm sitting here yeah, like... I, mean, I was in here earlier. I know Andy doesn't jerk off, but he doesn't need to fucking jerk baked off. Yo, it's even funnier the second time. <laughs> Sometimes they deserve seconds, you know. That's why I don't write them down, man. You got to do them when they're hot. Exactly. I I'm sitting. I'm sitting. There. I was like, I, we, we're baby babysitting essentially. Uh, my roommate's friend's dog, and I was like, yeah, you're gonna need to take the dog because I, you know, I, I was expecting to go on Worski's show to tear into him. And I'm like, you need to take him because I'm probably going to get loud and I don't want to get bit by him again. And, um... <laughs> you get bit by I, dogs? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't respect was, uh, you as the alpha, buddy. You got to dry was, hump him. You know, I know. I, I need, <laughs> need to assert my authority. Um, 
but it's like I, even I'll admit I was fucking triggered by that and it was like but it was great because it's like you know Aaron would you date him if you were single fuck no mm. right in front of 5,000 people yeah well now uh, that we've done some research the next day it turns out both the girls in that apartment had boyfriends right yeah yeah they did there was no oh. single available women there although that girl was totally willing to cheat on her boyfriend and Bake was just not doing it well, how, I, th how, I, I think the numbers actually add up because there were there were two chicks there, right? Uh, but like three of the guys were gay, so <laughs> there's a number of, fucking, of fucking women in that apartment. What when Bates when's Bates gonna get it through his head that every woman he works with is using him? First it was Base Mama to get her little fucking ball pit going, Ooh. and now it's Erin to get this fucking tit job. I mean, at some point he has to fucking realize that shit is not what it seems. I told him last night, there was a single woman in that house that wanted to fuck with him, and the very sight of him in his camo outfit could cause a barren wall. And fucking Aaron grabbed her sides and bent over and was cracking up in his face. And he said nothing. She admitted on stream, we got her wetter than Bake did. And we were making fun of her the entire time. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm like sitting there and everybody's, you know, I'm watching like Bake's chat. And it's like, you know, oh, Erin is absolutely gorgeous. I'm like, she's like a four of ten at best. But as Marine, my standard is it has a hole in oh, the yeah. pulse. So I'll, I'll hey. fuck her. It's like, I'll give her the most disappointing eight seconds of her life. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Samaria, you know, I'd marry her. I, you know, she, she was putting Erin on her ass and it was great. A and I'm okay with that. But it was like... I don't get it. Why do you guys like blondes so much? I've never been a blonde guy personally. And it's a fake ass blonde. Like her roots are showing. Right? Right? It's like, it's like, you're not even. She's saving up money for her titties to afford a read that. See, the, the roots aren't showing though. The peroxide from the blonde is actually sunk into her head. So it's not really the roots showing at that point. I just want to throw this out there. I like how very specific and repeatedly they're just like, no, of course we're not doing coke. There is definitely no coke being <laughs> done here. They are very, very sure and loud to put that out there that they were not doing coke. They just drugs. all had the sniffles simultaneously. No big deal. Yeah, that one dude's nostril is like way bigger than the others. Oh, wait, he's got a meth arrest. He's got Never fucking mind. Lang nose going on. Jim, how did, where did you get that from? That's fucking hilarious that that guy was busted for DUI meth. Uh, that was from, uh, like, Ralph did a follow-up stream the next day, <clears throat> and I think it came out on that, because he was, like, going through shit, um, because he was playing the guy's videos and shit, uh, and it got linked during that time that he got busted for, for math. Like, I, I, I have to say that the entire fucking thing, I feel bad in terms of, you know, I, I'm not okay with doxing in general. When it comes to somebody like Ross... You know, even I'll say, you know, this this is not a case of fucking with someone. It's literally protecting children. Uh, so I'm okay with doxing and something like that. But something like this, I wasn't okay up until he engaged in a little hubris and said, nobody's going to fucking do anything, followed by, I'm not going to be fired. It's like, well, okay then. Challenge accepted. No balls in entire fucking chat. That's going to end well yeah, for you. Well, yeah, he started the shit. I mean, he started bantering with the chat, acting like nothing was going to happen. And then he was dumb enough to say his name and then make stupid statements. So they thought they'd fuck with him. And then after that, all this other shit comes out. Like, what kind of dumb motherfucker asks a cop when he pulls you over and he's digging through your car and he says, do you want me to give you anything from in there? Yeah, can you hand me my meth? That's why he got arrested. He asked the cop to give him the shit that had his meth in it. And the cop's like, you're fucking retarded. You're under arrest. <laughs> Uh, and then his he father. Like, I'm autistic. Leave me alone. Please. Yeah, yeah. And his dad wrote a book about dealing with an autistic sped of a son. <laughs> and like his, his his dad's user handle. Like if you look it up and shit, everything the dad has online is focused on how fucking autistic his child is. Like there's it's nothing just, that's just the dad. It's just that family's entire it. fucking paycheck comes from how autistic that guy is. I wish I could disappoint my dad that much. Holy shit! His <laughs> sister knows that talks about what a fuck up he is too. About how. <laughs> You, you know, I have to wonder if uh, I have to wonder if Chad's father, you know, that there was that like 18 years or something where his father's like, I'm just going to fuck. I, I produce this thing. I'm just going to fucking kill myself and it all. And then he, you know, now he's putting out books and everything about raising him. And now it's like he, his autism has, give, autism has given him a will to live all of a sudden. <laughs> this is L.A. people for you, his right? Excess this is chromosomes have a life of their own. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> like some horror movie. <laughs> They've come to life. 
But yeah, I, I don't get what's with these people. Like, have you ever seen um, when they do the IRL streaming, which could be a good concept, you know, for some funny shit if you went to like Compton or something. But they, they all they all walk around like LA and like there's 30 of them, 30 millennials walking next to each other. Everybody's got a fucking selfie stick. It's the most ridiculous shit. They all so desperately want to be famous. I want to see someone do like an IRL stream in like Syria, right? They go to the fucking front lines and they're like streaming as the airstrikes. You can just up. yeah, go to somewhere that's gonna actually have a fucking reaction. Go to like Detroit or fucking Gary, Indiana. Like I want to see some shit go down if you're gonna fucking do this. You know what? If I had, if I had the fucking internet, I would totally do a stream like that. You know, you know, go, go to ahead, Syria or something. How well, are you here if right you're now? In Syria? How are you here? Magic. No, if you're in Syria, you're not gonna have the internet, especially if you're in a firefight. Well, you could hook up like a sat phone or something, right? Actually, my uh, my uncle once did that. He wasn't supposed to. And um, in the middle of a firefight, it's like uh, he, he like calls us in the middle of a fucking firefight. And it's like, are you fucking serious? Are you being serious right now? What happens if you guys get shot? What happens if one of your guys gets shot? And his response, without missing a beat, is, "Well, that's their own damn fault for not fucking ducking fast enough." Now, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> I, I'm I'm sick. I'm sick. You know, there are people who do shit like that, and it. <laughs> but I, I just want to say, like, beat. Thank you, thank you for giving me the meme material because my low effort memes have come out, and I am dead serious when I say this. Make sure that Chad has the fucking suicide prevention hotline tomorrow. No, no, fuck that. I don't want him. I don't want to be calling oh, nobody. Fuck that. We need to, we need to give him the videos, videos, videos on Twitter and he says, nobody go to YouTube HQ. Some of you are cool. <laughs> no, yeah, some of you are cool. Don't go to YouTube HQ tomorrow. So wh what's the story with his Discord? Has he taken it back over or has he left forever? Actually, fun fact, my autists from the Discord that I've been fighting with, like the, the fan Discord we have the issues with, now they're that Discord. They just took over that Discord. Oh, they're going to uh, displace him now too? He rage quit it last <laughs> yeah. night and he said he was leaving. <laughs> And then, like a 13-year-old girl that thinks she's gonna move out because her dad won't let her get earrings, uh, he came right back 10 minutes later and was like, "Give me this server back. You guys are all traitors." <laughs> it's like make up your fucking mind. You act like a woman. It was great when he sent like his little friends to to hit Ralph's Discord server, trying to get it taken down, trying to get the stream taken down, trying to get like you know strikes because they're doing the whole. Uh, you know, they're, they're putting, like, in, in incredibly racist stuff that they're abusing the bot for text-to-speech. Um, it wasn't even that racist. That was, like, a 4 out of 10 racist. Yeah, it was, it, it was for YouTube, it, it was, uh, it was racist enough. Well, they only pick um, on Puerto Ricans or something? Some allowed group? No, that's the rest of the fucking, that's, that's Mother Nature that fucks with Puerto Ricans, <laughs> as, as we all know this. Um... You know, it's. I'm not going to kick the dog while it's down. Mother Nature's going to do that because hurricane season's coming up right now. Um, but it's like he does that, and then once again, it's like Andy's like everybody go uh, raid Baked Alaska's stream after this, and Baked starts like borderline crying right there. He's like, "Don't do that." It's like the double standard is fucking real. I, I loved how he was like, uh, people were like, "Hey, one K coming up." I started rubbing his hands together because he thought he was actually going to get 1k, like, his donations. That was actually just dislikes. Yeah, he thought that was cash coming his way, and then I think he, <laughs> he realized that, like, 998 dislikes, and he tried to play it off. He's like, oh, yeah, dislike the stream, man. That'll be cool. Oh, hey, <laughs> speaking, you of, speaking of money, chat, apparently you actually do a super chat on. For ten dollars from Subhuman, keep up the good work. Also, Medicare, please turn on super chat if you do live streams. I think YouTube doesn't allow chargebacks I'll, uh, for super I'll chat. I'll toss you guys a buck on Patreon or something. I don't need no Even it out. Uh, no, it, it, like I, 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 to be honest, I hate doing fucking streams. Uh, I like being a guest. I, I, I like being a guest on them, but I hate fucking doing them. And then, um, I never really, I never really did the super chat shit because uh, I, it feels weird. Like everybody's typing shit, and I'm just used to reading chat as it is, and I feel like I'm neglecting normal people by just being like, "Let me pound through some super chats, everybody." Well, to be fair, <laughs> like everybody else. there are no normal people watching this stream. They're all exceptional, wonderful, delicious, and delightful. Thank you all. <laughs> Except for I'm that sure soft human guy. Fuck that guy. Fucking cocksucker. <laughs> yeah, no, well, that's, you know, I want to throw out there, because Scrub's fucking awesome for that 24-hour stream he did. Yeah, you no, know, he did one a really long one, yeah. You know, he's, he's a great guy, and one of the things that he does that people love is that he'll just, when there's nothing else going, he will just absolutely straight up read the chat. I was uh, listening the other night. 
went to the gym and it was just scrub fucking reading chats for like two hours and it's fucking hilarious. Oh, right, speaking doing? of chat, so... robot voice. Yeah, <laughs> your your chat's asking an important question. Uh, Black Magic wants to know if you're all friends now with them. <laughs> like that's such a weird mentality. I don't get that. It's the fucking internet. I, I don't understand that shit. Well, that was just so friends. sad when he came to Tonka after Zoom like literally put him on suicide watch, and you know like fucking uh, Adidas person left, and he's just like, I, I thought we were friends, Tonka. Tonka, how could you bring this? I, I I'd just like to respond to somebody from chat, Skip Rock. I don't sound like a dork. I sound like a thirteen-year-old girl when I'm on a VOIP. So. uh Get your insults right, asshole. <laughs> For a hundred North Korean dollars, whatever the fuck that is, the blood sport ride never <laughs> ends. Uh, Kim might not want you to be giving them that, but you know, it is what it is. Support the American imperialists. Or I the could buy one government-approved uh, periodical then. Oh, fuck that <laughs> submarine. I was looking at the fucking super chat. Hey, North Korean guy, you owe me a fucking plane, you cocksucker. <laughs> Alex the Southerner for five dollars. Smegma King deserves my money. I do. There you go. <laughs> uh, hey, so Zoom, you've got a long ass list of stuff you've got written down. Why don't you just pound through some of that and see see how good some of no, it is? No, I want to pound through it while he's here, so I can see the tears in his eyes, <laughs> like the Native American walking by the garbage blood. on the, the side only of the road. The blood they had on was on fucking Aaron's tampon. I, she seems like more of a flea, free bleeding kind of girl to me, you know. She just free bleeding right into my mouth. They had him on for like an hour, and he was just imploding, and no one said a fucking thing. I, it's way, been she, it's been a weird day, man. It's literally been a weird just shit all over everybody. This is the greatest timeline. I don't know what you're talking about, Jim. I I, no, no, I like a good train wreck, but it's just weird that it happened over the course of 24 solid fucking hours. And it doesn't look like it's going to have any breaks. Which, you know, which is what caused the train wreck to begin with. Yeah, where the fuck does this go now? I don't think that Baked is going to take the break. It sounds like he's planning on streaming tonight. Like He's, he's, he's going he's gonna to stream tonight. Uh, I, I, uh, I know Ralph, uh, Ethan Ralph, has challenged him, uh, asked him to go on the Kumite with him. Ralph, uh, Baked, of course, has not said if he's going to do it. Ralph is, you know, I, I'm fairly certain for the last 24 hours, Ralph has had a giant boner from the idea of being on the Kumite with Baked, which he should probably see a doctor about that. I'm pretty sure Viagra commercials tell you that, but whatever. I'm not a doctor. Not even, uh, not even Dr. V. And, um, I, I don't know where it goes at this point. I, I, I think Baked is either going to literally having just been rejected by Erin on a stream in front of like 6,000 people. Uh, just a reminder that rejections like that are what cause serial killers like Son of Sam. <laughs> I just, I don't think he's competent enough to be a serial killer. You don't have to be competent. You just have to, you know, not get caught for like a couple of years. This motherfucker wants to have his name on everything, even things he didn't do. You'd be like the Zodiac killer sending fucking signed letters to the police. I, I couldn't believe what a fucking shekel loving jew fucking shilling whore he was on there andy why isn't my why isn't my stream in the description <laughs> why aren't i getting all these donations what about me like hey toad by the way if you want to get on here toad you've got the link it's the same hangout we were using for scrub stream so just you know if you want to pop in we'd always like to talk Yeah, wasn't Toad the one that tweeted out uh, yesterday? He was like, I think I think Bake's going to be okay. I think everything's going to turn out okay before everything went to shit. Yeah, it's, uh, Toad went to sleep early last night, or at least he tried to. It was <laughs> That was weird. It was the weirdest because it's like, oh, Scrub streaming. Let's go hang out with Scrub and see what's going on. And then it got into this thing with me and uh, Strawman just yelling at each other over some stupid bullshit. And then we kind of were like, okay, we moved past it. And then uh, the fucking stream got taken down because some retard tried to play hente in the background and he didn't want to get a strike. <laughs> and, I just uh, like the way you pronounce it wrong on purpose so we don't think you actually look at it. You're right. not fooling anybody, motherfucker. What's, what's this word? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, futinary. Oh, what's that? Like? Oh. Uh, tentacle porn, what? No, and then, and then <laughs> you know, I'm streaming from? fucking Dark Souls. I got like 50 people watching him stream Dark Souls and just suck at it. And then this all happened, and by the end of it, he's got 2,000 plus viewers. Like, are you fucking kidding me? It, my, my, my favorite part, no, I have to say yesterday, my favorite part of the whole Ralph, um, 
Ralph Baked Alaska thing was Baked Alaska when he finally figured out when he was told that Ralph was doing it. He like looks at Ralph's stream and like, who the fuck is this guy? Who the fuck is this guy? And it's like I, I did a meme about it. It's like you I took the view count for Ralph's stream and the view count at the time from uh Bake Stream, it's like like eleven hundred to two hundred viewers. It's like who the fuck is this guy? Someone doing a shit ton better than you are. Yeah, I literally started cracking up when fucking he was talking about success. And fucking Jim's like, yeah, I have 218,000 subscribers, but I don't think I need tips on success from you. And he just went completely quiet. That was yeah, a, in a very that, subtle that, that, way to tell him to go home and get his fucking shine box. <laughs> I, I know. I, I, hate, I hate saying shit like that because uh, it, it comes off as fucking arrogant. But th this is like a guy that uses, he uses a fucking term influencer and he means it. Like, how fucked are you in the head that you've reached that point where you're going around talking about marketing and branding and being an influencer on a fucking social media he, he site? He's an influencer. He drove a lot of people to sign up to go to college so they don't end up like him. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to, I, I was going to say, Baked Alaska gives hope to people like me because I'm a small... I'm a small time YouTube quote content creator and someone as retarded as baked is able to get as big as he is. That gives me so much fucking hope. He's like so the new Forrest Gump. Cool. He's I would, I would, give, generation the of I would give the grocery store all the props for getting him as big as he is. <laughs> Subhuman for $2. Swing with Maddox? Oof. I'll swing my dicks in your face, you cocksucker. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I liked uh, the thing that was my favorite on Ralph's stream last night was just the the all sub millennial Matt and Fuentes thing because I never thought that was gonna fucking happen. That guy was amazed they got on stream together, and then they all started shitting on baked. Like that takes some real doing, man. <laughs> it's like okay, I fucking hate you, I hate you, you hate me, but I think we all hate baked, and that's the one thing that brings us together, shall we? Yeah, they stayed on stream with Ralph for like three hours laughing at Baked. Like that, after fighting, you know, tooth and nail on social media for like fucking three months. It's kind of uh, impressive. <laughs> baked, how's, how does it feel to know that you, you bring enemies together to laugh at your fucking getting cucked? Uh, I don't think that's really what it comes to. <laughs> I, I know. I'm, I, I, it's, it's, it's a rhetorical question that Baked will never answer because you're probably never going to, you know. I don't know. Oh, hey, Jim, while I have you here, do you know who Britbong is? Uh, yeah, Manly Tears? Or Manly Tears? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, that guy is in love with you. What do you think of him? Uh, my only interactions with him is... I, I think he shit-talked me a few times on Twitter, and that's about it. I remember him from V when he used to spam the shit out of it, and okay. they, they banned him. It was about That's about my knowledge of him. Oh, because he's going to be watching this stream later and reporting it for whatever reason. And I just wanted to get on record that you have no idea anything about him and don't yeah, care. Yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't say that uh, he's your best friend. He likes to lie and pretend that he has uh, Didn't friends. Didn't he try to copyright or say he copyrighted like a, a meme or some kind of fucking image macro? Yeah, he tried to pretend that he created it forever alone and then he got counterclaimed and sued over it and his parents had to pay a settlement. Yeah, nope. he fucking <laughs> lost <laughs> he also acclaimed copyright on uh, Exceptional Detectives video about him, too. Oh, yeah, that, that video is going to go back up tomorrow because oh. he never submitted the court claims. You have I, to go I have to court not seen this an video. actual claim. Oh, yeah, it's great. It's like it, uh, it highlights when he ran a fake anti bullying charity and then pocketed $5,800. And then when Angry Joe Show called him out for it, he started posting his docs and then. He got perma banned off Twitter on the Manly Tears UK account. He came back on Fred Bond Returns and said, "Oh, oh he wasn't doing anything." Oh, oh wait, wait, there, wait, there, there is one more thing that I know about him. I saw somebody pass me a clip. Is, is he fighting with like Keemstar or something? Because there's a stream where Keemstar, <laughs> where Keemstar was like, "I have fucked you, <laughs> and you can't do anything about it." Uh, well, the person that keeps getting banned is actually me, and he keeps burging out over it. He did a five-hour stream the other day about me because I keep banning him. He's he a said that bully. I used, to be one of his, I, I used to be one of his fans, apparently. I was never fucking one of his fans. I just thought he was a faggot. He literally Careful, goes he... out of his way to flag people's channels that get more views than him and, like, suspend people off Twitter and all these other commentary YouTubers that got more views than him. And then he got mad because I got him fired from his little fucking network. And once he didn't have network support, he couldn't hide behind it anymore. <laughs> Oh, hold on, my puck's freaking out. Shut up. Roy Gerbil for twenty dollars. <laughs> Empty Hero is a cutie pie, and I want to miscegenate with him. Yeah, you fucked it. You fucked right. up my joke timing. God damn it! I was gonna say why did he invite Aaron on stream, but you fucked it because now the dog sound's yeah. gone. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my German Shepherd came in. I'm babysitting a pug, and it scared the shit out of the pug. 
That, yeah, that that's too. that's that's how small dogs work. I seriously, I, I want to punch uh, him just because Garrett's no one would ever know that I did it because <laughs> their faces are already punched in. Little fucking retard. They are ugly what, dogs. What's uh, what's going on there, fellas? Oh, hey, it's a good boy. How you doing? How oh, I'm doing, man. I just followed your new Twitters. Uh, I, you wanna you wanna pimp that out real quick because people need to be able to fucking see what you're putting out that you put out good content. No, not really. It's just my fucking Twitter, dude. I don't know if the other one's gonna get banned or not, anyway. So. I don't know. I, I got your shit yeah. so it comes to my phone because it's like I'll look down halfway through the day. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. You do good stuff. I don't know. You're funny as fucking Twitter. That's no, just shit posting. <laughs> Jim, Queen of Bands is trying to get you to read the side chat. Oh, how the fuck do I look at it? It uh... says, "Can I have my meth?" That's kind of a weird thing to ask him. Nah, there's no show <laughs> meth. Do, uh, I... do you guys do you guys think if uh, Baked Alaska took a random right now that he'd pass? <laughs> no. I'm not. I'm not talking about for weed either. I uh, I don't I don't know. I, I'll be honest with you. I really don't know. Based on I think are, are we talking bit. about like a hair follicle sample, a fat sample? Like oh, if what? it's hair follicle, he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's called a specifically suspicious denial. You know, well, look, if, if he's not on lithium by tomorrow to deal with the crippling depression that he's gotta be having gnawing at his soul right now, I'll be no. fucking impressed. No, dude. Like this is what I was getting at. <laughs> And Jim, Jim said it. He's like, isn't Toad that the one that said, uh, you know, Baked is going to be fine. You know, he'll it, it'll roll off him. But what I was getting at is this fucking like impenetrable, uh, unintentional stoicism he has from being so fucking stupid that usually <laughs> when people go in on him or he does something retarded, he just doesn't acknowledge it. But somehow he managed to just completely... I don't know that I've ever seen anybody make that big of an ass out of themselves in this short <laughs> amount of time. Oh, but he was, he was having fun, though. <laughs> he told everybody he was having fun. What are you talking about? It was a great time. It was a good time. Everything's good. Yeah, he was channeling his inner Matt Jarbo with all that laughing. Didn't you hear it? Listen, I'm not here to take anything from Jim. Uh, I've heard he's the <laughs> biggest. I'm, I'm, I've heard he's the biggest bullying doxing man on the internet. So yeah, so I don't even know. <laughs> I thought I, I was the biggest boy. Hey, Joaquin, he's he's toxic. Could you ban him real quick? Toxic. <laughs> toxic. Apparently, I'm doxing people left and right. Everybody in here has been accused of fucking doing terrible things. I don't Except know. It was it, it was this really weird thing he was doing with you too. Have like, I been? He wanted to he wanted to step up to you, like he was gonna take you down, and then he'd start sucking your dick, and then he'd step up, and then he'd start sucking your dick again, like. I don't see the I don't, I, 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 I the don't guy, know what that I don't know what that no guy feels. He's oh Aaron's a dumb whore and he's a crack a, whore. And then that's a, right. Oh Aaron's great. You wanna come back on my show? No, he's oh a, I love this Malala girl. Oh wait, she's this some other Jews fuck her. He's doing pickup <laughs> artist shit. He's not, he's not good looking enough to nick her. No. Jim, wait, Jim how, how dare you be anonymous? I respect your an anonymity. What the fuck? I heard that. <laughs> It's like Jim, I I, I hate I, you're anonymous. You never show your face. Like show your face. I respect your anonymity, but show your fucking face, asshole. Uh, if anything, you should learn by example what happens when you show your face. Well, yeah, I, I don't get the mentality. Like I, I really don't. I don't get the modern mentality. He's Everybody wants Karen to be, They want to be internet friends. They want to fucking strip away their anonymity, and it's just such a retarded fucking thing to do. I, I don't know. Maybe it's an older mindset. Maybe everybody's gone completely fucking faggot on this, but. I don't want to. I don't want to put my name out there. I don't want to put my face out there. I don't want to be a fucking brand. I don't want to be the gym like experience. Him, they want to have the right <laughs> to be a pussy and not get criticized over it. That's what he's like. He thinks he's like out there with the bandana, defending American right to be a pussy, and all he is is just being a pussy. He's not out there throwing hands with people. He probably runs away the minute an angry black person crosses the dude, street. Dude, 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 did you see the fucking IRL stream he did? That dude's a huge fucking yeah. pussy. Oh my dude, God, I saw that him getting so castle. Bad. I saw him on Twitter. There was a picture of me standing on the street with a fucking billboard. Like one of those little poster boards on a fucking uh, piece of wood. Say, and I this black woman comes over this black woman comes over and starts screaming at him. And he just he just crosses the street and walks away. No, on that fucking IRL stream he did with Asian Andy and uh, Worski, he starts talking shit to some dude like this skinny fucking skater punk. And the dude walks back up to him like, dude, you want to fight? And just immediately, no. Well, yeah, no, he, asked him, he asked him around the corner. He's like, we can take this private. Let's walk around the building. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bank's like, no, 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 everything's good. I like you. You're nice. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Sure. I I'm, I'm fully expecting that, um... Bake's actually going to get a girlfriend who's... And we're the, the next thing we're going to hear from Tonka is what he said to uh, Matt Jarbo. Matt, I know I'm better than you. And you want to fucking know how I know I'm better than you? Because my girl doesn't pay for me. I pay for me. I guarantee you Baked Alaska's going to have a girlfriend like that. And, mm. He already has one. It's called his mommy. Yeah, Baked was, living with, Baked was living with his fucking parents. Like Not a even month. a month ago. Not yeah. even a month ago. He how was old, in his parents' old, basement. How old is that fucking guy? Almost thirty, I think. That is fucking pathetic. Wait, I thought I thought he lived up in like a. I thought he was like in an apartment or a house up in no, Alaska. No, he was in his parents' yeah, house yeah, in Alaska. Yeah, so what was, happened was after. Wait, Charlotte wait, wait! Film. You're telling me the asshole that was trying to throw out the insult that I live in a basement was living with his mommy a month ago? Jim, yeah. you were you were doing post shows like after the um um. Who was it? Tariq Nasheed and Jared Taylor. That post show was in his was at his parents' house. Get get the fuck out! Are you serious? <laughs> serious? No, because he was. This is his literally his thing. So after Charlottesville, right? He allegedly got maced, and he was allegedly in the hospital for six months with it. And he said, "Oh, my medical bills racked up so much, I couldn't afford them, so I had to move back in with my parents." From getting maced. But but the put but the scenery the scenery though. while he was filming never changed. They just yeah, moved the whole room over. <laughs> This goes back to, you know, another reason people want to keep their fucking anonymity on the internet. I've got a real job. I, I have no desire to fucking make money off of this. Right. To fucking put my name out there and then eventually it dries up and I'm stuck with a fucking mortgage I can't pay. You know how terrifying it retarded. is when I do the Smegma King voice in public and someone looks at me like they recognize it. And <laughs> I gotta stop doing it real quick. <laughs> it's weird when people fucking follow me on Twitter and I see that they're from the same state as me. Oh, I had a guy who listened to one of my story videos. He's like, I know what town you're from. I remember you. But he liked me, so he didn't dox me, I guess. What? I, I, like, I, I've, I've actually had um, a few people from my town who are like, wait, I saw you at the Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm like, ooh, I'm like, yeah, okay. Well, like, I slept through that. Um, how, how the fuck is that happening to you guys? That's never happened to me. I've never run into well, I, one person that was like, I know that voice. Well, I recognize dude, it. Dude, you spend all your time in, in a basement. You never go out, remember? Well, I am locked down here, yeah, with, uh, with <laughs> to, fucking to uh, be, Jade in her cage. Yeah, that's where to we're be there. fair, they're, they're probably expecting, like, literally Billy to show up. I, I'm the most average-looking fuck. Maybe, I mean, maybe that throws them off. Maybe they're expecting me to be like a super bully, like Roosh V was saying earlier, <laughs> where I'm like wearing leather and biker gear and shit, and I got fucking face tattoos, and I've got like the uh, what was that fucker uh, from The Walking Dead, uh, the one that had the bait or the bat with the fucking uh, nails in it? Oh, Negan. Uh, Negan. 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 Yeah, yeah, they're expecting Negan. like Negan to walk through, calling everybody a faggot and saying the Reddit tier at the gas Billy, station. you're a sassy <laughs> black woman, and no one knows. Yeah, I'm very good at disguising my voice. Jesus Christ. It's hey, the side technology. effect of sickle cellulite that no one expects. It's a white guy voice. <laughs> sickle cellulite. <laughs> you just have to wave the watermelon under his nose and he gets all naked. Hey, 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 Zoom. Matt, come on. You, now, now you're being toxic. Uh, Buddha Maki. Yeah, get this guy out of here. <laughs> I do want to go back to something, though, because of the gym experience. Like, if he calls it the big If somebody gets the gym experience, it's not like, oh, we're watching, you know, the Metacast or whatever. The gym experience is what happens to, like, the bully hunters. That's the gym experience. <laughs> I, I don't get the whole branding thing. Like, I, I, I come up with a, a name that I, I think works, or I, I fucking just steal a Google image. Like, the whole Internet Aristocrat shit was just the first fucking Google image search result. But I feel like Baked really puts effort into it. Like, he wants to craft a fucking brand that's going to be recognizable. I, I don't get that. It is recognizable as something well, you want to avoid. How long How awesome long has he been right? trying to craft this? I mean, he's been wearing fucking Baked Alaska shirts for years now. Yeah, it, it has to be like five years, right? Because this was back like uh, when, when Milo was still on Twitter and shit. Well, well Milo, like, like the Milo thing, that would have been, what, 15? Because it was the lead up to the election. That's when he started getting... Well, no, because I guess, he, yeah, it would have been at four years ago because the year before he was at fucking uh, BuzzFeed. 2014, what, what do you guys? What do you guys think of the fact that that retard said he was Milo's manager? Oh, I thought bullshit. that that was hilarious. No and nobody hold on, hold on. That. Having seen him today, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, Maybe he meant to Milo stop God. after the man syllable and the adjur was a mistake. He just has gay sex with him. No, Milo likes black people. 
Hey, hey, we don't call yeah, him. Milo, Milo would see that fucking pudgy fupa he's got going on and be like, uh, no, thank you, I can do better. That's probably the reason why he's not Milo's manager, because Milo hates fat people. Well, if he had been Milo's manager, he would have gone and, like, for real. Like, Milo, no, he wouldn't have gone free anywhere. Free he's free he's free fat. Stuff, like, like Milo you know? would have taken pity on him for a few months, but then Milo would have been like, hmm, darling, you're just too fat to be around me. You gotta go. And well, they both do the up. same kind of thing. It's they're, they're beta orbiters for the real alt-right. You know, and they steal they steal the edgier content, and then they try to ride that. Milo's big first big piece when the one he wrote with the Reem, the fucking Durka Durka name. Just the way you said um, Milo's first Bar. big piece, I thought that was going to be a black guy's penis joke. <laughs> it basically was. It was right? going to be about a black guy. And, and so, uh, so he he was on, and he was he was just writing about the alt right, and he was like, oh, I'm not part of the alt right, but this is the alt right, and eventually he starts going out there representing. He does the whole like college campus tour thing and all he was doing was stealing talking points from fucking Andrew Anglin and Mike Enoch and he was going out there and putting it up but god forbid he would ever go on a podcast with one of those guys or ever promote you know real wide identity stuff he just wants to be edgy because and he, this is the same thing Bake's doing is oh I'm normalizing and he said the fucking Shaggy guy said that you know oh, I'm normalizing white nationalists I'm mainstreaming it because what these people do is they take better content and they're like oh but I've got all these connections and I've got a brand so I can put it out there you know, like, I got a lot of respect for people who can actually go out there and say it and just not fucking cuck on the content. And then, you know, maybe their life gets fucked up. Maybe they don't get monetized, you know, isn't that? But they're out there because they're not in it for the money. Could and you imagine so being the person taking the order for the Baked Alaska t-shirts from the warehouse? And they're just sitting there laughing at him as they're pressing it onto the t-shirts, knowing that no one's ever going to wear them. You mean a little you Chinese gotta... guy rubbing his hands oh. together? <laughs> ah, stupid <laughs> fucker guys in the round guy. Did... Hey, Jim, so so back in the day, like, Milo got in on um, Gamergate. Now, I don't know a fucking thing about Gamergate, but do you think he was genuine back then, or was he doing kind of the same thing Bake's doing with, like, the, no, the no, money my, grab? Milo's always been pretty up, uh, <laughs> out. He's always been pretty open about wanting to ride the next big thing. Uh, I think he saw it as, like, an opportunity to get his brand going. I, I don't know how he felt personally about the issue, but I always thought as like, he was going to try to build up who Milo was and he used it to do that and then he transitioned it into the the, the fucking politics stuff. He hmm. brought up the article about the alt-right he wrote. He didn't write that. Alan Bakari wrote that. That's what he had. Yeah, yeah. I mean, th that was a whole fucking leak that went through. I can't even remember what outlet it was, but they had all these emails, internal emails about Alan being upset because he didn't get co-authorship on it. Milo took the whole thing from him. I think that was Mike. I think Mike did that, the, uh, the, the um, email. I know, my, I know there's a few hours, and I mean, hopefully he'll be on in a few minutes to talk about it, but um, there's, because there, there's on their website behind the paywall, they've got a lot of the content of him talking about um, Yiannopoulos and that whole shit show with a reporter from some fucking shit lip magazine, and he kind of gives them the real the real dirt on it. Um, but yeah, you know, he was in contact with us, he believe Yiannopoulos was, and he just, you know, did not give anybody the credit that they deserved on that. Yeah, there's apparently a lot of ghostwriting going on at Breitbart. I, I don't know how deep it went, but there's a lot of it. Well, can I just well, say, no. I think Milo's, his main draw was that he was allowed to represent Gamergate because they didn't want to put their best foot forward representing it. <laughs> He's kind of a clown, so why not put him out there? And Are you the saying that because stupid? Medicare didn't step up and fucking take the <laughs> Oh, fuck this. Why won't you be a West leader, West? Jim? <laughs> is it such a weird stance to tell people that if they've reached the point where they think they need to turn to YouTubers to save them, that they probably deserve to be gassed? Like, is that such a weird fucking thing to tell people? <laughs> so, Jim, dude, I've wanted to ask you this because when uh, Sargon was having his, his little meltdown with the Kumite, I made I made a little video for Tonka, and it was just, uh, it was basically you leaving and then Sargon being ass heard about it, and then when you came back on that stream with him and Milo, and Sargon trying to tell you how much you loved your content. Essentially, you told him it's just fucking YouTube, man. Get over it. Yeah, I, I, I've been consistent or tried to be consistent about that. It is just fucking YouTube. I'm just a faggot that makes videos on the fucking internet. There's no magic to that. You, Anybody blew, their, you blew their fucking mind earlier when you were like, you were like, aren't we friends? We've hung out. We've got Chinese people. You're like, no. We're just <laughs> you, fucking YouTube. You, make fun. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, you know, you, you think... all missed the great joke where it's there were two footprints in the sand. And then there's only one. That's that's when Jim was carrying you. He was right. <laughs> but there just in like his live stream right now. No, Jim. Do you think Sargon desperately wants to be your friend, or at least he did before you really took a shit on him? I, I don't know. That was a whole. That, that was a really fucking weird day. Uh, I I posted the Murdoch Murdoch clip where they're doing the Sargon needs more dopamine shit because I thought it was funny. 
<laughs> oh, those guys uh, are brilliant. I, I wish they could put their shit actually on YouTube. I could watch it more. Yeah, I know it sucks that they keep getting uh, knocked off, but I, I got a fucking DM from uh, the quartering who said, "Oh, Louis Levey wants you to go on his stream." <laughs> so I was like, I, "I don't care, you know, because I'll go on most people's streams." He's like, "Fine, go on there." And then like Louis, like it's just had all these weird talking points about you shouldn't make fun of Sargon, you shouldn't laugh at this. This is important. We're gonna save the West. <laughs> and I, I told him he was a faggot for thinking that. And then I see Sargon in the, the chat like giving him like pointers and saying shit. I was yeah. like, just bring him on. So I, I don't know. I guess maybe they don't like being made fun of. Is really right, well, well, it was really surreal to me when uh, he screamed at you that you were supposed to be the leader and you walked away from it. I'm like, there's something. There's something deeper going on here with Sargon. You were supposed Sargon. to bring balance to the game of gate, not destroy it. You chosen one. Such a bad. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, Mike? How you doing? Hey, what's going on? Can you guys hear me all right? Yeah, you're coming in good. Right. Have so, you been watching uh, the shit show? Vaguely, I was more focusing on like politics. <laughs> like, I was more focusing on this serious shit. Um, I saw this. I saw that there was like apparently a meltdown last night. I saw some of it, and it looked embarrassing. Did you uh, did you catch the Alsep and Fuentes debate? They debated Syria for like uh, 30, 40 minutes. It's kind of interesting. I, I didn't actually because the stream that they were on was like so long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Every time I skipped, it was just more like, "Oh my god, look at this shit show! Oh my god, look at this shit show!" Oh, you no, know, I didn't. I do know that. Um, oh, no. I am aware of. Uh, I'm aware of Nick's positions. Uh, you know, I don't want to like, prosecute that here. Um, I <laughs> don't think he's gonna. Uh, I don't think those are gonna stand up too well to scrutiny. But that's you know, I'll leave it at that. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I mean, it was interesting to watch him go because they had kind of uh, opposing viewpoints, pretty much you know, directly opposing on what they thought of that. Yeah, well, Nick doesn't like to go negative. So I think that that's what he's doing. He doesn't want to go negative on Trump. He doesn't want to go negative on, like, America, things that, you know, patriotic Americans might might rustle them or get under their skin a little bit. Whereas that's, you know, that doesn't bother me so much. I just say what I think. So, Look, I put on the uniform and even I'll say, you know what? There's some shit that my country could do, you know, a little better. And I have well, no problem saying that. And well, that's the fight. thing is that, like, criticizing our, our like, shit tier foreign policy is pretty standard fare. Like, there's normies, like, don't, doesn't offend them. Like, it really doesn't. Unless you're talking about really just dumbass, like, boomer cons. But who cares what they think? Factory <laughs> and fans are for $20. This. Have some money, smack my king. Oh, thank you. I'll uh, use but, that for terrible things. <laughs> You're gonna regret giving me that money. Are you, are you gonna use it to buy the cocaine that uh, that uh, Baked didn't buy yesterday? How much cocaine can you get for twenty bucks? Like a particle? I don't know. If your if your friend's a meth dealer, probably a pretty good deal. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Though. He's oh, also God, he's autistic, so he'll, he'll be able to count every fucking cent. Were they doing <laughs> drugs like on air? Yeah. Uh, one of the dudes. Oh, in, uh, yeah, one of the dudes in the background has like an arrest record for meth possession and shit like that. Uh, and they were acting crazy as fuck. So I, I have no idea. I can't say for sure, but. Well, when Aaron got off stream and came back on, she had white powder all over her chest. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? And then changed, yeah, yeah. And then she changed her. She changed her shirt, and she sat there rocking back and forth, screaming, and, and like. Well, I do that when I'm on my show. Because but... <laughs> you seem a little bit lower energy than I'm used to. What me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's late. well, it's late. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting to come on, and and uh, yeah, no, like at, at twelve forty-five at night, I'm lower energy than I am in the in the afternoon. Fair enough. But uh, yeah, no, that looked like a real shit show. So wait, just clear something up for me. That extremely hyper like gay guy, that guy was working for Jesse Lee Peterson. Is that is no, that? No, that was Take to Alaska. <laughs> yeah, which, which, which gay guy? Gotcha. There was three gotcha. gay guys. Yeah, more specific. The one that was like the guy that books people. Yeah, that oh, was him. Sure. People call him Chaggett, but I mean, his name is out there. There's literally a book his dad wrote on how autistic his kid is. So he's booking people for Jesse Lee Peterson? Yeah, and yeah. he goes on the thing defending pedophilia and saying he's normalizing white nationalism. Uh, I mean, I saw that and I was like, because I got booked on Jesse Lee Peterson. I mean, I ignored it for a while, but the guy was real persistent. So we were like, all right, that's fine. And it was actually, I felt kind of bad because we had the Marcus on that show, like pretending to be black. And like Peter 
Peterson. What kind of jerk is around pretending to be black? <laughs> yeah, no, I, but yeah, Peterson yeah, like, believed it, and then I, I felt bad for tricking the guy. Like, I felt like an asshole. Well, but, you guys had him on not too long after <laughs> that, right? No, we, we no, when he was on, Demarcus was on the show. And he was doing the black Jew act to he would tell him like Jesse he's like yeah I'm black Jew and, and like he he was yeah like, I saw that it was, it was great show. it was a great show it was good. I, I thought I thought it was funny but I felt bad I, I don't know <laughs> this guy's like religious isn't, I don't know like isn't isn't Jesse Lee Peterson like real fucking old too uh wait, he's old he's just like a he's just I don't I don't know I don't know why he has a homosexual like drug addict booking his shows that's kind of weird like do you think he knew about all that though probably not the guy seems like he would autistic. be somebody that would be yeah he's uh, he's autistic <laughs> <laughs> he seems like somebody that wouldn't be tough to take advantage of if you were like that kind of a person i just like how you can't make fun of people with down syndrome but if they have autism fuck them stupid animals it's not like they know if you're making fun of them or not <laughs> Wait, somebody, wait, wait, we don't make fun of autistic people? Well, well, somebody, sent in, somebody sent in a clip to um, uh, Andy Worsky's show of that dude just, I don't know if it was Snapchat or what the fuck it was. He didn't seem very autistic. Like, he seems like just a Chad bro. Hey, thanks, uh, Sweet Forward. That was from his YouTube I channel. I pizza with that. <laughs> was it? They, they found his YouTube channel, and the thing that, that got me was that, like, uh, this bake the retard was just flat out lying when he got on a worse stream. You don't he was, say. He never said that. He never said anything about pedophilia. The guy literally got on stream and looked dead in the camera and he said that that teachers that have sex with their underage students should not only be given a salary but a raise and a good <laughs> position in the community because they're doing a service to the community. And then people brought it back up 20 minutes later and he looks dead in the camera and five times in a row looks in the camera and says they are doing a service to this community. They deserve a raise. They deserve a pension. They deserve a charge. Now, how old was the girl or the, the boy he was talking about in that hypothetical? Like 14. 12. Then, it was a 12-year-old boy he was talking about in that hypothetical. Yeah. Is it, That's you know, my opinion up. on pedophiles? They're, uh, they're uh. fucking immature assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you want to know my opinion on pedophiles? You love them? There uh, you go. Yeah. Well, he, uh, he texted Baked, and he read it out loud. He said, sorry, you know, that I wasn't able to, able to convey myself um, in a proper way. I'm autistic, so I have, I have troubles. You know, he has and, troubles and, keeping and, his dick out of children because he's autistic. Well, yeah, in social situations, well, we saw something real fucking similar with Ross being autistic. It's not a fucking excuse. Yeah, but like after a certain point, like you can't use "oh, I'm not socially uh, all there" as an excuse. When I'm not even kidding you, seventeen times he said it seventeen times over a five-hour period that it was perfectly okay, and then people clipped it into eight different clips and started sending it to his boss, and then all of a sudden he's freaking out. Well, it's, it's like that. Maybe I'm fucking crazy here, but I don't think there's any excuse for talking about fucking children being okay. <laughs> No, no, there isn't. There isn't. No, no, there isn't. This sounds yeah. like a very odd stream. That's a fucking understatement of you. And that's some of pedophilia. What's not to like? Like that. That that sums up the baked Alaska experience. Star Fox and pedophilia. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what really to say. Like, it seems. Uh, you know, I know when I first met Baked, like he kind of didn't. He was he was he's not like uh, the sharpest guy. Like he didn't have the hottest takes, right? <laughs> so it was like he was nice. He meant well, but he kind of like would would be like kind of ham fisted with some of the stuff. What um, were your thoughts, real quick? Because I want to keep hearing you talk about that. But I remember he was on Fash the Nation, like way yeah. back when. What were your thoughts on that episode and when that came out? Because that was before a lot of stuff had happened. All right, so I can talk drama on this. <laughs> I mean, this is old stuff. I guess I'll just say, you know, what, what, I, what I'm comfortable saying. Um, when this that happened, um, I, I didn't really have input on that. Like, that was jazz, jazz, I don't, like, tell Jazz Hands how to, how to do his show or anything. So he had him on because he was like, we were like, oh, this will be good. It was during the election. He had a big Twitter following. So we're like, all right, this, we're going to get uh, our show into, like, this... Uh, big Twitter influencer guys, uh, you know, stream here, and that was the that was a strategy. But then it was sort of like he had done this bit where, after being kicked out of Deplorable or being disinvited from Deplorable, 
Um, he uh, he then like doxed so called or sort of doxed Jeff Giza. Like he revealed that he was the funding behind it. Um, and also was the guy behind a Twitter account that I guess Giza had wanted to keep anonymous because he was posting like kind of edgy content on it. Um, so I guess it wasn't secret who he was funding or where his political sympathies lay, but he was going like edgier than he should have been on this one account. And then like Bates like revealed that. So Jazz Hands like kind of had to tell him like, dude, even though Giza is not really our guy, like you don't. You kind of just don't do this as a thing. It seems to be a persistent problem with people that they they feel like somebody who's like one inch different than me ideologically, and I can just throw them under the bus to the left. I don't, I don't understand. You know, I don't approve of that at all. But other than that, he said he, he you know, uh, Jazz like he he didn't really have any anything to to add, so he he had to like feed him lines. Um. So, you know, that was our thing because we didn't really know him that well. We were just like, oh, this guy seems to be in like the Milo sphere, that that kind of like MAGA tier, alt light sphere. And he's got a lot of followers, so that'll be a good place. Alt light. <laughs> or whatever it is. I don't even know. You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. Baked, Baked is like the worst kind of fucking person. He just he sees an opportunity to get in and make money somewhere and that's where he jumps to and that's what's really got under my skin here these past now if there was a four usually, usually, word, usually shit on the internet kind of doesn't bother me but that fucking i'll spot you it'd a be a kike <laughs> oh jesus is this an anti-semitic stream i don't know that i can do this it's kind of an odd uh it's kind of an odd area to try to branch out into though it's sort of like here let me go to like internet racism and anti-semitism for like the money <laughs> <laughs> like, well, the internet's I, the last place you can market anti-Semitism. <laughs> well, he saw yeah. what was going on with you guys, and was like, "Well, I really want to hop on that train." Yeah, we, were, we weren't, we weren't like, we weren't making money back. No, then. I know. I, 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 you know, I've been, I've been watching you guys for a long time, and I remember that period because that was like what maybe five weeks into Jazz doing his own kind of thing. Like it was very early on that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think FTN was pretty new back then, and it was still the election. So we were like, yeah, you know, and we were we were you know trying different things. We were we were you guys unfamiliar. Even sent out oven mitts at that point, I don't think, and he wanted Maybe. to hop in and get monetized on that shit. Yeah, I mean, I do. I wasn't sure if that's what he was doing or if he had some like revelation because he started going. Um, I remember he started kind of going hard on on the Jews on Twitter, and that's what got him disinvited. And Cernovich was like, you know, don't be stupid, you can't do this. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, he always just seemed like a nice guy that was just like naive and didn't really didn't really have a handle on on like exactly what it was that we were doing. I was kind of like Bake, like you know that you know that like this is like a <laughs> racist, right? Like you know that, right? like you. Did you get that? Like, I, I don't know. It always seemed like he didn't. Because he would always tell me when I, whenever I talked to him privately, he's like, you know, I like you guys, but, you know, I'm not racist. I love everybody. I was like, all right, well, it's not like hate, but you realize we're like, this is a white thing, right? Like, we're... <laughs> I don't you, know if you, you ever you fully grasped about, that. Because we were talking before you came on about like Milo's first article and stuff and like the orbiters of what real, you know, alt right white nationalism, whatever you want to call it, is like the people who try to water that down and sell it. You know, to other audiences, what do you think of those kind of people, and specifically how Baked has been doing it? I don't know. I mean, I, I I'm like surprised that people try to do this. It seems like a good way to, you know, ruin yourself. I mean, Milo, I think, um, I guess it's not even so much like alt right because that's something that kind of crystallized over the last couple of years, and that's like with with I guess that had a lot to do with me, with Spencer, with Anglin. So there's that, what is now considered the alt-right, but that's not what people were trying to get in on. People were trying to get in on, like, the 4chan, the memes, the Pepe's, the Trump stuff, like, all that, like, meme magic, like, Bake's book. I mean, come on. Like, that book was, like... What, did, you, did he really write it? I don't know if he wrote it, but I never looked at it because it looked, it looked ridiculous. It was, like, no, out of... There's no way he fucking wrote it, but who's screen sharing that picture? That speaking, of bake, <laughs> speaking of bake, speaking of bake, do you guys like this picture I have on Oh, am I missing out on something good? I'm going to very carefully open this. Yeah, don't, don't show that to the oh! team. this picture of bake. <laughs> He's got uh, a dick in his so mouth. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked at this image. I could, I would never have oh, guessed. Shit, I'm getting hit because I'm looking at him sucking on a fucking dick. Is He's a fuck. Is he streaming yet? Because if he's not streaming, we need to get him in here. Fuck that. 
Really? You didn't? He's you probably wouldn't he's probably already in here. He's that fat. No. When he sits well, around the stream, he, he really Trump does. Like he was he was watching us go hard on Aaron. He saw that whole thing. He knew what was up. Which... Well, he, he's he's used to seeing men go hard on her. He usually has to pay for it. <laughs> usually, he's in the closet looking through a peephole, thinking, "When's it going to be my turn?" <laughs> so, what's with this chick? Like, this seems to oh, be a oh, big let, problem. Yeah, like... let, let me tell you this, man. Let me tell you this. I, I I think I can sum it up. I want you to picture the most fame-hungry LA whore that you can, okay. who's just going to show up and fucking ruin anything that a man tries to do. A white like, Yoko Ono. Yeah, I want you to picture that bitch because that's who we're talking Half about. Half Turkish, not white. Yeah, I mean, I saw I saw the stream where he was like fighting with his uh, with his Spurg chat, and um, she was like there, like acting like completely stupid. And I was like, this is just this is so cringe. Like this is just what are these fucking, people doing? She had she had JF fawning over at the end of the fucking Worski stream. So I, mean, I saw she's that doing a good I, job. I saw the retweet. That you did, uh, Thundercock. Are we? All, you know, uh, shout out to shout out, shout out to uh, Chat Chat yeah, Thundercock, where he he predicted that like they're gonna offer this chick a job, and I was like, what is going on? So I tuned in to like kind of the tail end of that just to see that, and I was like, oh gosh. Yeah, he He's called Thundercock. that. He, he called that ahead of time. He's like, yeah, they're gonna offer her a job. I thought he was just fucking around, but yeah, uh, apparently they. Well, asked what, like, to come back I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm not familiar enough. Is this like the thing they do? It's like a thing they do. They want to cash in on some chick or something. I don't. I, know. I, 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 think, I, don't know. I, I think J JF wants to to cash in on any chick. <laughs> okay, let me let me give a little bit of lore. I on want this. to have lots of babies with every <laughs> girl that I fuck. So so we're doing a stream this afternoon, like this twenty four hour stream on Scrub Stream, and she hopped in, and we're like, holy shit, we actually have the girl who like ruined baked Alaska's life in here. This is really funny, and you know, Scrub was not showing anything because he'd already had somebody try to give him a strike earlier. Earlier, I guess it was the day before, but it's still the same stream. And she's there, and her fucking shirt is falling out. Like for like ten straight minutes, we're all just staring at her nipples and like just watching her play with her tits, basically. And she's like trying to explain it, and it's like being explained to her, "Hey, your fucking tits are hanging." Well, she's dude, like, oh. well, and then she like pretends to cover up, and they just pop right the fuck back out. Well, Joaquin, the the, the craziest thing about that she's is uh, she's only had sex with one guy. Isn't that crazy? Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. oh, hmm. Well, if it's a group, does it count as one? If it's like twenty at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. The, the best still on one hand. hand. Well, the best part of that wasn't her boyfriend in the next room while she's showing you her tits. Yeah, but the only person that came in to yell at her was her brother, so I'm pretty sure she's fucking her brother. I think that's <laughs> a pimp. I don't buy that story. So, so are you saying that she is literally the Beverly Hillbillies? Yeah. Okay. Um, Mike, she's I never thought I'd. Uh, I, I never thought I'd be on a. A stream with you, but I I, I only catch your uh, your show on like when Chronos clips it. But you hit mm. on something that I had said, and I can't believe any like no one else had ever caught it. But the fact that <laughs> JF couldn't be guilty of grooming an autistic girl because he's also autistic himself was the same thing I'd been saying. <laughs> I didn't I didn't see how that was not like like, like obvious. completely fucking obvious to everybody. <laughs> All right, my thing on that was like, yeah, that situation like seems weird, but. If two autistic people want to fuck, like, I don't... Right, right. What do I... Yeah, what like... would you call that? The strange Pierre? Uh, oh, no, the lucky... The, the lucky, lucky Pierre. No, the lucky Pierre... The lucky Pierre is the middle guy in a gay three-way. <laughs> don't ask me how... Actually, no, that I, I didn't even know that until a couple shows ago. You know, there's another term friend. for that. It's called being yourself. a shit-dicked faggot. It's a little more worried, though. <laughs> No, but it's a good expression for like the guy caught in the middle getting fucked from both ends. Like, uh, I don't know, like say, um, baked Alaska. Yeah, I was trying to think of a geopolitical metaphor, but that one works, I guess. <laughs> Guys, that's not possible. Anybody he's on top of becomes a pancake. <laughs> By the way, Ethan, uh, Ethan, if you're watching, you got the link in your DMs. Uh, let's just let's just make ultimate fucking anime crossover here. <laughs> But uh, in terms of what I think of people that like cash in on, I, I think there was a there was a thing where like when 4chan came to the attention of of the popular consciousness around like I mean I guess it had been there but you know I mean I had been on 4chan for you know ever since it was good you know like <laughs> in like so you were 20, never on 4chan 10. is what you're saying yeah no, no but I remember it used to be actually fun now it's just like <laughs> but um. 
yeah, like uh, it, there was it was a, it like came it it became this actually meme in the pot like uh, like this really shitty meme though in like the popular consciousness, but then like the popularizing of Pepe, the the Kekistani stuff, like that was always what what Milo was on and and Gavin too, and it seemed like that's where they they wanted to keep it there. They wanted to keep it like oh lol, it's like all edgy stuff like. Uh, and they would they would sort of disavow the edgier stuff like the gas chamber memes and whatnot, and all like the Nazi Hitler stuff. They they would be like, oh, it's a, it's just sarcastic. Like that's what Milo said in his Breitbart article. And um, I don't I don't know. It just seemed like he was he was trying to ride. He always ha- wants to just ride this ride a wave of like something that other people created. Well, maybe he mistook it for a big penis. <laughs> I'm sorry. Too that's soon. The, that's the kind of people that ruin it, though, man. Yeah, no, I mean, he he wanted to, like, get out in front of it as, as like, a, I don't know, like, here, I'll let me represent you to, like, the conservative establishment. I'll be, like, he'll be the lucky Pierre there, right? Like, between 4chan and, like, conservative Inc., you have Milo as the lucky Pierre. So I, I guess that's, that's like, where he, where he wanted to be. Or, or not, even not conservative Inc., but, like, Breitbart, right? Um, which is, like, Breitbart. The beer people. Yeah, yeah. Like Breitbart has, uh, you know, good content sometimes, but like a lot of times it's just like boomer retardation. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just like these are, I mean, he's Jewish, he's gay, like his personality reflects that. Like I actually went to a Milo rally one time. You probably heard me tell this story if you, if you guys, if some of you guys are listeners. And it was just like the most Jewish thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, uh, uh, it was in it was in New York City, so of course, and it was all, but it was old people. It was like it was like older. It was like Jewish boomers. That's like Milo's fan base. That's what's funny about it. Like once he lost his Twitter, so boomers. Yeah, <laughs> and, and once he lost his Twitter, and once it was like okay, like the alt right's actually like way edgier than it's, and it's not a joke. Like it, there are jokes, but it's actually not a joke. Then he's like distancing himself from it, and it turns out, wow, his fans are actually just like these old, like boomer cat lady Jewish women that like love faggots. So is that how you met Halsey? No, I I, I didn't even know Halsey, man. JF and Andy like were like, yeah, we got some guy who wants to debate you, and I was like, okay. That, was, that, was a joke. <laughs> that dude's I'm fucking. Mind, energy- Mike, you fucking that- off. That dude's fucking entertaining, but like, if I hear him vape into a mic one more time, I'm gonna lose my shit. Yeah, but he's he's not he's just like not honest. Like he's he's not honest, right? Like he pretends to be buddy buddy with us. I'm like, dude, you fucking hate me. Like, and then that that all comes out, right? You know that how much how much he hates us. So it's like, all right, like let's let's be all buddy, but and then he backed out of debating Striker, which was. I could still set that up. I mean, I, I, he's in. He my won't do store. it. He's not going to do it. He's afraid. Actually, he's afraid uh, of. He's afraid of Eric. Mike, Mike, can I can I ask you a question about your debate with Halsey? Yeah, sure. Uh, like I, I've seen you in streams before. You're usually really good at like pushing past him. Why? It, it seemed like you. <laughs> it seemed like you let him lead the conversation. I kept waiting for you to like jump in there and be like, "Shut the fuck up. Let me talk." Yeah, this is a common criticism. Uh, it was. It was. I had an off night, man. Like, yeah, I'm also like um, facing a lawsuit. <laughs> And uh, you know, I had done a I'd done a show previously. You know, I don't want to make excuses, but you're right. Like I was just I had an off night. I was taken off guard. I didn't know what I was getting into. I thought like I was going to debate the Jewish question with somebody, and I was ready to do that. And he comes right in, like every media attack, every thing about my personal life. Some of it true, a lot of it distorted truth. But again, legal reasons, I can't respond to that. And I was just like, whoa. Dude, right. geez, he wow. Was, what he was you coming doing? at you with stuff that you like legitimately couldn't respond to. Yeah, I could have said shut the fuck up though. Like I could have I could have taken it over. Um and I just didn't, you know, it was just a it was just a weak night. I mean, that's the best I can say. What can hey, you can do? Can I give you some sound legal advice, Mike? Uh hmm. think about however much this might cost your legal fees, and then you know, think about how much a hitman would cost. Because <laughs> it can't be nearly as much. <laughs> I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's not like it fucking painted Halsey in a good light, anyways. Yeah, and I mean, who like he didn't win any fans, right? Like, it just I just lost sight on the opportunity to wreck him. And I told JF later, I was like, yeah, you didn't, you know, you didn't jump in when he was doing that. And JF's like, I was, I was waiting for you to like wreck the guy. <laughs> what can you do? I mean, it's it's like, you know, I kept and then I kept trying to debate. I don't know, it was just a bad night, but whatever. It's okay. I'm not like mad at the guy. I just think like 
what's the point of why do we talk to this guy? Like he's he's just a fat boomer. Like Well yeah, I was looking forward to like a screaming match. I thought you two were gonna go at each other and then I, I was like waiting for it. I was like, okay, well Mike's gonna start firing back and nailing this guy and Halsey just kinda kept like pushing it in one direction over and over and over again. Yeah. I, I don't even really remember it very well, to be honest with you. It was a uh Yeah, it was just a bad it was just a bad scene. I think like <clears throat> Once he caught me off guard, <clears throat> it was just that was just the end of it. I mean, if you were technically scoring that, you absolutely you absolutely got him, especially towards the end there, where you were able to start getting him to respond on stuff. But I think that first five minutes. I mean, I was there with like a friend who I had met kind of through your thing, and we're there with fucking you know beer and pizza and just. Oh like, shit! I'm sorry, dude. Show. Oh I'm no, sorry. but you know you know it is. You get people. It's like people are like, oh, the big fights tonight. We're gonna watch it. Yeah. yeah. And, well, I'll give Halsey some credit because he's actually. Uh, He's good credit in terms of being like slippery. He's good at um doing a thing where he'll go hard at you and then he'll slip in between like arguing and attacking. You know what I mean? So when he gets you he gets you sucked in, so you're arguing, and then instead of responding, he goes on the attack. Are you calling and, him a crap you? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, 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 easy with the anti semitic I mean, dude, the guy's Jewish, right? Like, he's good at it. He's good at what Jewish he does. Is wrong. Being right. anti semitic is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Semiticism <laughs> means Jewish supremacy, yeah. for fuck's sake. <laughs> well, we had we had Halsey on debating our in house uh, anti semite not too long ago. And, I mean, basically, we got him to the point if he agreed with everything you guys say, except he's just like, yeah, but, you know, I'm, I, I'm Jewish, so I'm not going to go out and say white nationalist but i'll say i support white nationalists. well that's the other thing though is that he agreed with shit that i was expecting to fight on right so that's another way of catching somebody off guard actually do you, do you think he really agreed on that or was that no just a tactic no it's a tactic was... dude it was such, it was transparently a tactic well i don't know because he keeps saying it like he legitimately was going up against a guy who's about on your page with stuff you know a little bit of a different angle but maybe more of a striker angle i guess you'd say and he he was agreeing with ninety percent of it. I was trying to lead through it, and it's like, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about it? And he was just agreeing it with in the points where it's like, well, you should be going after that. So even if it's a disingenuous belief, that's still what he's consistently representing. Well, it's 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 a debating tactic where you kind of throw your opponent off because they're expecting you to say I disagree, and your response is tailored to that one narrowly defined. Um, response, and then when you're thrown for a 180, you're you're now on the back foot, and you're like, "Oh crap! How do I respond to this? Or what the fuck's going on?" Yeah, okay. I mean, he got me. He got me on like agreeing with everything, and I was like, "All right, then why why are we debating?" He's like, "I'm not debating. You're a piece of shit." And I'm like, "All right, so you just want to you just want to attack me?" Well, does, like, that's that's all it is. Does does Halsey even associate with anything, or is Halsey just all about Halsey? He's got his own website, and you know he's trying to use. He's he wants to. It's not popular, right? Like it doesn't get like yeah. he gets no. There's no uh, engagement on his website. His Twitter only has a couple thousand followers, and his website is like there's no comments or anything. So it's not clear to me that there's any engagement on that. But he's trying to be like he's trying to get more play for himself, and he's, he's right. using the blood sports to do that. And well, I what? guess. My point would be it's easy for him to say, I agree with this, I agree with that, to paint himself in a good light when he has, you know, no one else to be accountable to. It's just all about making Halsey. Well, it's, it's, not, it's not just that. If he's like, you know, well, I, I'm not I'm not here to debate you. You're, you're uh, you know, whatever, you're garbage or whatever. You, you, the, the response to that should be, okay, well, we agree on the same shit. So what does that make you? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, I should have just said, like, take your fucking stupid sunglasses off, you fat fuck. Like, why aren't you, why, why, why are you wearing sunglasses inside like an asshole? Like, take, take them off so we can see your bug eyes, you fucking weird freak. Like, something, like, that's what I should have done. But I just didn't have it, you know, I didn't have it in me. I was just, I was, I was, I was, too nice. Well, I was too, too nice. As I, as went, as I went in too nice. Vaping. Like, you're a good goy. <laughs> yeah. That's why Stryker should debate him, because Stryker, like, is not nice, and also will not, like, he doesn't give Jews any benefit of any doubt ever, so he'll just be like, no, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend like we're, we're buddy-buddy or chummy or anything, I'm not falling for any of that stuff. It's a common Jew tactic. Yeah, no, they, they disarm you and they, they, they catch you off guard. It's it's It was interesting watching it again. It was painful, but interesting to watch how he was actually very skillful at moving in between, you know, pretending to argue and attacking and 
not responding. Like after I made like a long point and being like, now respond. And then he would just be like, yeah, you're a fucking piece of shit. And I'd be like, all right, like. Oh, okay. so the, That's the why he's got the vape in his mouth. He's just uh, trying to crack <laughs> it. Uh, can I take a second to uh, welcome to the anti-Semite stream uh, the proprietor of the Ralph Retort? Thank you for joining us because we talk about how much we hate Jews. Uh, what's, what's, going what's going on there, on there fucking Ralph? How you doing? Looks like I joined at just the right time, yeah. Uh, we don't hate you them, we don't? just prefer the blood of our unbaptized children <laughs> remain intact, you know? We just, we just uh, prefer our foreskins remain intact. Yeah, I was just uh, perusing Twitter and saw Baked sucking on some dildo. Uh, I thought that that was... Uh, just oh, was just, Ralph, can I ask you a question? Because uh, sure. Baked, Baked said some really weird shit today. He was like, oh, you're doxing the guy, you're doxing the guy. That mm -hmm. that dude, uh, the meth head, that, I mean, that's all public record shit, right? Yeah, I mean, that's from a, like, his local town newspaper or some shit that uh, somebody tagged me with it on Twitter. I mean, look, if you get on stream and you're talking about pedophile shit and just acting like a complete spurg, and then somebody finds the article where you got busted with meth. And literally, it's not even, I mean, come on, being a meth head is bad enough. But he, he asked the police to pick up his meth for him, and that's actually how he got arrested. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I, it's, it's pretty bad. And then, uh, yeah, I think I brought it up earlier in the stream, but I saw you saw it later on where his dad, uh, I, th I think him and his dad co-wrote a book about raising raising a uh, autistic as fuck. Oh, I, I laughed so fucking hard when I <laughs> saw that. The puzzle pieces and, you know, let's talk about autism shit. And my, the chasing the rabbit is the best that's part. The title is the best so part. <laughs> And important to fucking remember too. That thing has like 190 customer reviews, five starred. And Joaquin, didn't you say it was on the autism awareness website? Me, but someone it's said the, that. Yeah. It's on yeah. the autism it's awareness It's also ranked website. 460th in its genre. I gotta look up shitty. later to see if my shitty books are outselling it. Good God. <laughs> I don't know, so, but just the whole definition of doxing is just getting, I mean... Dude, you can literally look up his boss, and you find that there's retweets of him and his dad and his boss <laughs> right on his boss's Twitter. And he said who he worked with on the stream. And then dude. you click his dad's page, and his dad's page is literally a bio where he pitches his own book on YouTube <laughs> and on Twitter about talking about how retarded his kid is. His you know mom's a fucking state senator now? in Maine. He's got the proof. Look how retarded this kid really is. <laughs> he just book. got this. This. this, did, you this see, is, did you see uh, Mike's reaction when he said that? You got his fucking attention with that. <laughs> <laughs> this. This is the kind of person you know how the you know how some of the uh, the cop twitters will do like just a joke thing where it's like, oh, the, this shipment of meth was tainted, so bring it by the police station and we'll we'll check it for you. <laughs> this is the same guy that, this is the kind of person that they are literally going after. And he's dumb enough that he'd fucking fall for it. Hey, uh, is anybody selling some drugs tonight? I swear I'm not a cop. <laughs> just him. Hey, hello, teenagers. Wait, 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 wait. If you're a cop, you've got to tell me, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. That's yeah. a... That's a quote from Karl Marx, actually. <laughs> if you're a cop, you have to tell me that you're a cop. Uh, uh, Ralph, is is his mom, like, she's a current serving one? This yeah, isn't yeah not state senator, but she's in the uh, House of Representatives in Maine, Republican, yeah. What, she representing retards or something? Yeah, she's actually a politician. So so she's not a Democrat. Is, they love their little retarded victims. Is Look, the theory here there's... that this like autism thing is just bullshit? Like they're just cashing in on like autism. Yeah. Dude, Perhaps even his sister does a TED talk about yeah. how much of a retarded. <laughs> yeah. well, well, I don't know if you you were you watching the Worski stream, uh, Mike. I saw the part where JF gave a negative diagnosis on the autism. Uh, well, when he played that video, that's like. I've I've worked around a lot of autistic people, and that dude does not act autistic in the fucking least bit. No. Yeah, no. There's too much um to do humor, uh, and that kind of humor. It's you have to be able to understand. He else. could be just mimicking what he thinks humor is, and that's why he's so over the top because he doesn't Mark really know what the limit is. <laughs> he seems more, like a, he seems more like a he seems more like a manic personality yeah, than an autistic yeah. one. I, I would agree with that, man. Like, I mean, he could be high functioning. That's that's probably what he would say. He's a high functioning autist. I get a high because yeah, he's on meth. Yes! There's literally a video. It seems where like he's a dude that's just fucking wired, man. Like just tweaked out. Like that's yeah. like he doesn't you, look you like a, somebody that's wait, high Are we still are we talking about like Are we talking about Baked or the other guy? <laughs> We're talking about Chaggett. Okay. Bakes, Bakes, too dumb to be autistic. Well, look, he's got the autistic blanket. <laughs> so a fan sent me an autism autism awareness blanket.
<laughs> you should trade that around Bakes so you can get out of here without being burned yeah. anymore. Re, re it to Bakes. Mike, I saw a thread on the chans with like you holding up that blanket and they were like using it as evidence that you're autistic. <laughs> like, Dude. <laughs> that's like the that's like the least bad thing that Chans have ever said about me. Yeah, well I'm sure you're familiar <laughs> with Morpheus and motherfucker. Oh that is that's uh is that is that Lazia or is that somebody else? It's somebody, I heard, I heard it's that somebody it with Lazia. the whole crew. I, I mean, going back to when your shit came out, he's one of the guys. I've seen him around a minute, you know? Yeah, I don't. I, I, ha, I don't think I have that guy muted on Twitter. He used to DM me constantly like, you still time to get me on your side. And I was like, fuck do I care, bro? I have time to get you on your my side, but I don't have the patience for it. I just yet. don't give a shit. It up. Like, yeah. <laughs> No, you gotta like, you gotta like, uh, really just stop caring about shit like that. Like, I used to care a lot about it, and it, it leads you in bad directions if you let, um, caring about, like, what people that hate you say about you. You're just gonna, it's never gonna go in the right direction. So, my advice to any content creators is don't, don't read your comments. You're, you're never, you're never gonna meet most of these people in real life. Why well, give a fuck at that point? My fans are so nice. Your fans must be fucking assholes. I would no, read the our comments. Our fans are great, time. but our fans are great, but we have like a large contingent of haters just because you know we got relatively big in this space, and uh, it's a well-known. You know, so there's just people that fucking hate it. I just have one well, little guy. I only. Get and, I mean, and not to take a shot count. at you, but the way that the way that things happened, like when you and you and Jesse and everybody got fucked up. You know, it, there was there was some genuinely bad blood as as that kind of stuff happened. You know, and I get I get that you guys were in a tough position and stuff, but people felt somewhat betrayed. At least some people did. Yeah, no, I I get that, and we um, it's just like you never, you know, it was a tough situation. I mean, there's things I legitimately can't talk about with that, but um, it was just a, a very odd and strange situation, and there's kind of like I was like getting hit from all angles uh and it was just a very weird time um but uh i don't know yeah no i understand that but that's all kind of been water under the bridge yeah that's that's that, i mean i don't want to say it's ancient history but it's kind of back there but you also decided not you didn't decide to do a live stream with like six random people you met in a west la bar you know and show no. everybody hey i'm getting i'm getting doxxed right now everybody let's fucking do some oh, hey zoom uh, send sebastian an invite he's in the chat uh okay if we got room, if, uh, if not, actually, I'll drop out to make room if you want. No, no, actually, I, I've got a jet. Uh, I've got to go, so I'll pop out and you can bring him in. Oh, well, thanks Bye, for coming by, man. Uh, yeah, good to yeah, talk yeah, fun time. Enjoyed watching the uh, the gameplay. Uh, it's good stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. That's what I come for. Uh, but yeah, take it easy, guys. All right, All right, have, a All right, yeah. have a good night, man. He was just waiting like a hawk for that excuse to peace out. <laughs> Get me away from these autists, God! Well, I think he was hoping we'd get act we'd actually get baked on here. I just where the hell is baked? He's not streaming, is he? I haven't seen anybody. I've see been him. waiting for that. He, was stream like two he, hours ago. He, he is digging into a pint of Hagen Dazs right now. He just cannot contain. For all we know, he's Wait, getting a dash of strength. Some rope. gay German guys. <laughs> he's also, yes. hang himself. Can, can we like anybody? I'm like watching the Andy Worski thing, and you know I'm 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 making my low effort memes because oh. that's what I do. The best part was when Erin was like, "I'm not some kind of internet whore." Oh, she's not uh, some kind. She's multiple kinds. <laughs> she's a particular uh, kind. Yeah. I have a particular I, set of whoring skills. <laughs> Here's the thing that annoys me is that fucking Baked is more of a sellout whore than Erin is. I mean, at least, at least she has an excuse. She's trying to get tits. He already it's has her tits. Nature. She's a woman. Hey, hey, can you I'm, guys I'm, see I'm... my avatar? Did it update? Hmm? Uh, please be patient. I have autism. Uh, no, is it? Oh, it might update it on mine. Yeah, it uh, updated. Yeah, you don't have to. Uh, I think you'll have to F5 walking. No, I reloaded. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, fuck it. it it's, it's weird about that. It takes, like, sometimes it takes a couple days when you change your but, avatar. Um, like, I, I was, like, I, I hear that, and I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be a perfect meme. And then I look over at my Twitter feed. And it's like, Arlie Ermi has died. And I'm like, wow, I'm actually really upset about this. But they thank you. It helps finish the fucking, fucking meme. Jerking each other off and hovering over this subpar slut. It's, it, look, as I said, hey, we've four all been of there. ten. No one's perfect. <laughs> four <laughs> of ten. She, she is a rebound fuck. Don't get me wrong. Four of ten. 
You wait. Your rebound is a four or ten, man. Dude, look, I've never jeopardized my a fucking marine, and my standard is it has a hole. In the holes. I'm going for I, it. Okay? I've, I've never that's jeopardized. Fair. That's fair. I guess I guess Benning has different standards, but what do I know? I've never jeopardized my job for a fucking four out of ten. I'll tell you that much. Well, I think it's it's just like it's one thing to bang that girl. Like obviously she's in the range there, but like the to bring her on your stream and like let her tell you like what to say and shit like dude this is basic yeah. stuff come on bro well, they were letting the little muslim girl do the same fucking thing <clears throat> well tell you what i'm glad about like um he was trying to get in on the the blood sports stuff and he just seems like a fucking leech well now he did that one stream with asian andy so he wants to move to the irl stuff see you fucking later dude do the irl stuff nobody fucks can't wants handle here. blood sports he's a pussy no, he can't well, he wanted to be a moderator, but he's a fucking horrible moderator too. So fucking see you later. You have, you have to you have to nut up to actually moderate. You have to be able to get in there and be like, look, let oh, this guy in. <laughs> no, you shut the fuck up. Hey, if I wasn't too busy focusing on Shredder, I'd say something really mean right now. But, but anyway, my I was that's well, I, I know it's fucking gay to like call you know this community, but I don't want fucking people coming in shitting things up and souring people on the actual good streams, which is what he was fucking doing. But he's it's, it's not. Like, yeah, you don't want people to think that that's what blood sports is. Uh, you mean the toxic that's, streams? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? He's he's blood he's... sports light. <laughs> no, we're blood sports <laughs> light. He's like the fucking dollar store like knockoff version. He was blood sports. sports. It was no. just like. A fat bearded guy trying really hard to be funny and he, just he had, everywhere. He had some good good uh, streams that fell into his fucking hand. You know, give him that. Like Calzilla, our, yes, crayons. Don't rack fuck don't rack rack well, fuck he had, he, he had the Anglin Sargon shit show. And um, then Jared, Jared Taylor and Tariq Nasheed. I mean, that was that was he better because that was incredible. Like, <laughs> that was like a perfect mismatch. It was like oh my god. Mm. <laughs> And then like, he just like, dumpster he, fires like he's like, all. not yeah. even like an articulate. I mean, well, I mean, how articulate does a black nationalist get? But like, um, it's, are you saying the low IQ there, Mike? Yeah, it's a he's he's, like, he's believing in like melanin is like the most powerful substance in the universe, and like, um, he believe I think he believes in Yakub and all that crap. Like he, he, I thought Tariq Nasheed was a meme, dude. Like I would see some of the stuff he tweeted. I'm like, nah, like that's fake. Like that's a shit. There's thing. nobody that could be this stupid. Well, yeah. Dude, he's he's Fuck got the he fucking, exists. The the suspected white supremacist. Like he he just tweets out the most egregious shit. Like you'll have a guy that murdered three cops and was sentenced to prison, and he's talking about the justice this guy needs. You know, he needs to be. Yeah. The the Bill Cosby thing. You know the the the. Uh, Women accusing him of rape is actually a white supremacist movement. Mm. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm sitting there like, what? What was that even about? Like they're silencing the black women that he raped. Like exactly, <laughs> they, he was saying they were silencing the black women he raped, and they were like, like front page on his own thing is like two of the black women. I'm like, I, I, can't I argue with these people. They, they have I no cannot sense. huff enough paint to become as stupid as you. You know, I know no. you guys are more mature than me because we haven't had a single Bill Cosby rape joke come out of that segment. Give us one. What do you got? Well, that's because the victims are asleep. Well, <laughs> you know, they got a different kind of pudding pop. Oh, jeez. Remember the, the Jello Jigglers? <laughs> that's what he called them when he shook your tits while you were sleeping on his couch. I showed up. I showed up to the stream with the wrong fucking avatar. <laughs> you you walk the wrong neighborhood, boy. You guys see that that like chick that uh that like weird looking mulatto chick that protested Cosby the other day? Oh, she jumped Which into one? out of a fucking bush naked. Dude, that chick what looked the... like a demon, man. She was like she was like a she was like totally like a La Creature meme come to life. Like her face was so monstrous. Oh. It, it was actually unbelievable. But yeah, that I was. Myself enough that Mike, I need to look this up now. Mike, did you see the? Um, it was the liberalist stream that Worski did, where they had the fucking personification of that meme. No, I didn't. Dude, he was on for 17 minutes. Like, let me just fucking throw this over. Like, if I can find it real quick, just pull it up. You don't have to watch it. But this dude, it was absolutely fucking uncanny. Oh, I figured out how to open the side chat and hang on. Yeah, how do I? How do I what, get what? this? Uh... 
What was what was this? What was that bitch protesting? Like who's who's defending? I was protesting the. Uh, I I think she's just like you raped. She wrote feminism on her arm, and then she's got. No, it's feminism. It's that. It's that. Yeah. Um, it's that. It's like, the Soros. They're people. known oh, for doing these things. There's, 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 there's like it. there's like a cop holding in the rest of her arm, so I didn't know if there was any more. She's got women's lives matter, and then the victims' names all over her body. Huh. Honestly, I thought what she was she... protesting for um, the cocoa okay. butter shortage that our country How is many... experiencing. That ashy fucking How it... Holy shit, she's so ashy. All right, All right Mike, I'm going to throw this over in the side chat. You don't have to watch it, like, skip through just to see this dude's face, but he fucking, they spent 17 minutes trying to kick him off the stream and he wouldn't fucking leave. It was absolutely incredible. So where is this guy? You know, it's always good for the stream when we stop to look at videos. Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> but dude, show it if you want to. I'll throw it in the side chat. Yeah, I have no idea how to do uh, that. Savvy can't <laughs> come. The wrong... oh, he really can't loud, come. Am, I in the, am I in the wrong neighborhood? It's, a, it's always a good day for my neighbors in this neighborhood. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. What, like about when does this guy come on? This is a long video. Oh, just like the first 17 minutes. Skip, skip into any point and just look at this dude's fucking face. Hey, Zoom, while they're doing that, why don't you tell the audience about your experience with the bully hunters? Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. This guy's uh, got a straight up 56% uh, face here. Dude, yeah. <laughs> if there was a well, live, if there a live I, chat, he's lifting even does saw thing. this uh, bully hunters <laughs> website. And I decided to fuck with people on it. Um, so I took a look when I was watching the stream. They were showing how the Bully Hunters recruitment process worked. And when they were doing this, they clicked the page and they didn't obscure the URL that the, that the page ran through. <laughs> and it said that it was running through uh, linden.fcbchicago.net, which is an advertising company that is actually shilling this bully hunters website uh for i guess steel series and um I, I looked at it and it was literally a website that had just been set up it was the back end for the bully hunter sign up website and i look i just i did a few scans on it and i realized that it was an old aws server that hadn't been updated in like over a year and i guess some woman set it up because it was retardedly set up and they left <laughs> they left an open directory in it that had the full nginx setup install script with all the ssh keys and the usernames and the public directory so i i just tried it to see like the ip that it was connecting to it was the bully hunters um aws bucket so i just logged into the open s3 bucket and i deleted the entire bully hunters website and then i deleted <laughs> the entire fcp website Dude, just and then logged off <laughs> <laughs> you are doing the Lord's work, sir. You are doing the Lord's work. Saying that, dude, like, oh, well, they're too busy. They're too busy trying to pay back their fucking um, all the money they wasted on this stupid fucking advertisement. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that that headset company is gonna like lose money for being gay. Oh, well, no, they've already. Still, Sirius has already said that they're looking at getting lawyers involved after um, Zombie Unicorn did her stream yesterday. Like throwing everybody under the bus, that they, they literally responded to her saying, essentially, yeah, you can talk to our lawyers. Yeah, she got on there and she said that she had no involvement with it and that she had no idea that the advertising company in Steel Series was faking the footage. But what's funny is, is people actually tricked her into posting the full script before it was even done and she accidentally posted the whole thing the pdf script that she got from steel series showing that everything was faked including all the footage and that it was all pre-recorded and that they were just up there to talk about women's rights like anybody wants to listen to salt shakers argue about something <laughs> does this like tool that they were talking about does that it's even exist not, it's not even no. real it's impossible not There's anymore no way that it can happen <laughs> not anymore it was just no, deleted the, didn't you the, didn't you the, pay attention the tool, the tool itself it made no sense because first off mm. if you're in like a ranked match with counter-strike there's only uh 10 slots and then there's one extra slot for overwatch for if people's being reported for cheating they can bring in that overwatch warden guy that can watch the people to see if they're cheating or not but that's it there's only 10 slots in the rank and the thing that made no sense to me is, is uh their, their one example i think it was like thorned rose or something they were yeah, like she's being harassed i look 
and they they zoom in on her and she's playing that map with the lake house and the water on it and they're shooting through the front door and then they zoom in on her and she's in dust too which is a completely different fucking map and then they switch again and she's on cobble and then in the next jump cut she's in a fucking factory map and they and i noticed that on encounter strike when you talk it plays a little voice icon with her name in the bottom left of the screen and when the guy was talking he's like i'm gonna rape you i know where you live there's no icon in the bottom left of the screen no one's talking it's just footage of people shooting each other that they just layered voice and the voice didn't even sound like something from counter strike it was completely garbled he's just like i'm gonna rape you i'm gonna rape you and she's like okay here comes bully hunter he's coming he's he's she's joined the server she's called for help next thing you know they've gone from the fourth map now they're back on dust just regular dust Somehow he's they've they've run completely across the map. She spawns in and CT. He spawns on T. She comes up behind the guy, running, not walking, running. She's got no weapons. He's got an AK-47. He's standing in the hallway, and she charges down a hallway behind him like you can't hear. Like was he deaf? And then she stabs him and types. Now you see that you're just a victim of your own uh, ridiculousness. Don't be a bully on the internet. And she types this whole fucking little stupid line out about women empowerment. And I'm supposed to believe that's real. Dude, dude. So, wow. like, if it was legit and that really happened, like, what do you think that guy's reaction would be? Like, oh, my God, I got told. No. Or would it would it be, no. uh, I'm going to go make a sandwich now and then play another match? There's, there's no way that shit was real. This is what would have happened in reality. She would have came charging up that fucking ramp. He would have heard her coming. He would have turned around. And as she crossed that little fucking threshold, he would have blasted her fucking head off with that AK. And then he would have said, good job, you dumb whore. Maybe you should have bought body armor. <laughs> and then they would have trolled the shit out of both of them for the next two hours. Someone, someone in the chat said that when you deleted their server, you should have put a, you should have just left a, a TXT file in Russian. Dude, that, or just a picture of big Vlad. Russian hackers, man. Dude, there's a picture of Trump. They're gonna get Vlad and Trump. Yeah, did you interfere with the election? Re so redirect it, redirect it to Britbong.com. <laughs> Well, funny I mean, story about Britbong.com. He has no XSS protection on his page, so you can redirect it to the stream. <laughs> so the uh, level of detail that you went into explaining that that was fake is is good, but like I thought it's it was completely like, fake. It was really obvious just from watching it that that shit would be fake. If, if they were designing a tool like that. Why wasn't Valve involved? They don't allow any like hardcore development or people fucking with the way their matchmaking system is. Because with Counter Strike Go, the game they were playing, they have their own controlled um, matchmaking system. There's no custom servers that you can it's, join like that or something. Like that. This, is all, this, here's, this is all misogyny talking. It's, it's fake. Like, well, here's here's the other thing. Valve isn't gonna allow development of something like that using their API. Valve right now is in the middle of actually a relatively large uh, lawsuit concerning their API with a lot of these skin gambling sites. They're not going to open yeah. the API to more scrutiny. So I'm not going to be surprised. They're not going to open it to women so they can jump in the servers and gank <laughs> people and fuck with their KDR because somebody called a fat girl and they didn't feel like the specialist whale in SeaWorld. Well, can I tell you something, Zoom? <laughs> I'm actually playing this game because I heard these Koopas were saying things that were uh, misogynist. I've Jesus. especially sent to take them out. So, all right. So you went to that website, that URL that you saw, and you you just got there was just an open directory, like. Oh no! I look, I looked at the thing and I saw FCB Chicago. And I looked up. And I saw that it was an advertising company. Mm -hmm. So then I decided to scan it because I have all different like scanning tools because oh, I do right. I do pen testing for a living, and um, I just started looking at the box and I noticed that it was an AWS setup. Um, and like I have friends that are like experts in cloud security, um, so I asked them if they had anything new to test out. So on the you box. know Ricky Vaughn too, then? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Well, let's was, just start did you sell this data? Yeah, yeah, did yeah. you sell this data to Paul Nealon? There was no data on it. It was literally no, just like a shell. Is, is that like a forbidden subject to talk about fucking Cantwell and all that shit that went down? Like, what's going on there? I'm not what familiar. The fuck? Yeah, I, I haven't watched. I, I, I haven't it's watched not really much, forbidden. Um, I'm not familiar not... with you guys, but like that was kind of fucked up. Uh, the whole thing is just I I missed a lot of it myself because I I wasn't I didn't know that Ricky had gotten himself into this huge feud with with like the hardcore 
you know, LARPers of the all right. I had no idea that that was happening, but I guess it was. And they were like really mad at him. And Neelan kind of got himself into a spot where, um, <laughs> he kind of sabotaged his own campaign. And then, you know, like he was kind of just had this shit posting community around him. And it was like, I don't know, really know what he was doing with that, but. Uh, he that became like his world, I guess. I don't know. And then when he got kicked off Twitter and he's on Gab and he's only surrounded by people that have been kicked off Twitter. So it's like it's just like the echo chamber. The walls get higher and higher. And uh, he, he legitimately was a newcomer to this whole scene. So he didn't know who Ricky he didn't know who Ricky was like he didn't. He thought, oh, I can just dox this guy and like no one's going to get pissed. And it's like that's an unlikely outcome that's that's not how this works that's yeah. not how any of this works yeah no you can't yeah you can't just like dox the guy <laughs> it's, it's like you can hate someone okay but the minute you dox them it's it, it goes over a line once again it's like i said earlier it's not like we're talking about somebody like ross who has said he wants to harm children okay someone yeah. like that dox the fuck out of them because the police need to know but when it's like somebody you just have a disagreement with politically or whatnot. Yeah, that's really gay. And particularly when it's someone like Ricky, who if if he was more familiar with this scene, he would know this guy was like a big deal during the election. Like obviously the J left is like is like slathering for this guy, you know, like they they're they're absolutely like drooling to get his docs. Like they, they, they want his head on a pike and you just gave it to him. Like you don't like that guy was a big target for them, uh, you know, and you just like handed it over and that's just, I don't know. It's like, why, why? Because, um, because he didn't disavow somebody that was criticizing your campaign finances. That was the rumor was that, uh, Ricky went on a podcast where they had, uh, the, there was like a two hour hour. The host was like looking at Neilan's campaign finances and like alleging that it was like illegal and shady. He was probably wrong on that. But um, Ricky then was on the second hour and Ricky never said anything about the first hour. And that's why he did it. And then later on, he came up with this story. Well, Ricky was like actually had like databases of all these alt right or, or he insinuated that databases of like alt right websites that he had gotten from Weave were being like offered for sale to Neilan. And it's just like bullshit. Like it's just bullshit. Like I like I was like, look, I'll tell you straight up, like our database, our data our you know, our, our main site database, our form database, that shit is secure. Like Weave is not selling that. Ricky is not selling that. I mean it's it's ridiculous. Like, Weave's that, a kike fucking little cock. The 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 worst the the optics that were really bad though and i don't know how you guys are associated like i watch entertaining streams so i don't know how you're associated with cantwell but when he came on and said he had thousands of names and the only reason he wouldn't dox them was because he had a legal obligation not to like thank that god was, you uh, thank god you came on later to clarify i mean to be the voice of reason because well that was, that was like I, I was kind of like chris like you know I don't know what you meant to convey, but like that's not a good message to to have conveyed. Like you just doxed a guy. You just you just didn't dox the guy. You you said it was okay to do it, um, and then you say like, oh, and I have like a thousand people's names. But you know, I'm not gonna do anything with that. It's it's I don't know. It's not. It's like you doxing is fine. It's a tool in the toolbox. And yeah, I've got a thousand. I've got a, I've got a list of a thousand white nationalists. It's like wait, what? You, you, Really, you're putting those two thoughts together. It doesn't seem that that's the message you really want to get. It's not going to inspire confidence. But uh, I don't know. That's well, was... always kind of struck me as a little unbalanced. And you know, I've listened to a good amount of the guy's content. But like the guy, you know, he. I mean, you guys. I saw you guys in real time turn him from like a larpy ass, you know, and cap into whatever he is now. And that was like a overnight kind of thing. It feels like you know, it happened. It happened slowly, and then it happened very fucking rapidly. You know. And yeah, he just kind of doesn't seem like he's necessarily the most stable of people. Well, people like this, they they will, you can goad them into doing what you want. Like, um, the reason I, I honestly believe he doxed uh, Ricky is because he's a stupid person. Cantwell is a stupid person. And they will gladly do something to show you how smart they are at the end of the day. 
you know, it, that's really what it comes down to. Well, Cantwell is not the brightest, you know, the brightest crayon in the tool shed. I just want to say, thankfully for Paul Nealon, it's not like he was in a race against a guy who was, you know, like the only shot he had is if the guy decided to retire and not run for re-election, and then the guy decided to retire and not run for re-election. Thank God he wasn't in that position. Because you could you imagine how stupid the guy would feel if that had happened? Yeah. Well, um, the thing is that like we knew that Ryan was going to retire like months ago. Like there was rumors of it months ago. There was rumors that Ryan was going to get me tooed. Like, and that's why he's stepping down because he's gonna get me too. Which which ones? So, Sorry, I'm trying to, I, I have trying to keep this line. Which Paul one's Ryan, the, the speaker of the House of Representatives? Oh, okay. yeah, Paul Ryan. Yeah, oh, yeah. who's getting so some, uh, getting some side Trump push? shot? Good for him. Well, Mike, that uh, who's Ricky, the guy that he docks? Didn't you say that he's never really came out as as full blown um, alt right on you guys' side? That he just yeah. was kind of promoting what was convenient for him at the time or what he saw as pragmatic and uh cantwell was kind of trying to paint him as a you know traitor when he really wasn't yeah no like cantwell had come up with this thing like he was a white nationalist and he became a civic nationalist like ricky wouldn't describe himself as either of those things uh he he was trying to accomplish certain goals like he wanted to get trump elected like low-key he's very sympathetic to our point of view but um, that, like, he, he would try to do certain. He he would like focus on a goal. Like his goal is get helping Trump get elected, and he actually, you know, he had a plan for Neilan. He had he had uh, he had an idea of how he wanted to go, but Neilan didn't hire him. So you know, we'll never know how that would have turned out. Right. But um, yeah, it, it is too bad. I mean, we knew Ryan was. We knew Paul Ryan was stepping down. Like that was definitely going to happen because the rumor is that he's got. Some scandal he doesn't want. He doesn't want to come to light. So um, wait, you mean a guy like that would be yeah. so, really Paul Ryan? Just strange. Like, why would this guy? I mean, the only other reason would be he wants to run for president, right? He That's is responsible. The, he the, takes the, Trump stick every day, and he doesn't complain. The hmm. the worst part is you're alienating potential. You know, you wouldn't say allies, but people that could be useful to you when he does something like that. So if, if there is if there is someone who's sympathetic now, they're they're going to be a little bit hesitant to try and help MP, you. Can you play this on the stream? Yeah, what you got? The video oh. the sidebar. Uh, I actually have a video of Baked Alaska hitting on a 13 year old girl and asking her for her phone. No, no fucking way. Uh -huh. Yeah, hold on uh -huh. a second. Oof. All right, that got me activated. Let me let me check this out. They really activate those all. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on there? Wow. He's just hitting on an underage girl. Wow. That's, wow. He's like, so, so, I should so grab her by the pussy. Hey. Hold on. <laughs> oh, 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 Wait, had... oh my god, are you guys watching this? No, let me let me check it out. And they say she's 13. God damn it. Why are you trying to grab my IP? <laughs> now, hey, if I close my live dashboard, that doesn't end the stream, right? Well, you're Maybe. streaming through OBS, right? You, you put it in your stream. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about because I, I fucking used Firefox to watch everything, and it's just uh, if, bleeding if, memory. If, if, you're, if you are using OBS, just... um. While you're watching it, uh, just mute the um, mute desktop audio and. All right, well, I'll get that video up in a second. I think the stream should hear this. If only we had people who know how to use computers on this stream. <laughs> his, his I, I fucking... use, I use... Just Larry, fill Larry. for about two minutes because I got a Firefox is like four million megs of memory right now. Dude, have they still they still have that problem? Yeah, they still have that really fucking get. problem. A browser? There used to be a fix for it, but they patched it so you can't use the fix. A lot of a lot of memory leaking in browsers is due to shitty JavaScript programming too. Is that because of brown people, Mike? No, it's just because like like a lot of shitty JavaScript programmers out there. It's like hate... plug in for Chrome. It's such a piece of. Shit. Shit. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I specifically use Internet Explorer. It's the best browser. Okay, I'm actually him. using the browser on fucking Steam to play Far Cry 5 right now. So I'm, I'm on the I'm on through fucking Steam Internet browser. <laughs> <laughs> what, I'm wondering what that's uh, 
what that is what that is like what which uh what that what that is that like a chromium or is that like a web kit or i think it uses fucking internet explorer like a lot oh, of yeah. <laughs> if you're lucky it's using internet explorer well i'm sure on Aaron windows i mean they don't too. have their own web browser right so it's it's some kind of one that you already have or uh, like uh, yeah, usually it just pulls all the resources from internet explorer it, I'm gonna go ahead and send this to Jim. See if he puts it out there. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I've seen that video before. I, I don't. I've definitely heard about it. When I saw it. Wild smile. You've been keeping up with any of this stuff? Oh man, I, I was, <laughs> I was watching this trash fire all fucking night last night to the point where I didn't get enough sleep. Uh, but then I go into work and apparently it just got. Wait, you had work. I just crazy got home. bastard. Oh, were, you, were you on the stream too after I went to bed? I was on with Scrub, so yeah. we ended up on uh, on what was it? You on super Lake chatted. Lester. You super oh, chatted yeah. that slut the fucking the video of her talking about her being a cum bucket. That was yeah. That was pretty good. I, that I was believe you, you the baby. <laughs> and you guys have the fucking chick that was laughing at him as I was just clowning on him in front of his entire fan base, laughing in his face, holding her sides, and you bring her just like, hey, what's up, slut? Nice titties. Pull your Kevin Klein pajamas up, retired. I heard, I heard uh, Joaquin that she uh, flashed you guys. Yeah, she did her titties out. Nice. Yeah. Well, what? Fucking go fund me for a tit job. So yeah, yeah you know. I mean, Once again, when Lazarus is just using him for something. Can we all can we all come to the consensus that fake tits are gross? Just work with what you mm-hmm. got, lady. Yeah, no. well, they're fun to look at. Uh, fake the last like has bigger tits than she does. Fun. Yeah. Uh... She had tits that looked like smushed muffin tops. <laughs> oh, the problem is that. She... She's got brown nipples because she's Turkish. No, no, purple. <laughs> Would you consider Turks her to be a Turkish nipples. delight? I, Turkish, I specific- Turk, no, like legitimately, Turk Turks have like blue or purple nipples. Like brown nipples are like Hispanics. Like, have you done a comprehensive study of this, Mike? In, I have in the seen, field. I not in the field. I've seen. <laughs> I've seen like laboratory samples. Do they record that? No, I've <laughs> done this for science. Study of nipples. I legit. Yeah, not done any field research myself, but I've I've gotten many reports. <laughs> well, isn't isn't part of becoming a member of a pool party showing a picture of the color of your nipple just to prove you're white? Some some pool parties might do that. I don't I don't know. It's up to the individual. Uh, it's up to the individual regional leader to, <laughs> Why uh, to decide that. Why are you asking so many fucking questions, Joaquin? Give us your <laughs> give us your, ba- give us your badge time. number. He's trying to figure Mike out. Mike has my badge number, okay? Trying to figure out if he can get into a white national party before they figure out how you. <laughs> well, you know, you go to these parties and it's fucking everybody's got a last name like Pinovich, and it's like, oh god, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm learning something new every day. Apparently, Turks have blue nipples. I I did not know this. I, I, I'm. What are they? Part Smurf? <laughs> Ralph, Ralph, Look, Ralph, they're like, just what? a they're just a like a genetic horror. Like they're <laughs> they're like a mixture of like five, ten different ethnic groups and, and it just creates just yeah, it's just really bad. What you're saying is the Ottoman Empire was a mistake. Oh huge. Ralph <laughs> Ralph, are we gonna get another op ed uh, based off this video that you got sent? Uh here? you know, I think that that might have to happen, yeah. I just uh tweeted out by the way and tagged Jim in it. Uh I saw uh Dude. Oh, actually, so instead of giving me a retweet, you just did the same. No, nah, but see, yours you didn't actually upload it to Twitter though, so you can play it on Twitter through my link. So I just put it straight on to the Twitter uh, server. So we could play well, it. Hey, at least you said it on stream instead of just taking all our jokes like Andy Worth. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph, I was uh, I was um, I was watching. I tuned into Baked Alaska stream right when he dropped that fucking diss rap on you, and I was looking at the, oh, uh, the dude. dude. I was looking at the chat and. <laughs> the first thing I see come up is just Ralph Ralph retort. Dude, we've got 800 more viewers than you do right now, LOL. Dude, I couldn't believe... I mean, actually, I could believe if you saw some of his old career, we, we played some of those earlier on the next stream today. Um, you know, some of his cringe. 
you know, maybe I was giving him too much credit, but I thought he was smart enough to maybe leave that in, in the past. But uh, I guess he was worked up enough to to go back to his roots and uh, do a little dis. Oh, By the way, the rap itself. Is- you get upset, you start rapping. <laughs> well, look, the, the rap itself was just horrible, too. That's, oh, man, it was. It was really bad. Can you see a clip of this? I got to see this train. And then he was he was so mad because our stream was just completely dominating him, and it was only because he was acting like such a spurg. Like uh, that's we were how stealing his content. How do you yeah, know, yeah, we were stealing his content, but anyway, well, then we were so, stealing your content, which is crazy. yeah. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph, you want to know something that I found fucking disappointing? Like, um, since I've you know c- come to realize who you were, I, I went and looked up some of your old streams where you, you just used to get on and fucking yell at people and back then people were like oh fucking ralph spilling his spaghetti <laughs> now you're real super fucking calm like that shit fits perfectly you need to bring that back man. Yeah, that Ralph, yeah, there's some streams back in the day where i'm just completely going off you know, you know. dude i was listening to the one where you're talking about that tranny and gamergate and uh king of pole gets on i was like dude this is fucking gold how do people not love this shit this is awesome this was, was the original blood sports. I, I was doing a little blood sports type thing back then, yeah. And people were just like, "Well, Ralph, you're fucking crazy. What are you doing here?" And Ahead uh, of your fucking times is what it yeah. was, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, and then Bake was so mad. Back to that though, real quick. Bake was so mad that he ends up inviting Jim on because he knows that's going to spike the audience. And of course, you know, Jim just gets on there and completely destroys him, which made it. Oh God. He, he, had his po- he had his posse backing him up, though. <laughs> his posse was sitting there. That was the most cringe part. And they're like, yes, queen, slay, and just yeah, clapping. Did, and all his- <laughs> oh, was- oh, my I, God. I don't know what happened, but towards the end of the night when I got on there, his entire posse turned against him. They were just <laughs> laughing at him and pointing at Oh, him. and we were watching a lot of uh, Nick Fuentes and me and James Alsop and, you know, my regular co-hosts, Zidane and Gator. And so we were all sitting there, and it ends up being, you know, those guys were at each other's throat for like a straight hour on my stream. And then as time progressed, we're just all sitting there laughing our ass off at Baked. And then that uh, that Chad dude that got arrested for meth, he, um, he, I don't know, he said something about pedophilia. You know, we talked about it earlier. Yeah. And then, and then he... he he worked for Jesse Lee Peterson. And so the people in the chat were like, whoa, whoa it would be a shame if, if uh, Mr. Peterson comments here tonight. And then all of a sudden his face just went pale as a I, I have never, I have never seen somebody go from laughing and having a good time and shit-talking <laughs> chat to being on suicide dude, watch. That, that, guy, that guy got cucked by a base black man. Oh man! And then today we were doing a stream, and Jesse Lee, Jesse Lee Pearson was doing doing like a live, I don't know, some church thing. And so then I pulled up his stream, and I was like, "Wow, it sure would be a shame if if you guys went over in his chat and started, you know, putting that news in there. I would hate to see that happen." And then all of a sudden, his, his stream got raided, and they're just posting all kinds of shit. Huh. And so I just saw one comment, and they said, "Wow, this we got some weird, weird, weird chat today." <laughs> It's like Jesus shit and pedophiles and meth and. I was. So has that been confirmed? Uh, Don't you guys do this? Don't you? You know what? I'm normalizing white nationalism. Okay, and you're not gonna get any more Mike Enochs or Andrew Anglins on. And if you're mean to me. Dude, yeah, I, I didn't want to do that. He I didn't said it do that seventeen show. times. Hold on, six uh, Fucking wild smile might be out of the loop, but yeah, that is confirmed. Also, that dude's dad wrote a book about raising yeah. his autistic son, and he was how, talking how about does, half- How does it feel? How does it feel to know that your only only benefit to your family is about how you're fucking autistic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his dad and his sister do TED talks to talk about what it's like to deal with a retard like him. <laughs> so he's in their field experience. It's literally, yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, somebody asked my mom, what does your son do? Well, you know, he's he's a black sheep of the family, you know, does stuff on YouTube, but, you know, he was a Marine and, and he's trying to get back in. And then they ask his, you know, his family, what what's your son do? We well, don't fucking know. He's autistic. They you just say, look me up on Amazon. Also the wall with cum. Yeah, you guys lost okay, a great, yeah, you guys lost a great ally today. today. I want to dig into this for just a second because the title of the book is Chasing the Rabbit. Now, if you read the Amazon thing on it, it explains what chasing the rabbit means. Yeah. It's that no matter how much the dog chases the rabbit, it will never catch that rabbit. Much in the same way, and I swear to God, this is from the Amazon description of the book. Much in the same way, no matter how hard he tries, he will never be normal. 
<laughs> chasing that rabbit. Jeez. I swear to God, that's the description. He's like, he's like fucking Lenny from My Nice and Meds. I gotta go to rabbits, George. Give me, give me the mask. Give me the mask, please. And some, I was and like, he's also have... been uh, chasing the dragon a little bit. Like, <laughs> and some, and somebody should have, somebody should have put Chad down like the end of Mice and Men. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. What? Wild I smile. was trying, dude. He What's grabbed his little person and left. Well, Smile, I don't know if you heard about this, but the way this guy got busted for meth is the cops pulled him over and they didn't have him. But then he asked him to pass him something that they had in the vehicle. And what he asked them to uh, pass back to him was a bag of fucking meth. And he got pulled over and he was drunk in his car. But it, it was it was parked. It was a parked car. So I don't think he got a full DUI. It was like a, I don't know, type of DUI. And so, you know, they're going to impound your car. And the cops were like, you know, we can we can help you out. You know, you need anything from your car since we're about to take it. And he said, yeah, grab my wallet, grab so and so, and grab grab my sunglass case. <laughs> well, the sunglass case had a fucking straw and like a bag of meth in it, and they ended up finding it. He got a felony. I, I feel like I've heard this story before. Maybe this has just happened before. Hmm. Like it's on. It's in like um like d dumbest. Story. Yeah. Like let's let's like be that. honest. If you're using meth, you're probably not the brightest person to begin with. Yes, this has probably happened the same way before. Yeah. Where like, the fuck did Bakes meet this guy? For real. Uh, their meth Look, dealers dude, introduced him. We're talking about Baked Alaska, <laughs> the dude that was in Las Vegas and went upstairs with a dude, a 40 year old dude in a fucking camo hat to do a line of meth. <laughs> Who <laughs> fucking tells everybody knows? about it? Like, the fucking back pages grinder. It's anybody's. <laughs> Oh no, it can't be back pages anymore. That's uh, that's that's been taken well, down. Th th this was back when he was in college. I think uh, one of the funniest things was um, you know, speaking of back pages, one one of the things that my first sergeant used to say there was uh, his weekly um, oh, what's it called? Weekly uh, safety briefs before the weekend starts is you know, and don't go on back page. They're all MPs anyways, and we all laughed thinking it was a joke. And fuck, it's not a joke. <laughs> mm. Mm. There's a joke about women marines in there, but I, I can't make it right now. Yeah, dude, go ahead and make them. I make them all the time. No, I can't. I can't figure the joke out. God damn it. What? They're all lesbians, anyways. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. Well, Mexican guy for dollar ninety nine. You guys are entertaining. Keep it up. You're Yay. gay for four sixteen. It's Sam High birthday. Sam happy birthday. Oh, you are gay. <laughs> happy birthday, Sam. Dude, <laughs> my fucking. Uh... I had a tweet that was featured on Russia Today and the Daily Dot because of Sam Hyde. <laughs> oh, do tell. Uh, it oh, was, was just it Sam Hyde bomb Syria or something like that. Or Sam... No, this was back. <laughs> this was at the YouTube hey, shooting. I catch that guy. I had I had one that blew up that got me banned. Then it was it was just me reporting that Sam Hyde ran a gun channel and he shot shot it up because YouTube was censoring him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Mike. It got my you it got my Twitter suspended. Sorry. Why are you Sorry. laughing at me? Sorry, you know you know maybe maybe if Sam well, you know maybe you know what this is all about, right? Like the ultimate plan is Sam is gonna do a mass shooting. It's the fucking perfect plan, isn't it? Like, right? It, like, it is yeah. like when we when we choose a target. Yeah. Yeah, no. that's like, you know, and nobody will believe it. It's perfect. <laughs> no, I, 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 put out a, I put out a tweet after that. Was it was like maybe we uh, maybe we tweet the same hide meme out just for uh, for laughs, or maybe we tweet it out because you're all a bunch of sheep who are you know unfeeling and unwilling to do anything besides virtue signal every every time someone's killed. Well, or maybe know, he's such a or maybe contrarian. Do it for the laughs. He's storming to the building like, ah, I'm shooting you. Ah, the bullets are hitting you now. <laughs> 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 but so, wait, is this Targon's 20 year plan is to get Sam Hyde completely memed into a mass shooter? I don't know. I, I was seriously expecting that sort of baked and that autistic guy were gonna do this morning. Like I was I was checking the news when I woke up to see if anybody <laughs> the, the, uh, the, started shooting. Who, the one that uh, she told me she reported me, it was some based black girl that did it. So you know, I couldn't give a fuck because it's just Twitter, but it was funny. I love the fucking the I love the same hide meme. You know, I I don't know. Like my Twitter doesn't get reported. I don't know. Maybe like I don't know why that. Maybe it does, and I just don't see it. But I, I can't believe I haven't been banned yet. I've been banned like four times before. This oh, is that the must be nice. Running, this is the longest running account I've had. Uh, I don't know. It's just weird that they. Yeah, they didn't you get retweeted by Ian Coulter the other day? Yeah. Three times. Jesus, she can't think you're doing fun. something right. Yeah, but, they, but doesn't it say in your bio that you're a parody account? Yes. 
yeah, that's that's but, probably what's saving you right there. That's not actually Mike's account. Don't don't fucking. Yeah, but it's it. uh, it's um, but it, do, it doesn't like the content matter. Like, I mean, I don't say I don't use like the the dreaded. Nobody N-word. knows what the fucking what's the Jewish N-word? lexicon or what the well, fucking Twitter. I don't want to get this channel banned by you know. You don't want to say the nigger word, Mike. Okay. What are you a cuck? Yeah, I don't. I don't really <laughs> say nigger on on Twitter. Um. You know, I, I don't even say kike. Uh, I I talk about Jews quite a bit though, um, but they don't doesn't seem that doesn't seem to trigger anything. Or maybe it does. I think it's the way that you phrase it. We prefer to funny, call them funny. the chosen people. Thank you. Funny enough, uh, Mike, you know Tonka Tonka saw with the morning kumite. Hmm. Um. I, mean, I know got, of him. I don't know yeah, him personally. What What got my channel or my channel my fucking Twitter? suspended was telling him to kill himself because he was tweeting some sh- I was just fucking with him. That's you know? the one time I got a strike. Yeah. Because I, I, I told someone to kill themselves. It Did wasn't, say- like, serious, but it was, like, yeah, you know, yeah. banter. But yeah, no, they, they actually, the one time I got a strike on my account, it was, like, it was like, yeah, you can do this or maybe just fucking kill yourself. Yeah. I didn't and- even say kill yourself. I just put KYS. And- oh, really? Yeah. I got Dude, suspended for calling someone to keep himself yeah. safe. There you like, go. I didn't even know Twitter would ban somebody for calling somebody a midget, but I apparently got banned for that. <laughs> well, I said, you're yeah. such an insecure was midget, and they dwarf. banned me. That's where you messed you up. You really want to avoid mm-hmm. the word tranny. That yep. will get, that's the I'm one they're really looking for. That's I, like, I you prefer the term preoperative American. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> a no sexually confused Pre-op. young lad who wants to have an axe wound where his inadequate penis currently resides. That's what I like to call them. That's just me. Yeah. I'm silly. Yeah. I don't I just know. call I'm, them mentally disturbed. Twitter's Twitter's good. Like I just really needed to keep in touch with the people that you know I actually like to talk to. So I don't give a fuck if it gets banned. But yeah, don't ban anybody. To I, don't fuck know, man. I do. It's fucking annoying. You know how hard it is to get reporters to follow you back again when you're like, hey, I got banned. Yeah, yeah I do. Getting yeah, banned on nuts. Twitter is shitty. And like, you, I don't know. Twitter's where everything happens. So. Like Gab is a is just like what's the point? Like yeah. I might as well stay in my room and scream. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like it's like <laughs> it's different for me, I guess, because I'm just here to fucking be entertained by people that have good streams. But I guess if you're actually trying to get out and do something, it could be pretty inconvenient. Yeah, and and the good thing about Twitter is like there's targets, right? Like there's people to troll. There's like yeah. endless shit libs and Jewish journalists and like pieces of shit out there that you can just. You know you can go at them and that's that's what's fun about it like i don't want to go to a place where everybody's just like a nazi and like yeah. and like a really aggressively like unironic no humor straight like you know full 1488 hitler style like with absolutely no irony or humor to their to their the way they present themselves at all like which is what you get on gab yeah like it's, it's just like uh, that's why gab can never succeed or you know any other site can never succeed because it's always the people who get you know banned first the most extreme and yeah. they're the ones they're the yeah, ones that they, po- they, they, they set the tone it. yeah they set yeah. the tone and there's also a there's a thing where like uh you know uh, the whole thing of like unmoderated forums ultimately turn right wing right and then it's like the most extreme unmoderated forum, but it's like, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's the people that are banned from Twitter and it's unmoderated. So it's like, it's just a total, you know, it's a great idea. It just doesn't fucking work. Yeah. I mean, it, it is a good idea, but that's the, the thing is like, even in uh, like a comment section for a website, if it's not moderated, if like sufficient, if it gets sufficient traffic, like it becomes right wing and then other people leave like like leftists and liberals and journalists like they won't inhabit a space like that. Like they yeah. just won't. So you need a, You need like Twitter where they feel comfortable. Otherwise, they're not going to be there. Yeah. For you to troll. Who cares about what cliche left- to say you got to have a fucking hug box for those people. Someone's about to say who cares about something. Yeah, I said uh, who cares what leftists think, though? No, I don't care what they think. You need them. You need troll targets. You need yeah. you need them as a foil. You you want to be able to interact with those people. That's the entire point of it. Yeah, yeah it's Plus, really all the celebrities are on Twitter. All the journalists too. It's just like, yeah. yeah, yeah. You gotta you gotta have people out there to uh, to react to and 
you know, targets for your trolling and or just banter or whatever it might be, things to react to. Like it's boring if everybody literally has like the same opinion. Yeah. Or everyone's competing to be like literally the edgiest guy. Right. Yeah. It just becomes esoteric shit posting. Yeah. You well, hate when like, people claim that they're great with you. banter and then they just give up when you start fucking with them. Yeah, well, like, look at, uh, I think Bronx Blogger is a great example. of. I've been trying to get that fucker booked for, like, a month now. Oh, he won't do it? Oh, well, he was all lined up to do it, and then day of, I'm like, I was about to send him the DM of, hey, oh, you know, you're ready to come on, and I was, I couldn't send the DM, and I'm like, that's weird. I was fucking blocked, because he's like, oh, these guys are actual Nazis, oh, my, you know, and it's like, wait a second, I, I sent you a link to the channel, you took forever to get back, I told you what we were about, you know, yeah. but they're just, so, they, they won't interact, they're terrified yeah, yeah. So, so, he, you know, you had this set up with him and he blocked you and straw man. So I message him. I'm like, Hey dude, what's going on? These guys don't know you blocked him. He's like, well, they didn't re that. They didn't reveal to me that they were actual white nationalists. It's like, I that's what he wanted. I thought that's what he wanted. Well, that's right. I was like, that's, that's not, you know, he's talking tough every day. Right. Right. And I was like, that, that doesn't sound like those guys to withhold that information. But if you ever have, you know, an inclination in the future, now that you know the context, you can come back on. So he never blocked me. So hopefully he'll message me in the future. If he wants to come on, maybe I'll bust him. I should him. neg him about it. I'll neg him about it. Oh, yeah. he, 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 he follows me and he jumps into my, my threads on Twitter all the time. And it's always like, he always makes himself look dumb. But like, uh, he, he says, so, like, he thinks he, he thinks he won the debate that we had, which he he didn't. And then, like he he thinks that like if we did a rematch, that he would win that, which he wouldn't. And it's like I, you know I, I don't know. Right. I'm like I'll go get I'll go at you again whenever you want, dude. Like I uh, you know if you want to do that, but he I don't think he really wants to. He just wants to like you know. this that might guy's be like the blind guy walking around in a rake factory, dude. This might be me, <laughs> my. Mike, this might be me just like having my tinfoil hat on. Do you think that dude had just the most cancerous mic possible just to derail the whole debate? Because that was like irrelevant. Yeah, I didn't I couldn't to to tell I couldn't tell that that's what was going on from my perspective. But the, he's he was using like a shit tier like iPhone or, or Apple, like ten dollar. And those are really like um low bandwidth like their low range dynamic range yeah. and they like push all the audio through just in that narrow dynamic range and it's like th like this mic i have is like professional broadcast here so it's like full full dynamic range so it's like he's getting all of his decibels through on like i don't know if that's the best way to, you, you kind of get what i mean like it's all he's just yeah. like slamming it with like one frequency whereas like this is like a broad a broad range sound and so he's just totally cucking me the whole time and i i didn't even realize it well he had it like banging up against his shirt too i, I mean it yeah, wasn't dude, it was... it's like get, get some kind of decent equipment dude using those like using like iphone headphones for this shit it's like come on bro right i i hate to be a fucking you know snob about it but like if you, can't, it. If, if you can't afford like a 30 dollar microphone just a decent usb don't get the fucking snowball, me. man. Get just like a shit, shitty like blue snowball. That's right. what you need. It's like $30. Hey, don't, $30 don't, don't, like. don't, don't, don't say that. I have the blue Yeti. Don't don't you hurt my Yeti's feelings. <laughs> Yeti is a decent one, dude. Yeah, I've got the fucking meme mic too, dude. It's just when these people come on with their headphones, like they're, they're typically pretty serious debates and you need some decent fucking audio. Yeah, yeah. and they're, it, it, it sounds like they're deep throating the mic. Yeah, it's just it's, shitty. Yeah, the, don't feel bad about having a Yeti. I used a Yeti for two years. It's it's a good mic, but it, the only problem is that it, it it picks up everything. It's not like a directional mic. But. Right, right. It it, yeah, it ruins. Well, it ruins the fucking experience too when you come in with somebody like you that has a actual professional setup, and then you've got somebody talking on their goddamn cell phone. Yeah, that that <laughs> is really irritating. But of course, this isn't what you know. What that guy does for a living is just like protest you know where, where you know where investment bankers tell him to go protest you know that's what then he goes and does it let's be but, honest uh, that that dude's done fucking videos where he shows where he's living uh that that dude's not doing anything for a living he's no. he's living fucking section eight uh, i'm sure he's doing that uh anarchist thing where they they like we're taking down the system by like you know taking all welfare it's like nah, dude oh no, you mean welfare. like toilet cooking like jeff did yeah <laughs> Oh, stop, you're making me horny. <laughs> oh, the return of the Y-Boner. 
so yeah i don't know yeah no that guy definitely he's like you know pansexual harry potter fan it's all the same shit dude it's so fucking tiresome these fucking people i feel like we should round those people up and put them in camps i mean what well, what else are you gonna do with them dude how how, how long can you give the same fucking people attention like how's he that guy like it's like a rotating debate with yeah, Jack who wants that are willing to come on? Who the fuck wants to talk to Halsey? Where'd this fucking guy come from? And when does anyone like mystified by any fucking thought that comes across his mind? Yeah, I don't. That's what I don't get is what what kind of like original stuff is this guy coming up with that he's like all of a sudden we're, like because I saw him, I see him like cropping up here and here and there on people like like Falk did a thing with him. And I'm like I'm like I asked him like why? Not like I'm mad at you, but like what does he have to offer to to what you do? Like I don't why are you talking to this guy? There's, like, there's, there's, there's there's such a uh, Falk small... wants to signal that he's not a Nazi. Yeah. Here I'm a... talking to a Jew. Look at me. I'm not a Nazi. Yeah. Right. There's such a small field though of or, or small pool rather of people who are actually willing to come on. That's the yeah. That's issue. the thing that does suck is that it it does it would help to have some. But the other thing is that you don't want to just be like going on with like a literally who, right? It's like right. okay, so I'm like. Random. Hang on. Speaking of literally who's, real quick, uh, Aaron is doing some streams right now. She's going in some lifts. I don't know. She's streaming on her phone in random cabs in L.A. right now, putting out there <laughs> asking what she should do, and she needs some direction on it. So you know, I think it would be awful if people out there tried to give her some direction or like potentially direction to the stream. Um, or, you know, coming by and uh, God doing damn, stuff. more of that fucking hole. <laughs> well, Kim, why don't you just admit yes. you want to slam that clam and get I, it out? I don't. I don't, but I want to bully the fuck out of her because she's so easy. No, no. Please, no bully. Otherwise, the bully hunters will come. Oh, right. They're gone. Yeah, they're gone. Yeah, yeah way to go. She's, oh, apparently she said she's going to Baked House right now, too. So I really <laughs> want to have her streaming with <laughs> us in the background with Baked. Oh, I'm going to Baked House. Is she bringing exactly her back your boyfriend now? Oh my god. See, that just goes to show how how her standards really are. Like after last night, after last night, you're still gonna pity fuck him. That's that's some good shit right there. No, she's got a no. boyfriend and the other one's got well, a boyfriend too. Baked hold, is hold on. She's she's gonna pity cuck that guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. She's she's explicitly stated on several occasions she's not gonna be fucking him. That's she like said, makes that's it so much worse. She'd, yeah, she'd right. rather, she'd rather fuck the Muslim girl than him. No, Mike, you've got a fucking point. It makes it so much worse I, that he. I, I, I would rather. He flushed it all down the fucking toilet for a girl that's not. Even but it's girl. like that. Isn't that? That's always how it goes. Because if he was fucking her, he would not be tr treating her yep. like that. Yep. Like he would be like, all right, go in the other room. I'm I'm doing streams or whatever the hell it is. Like he'd actually exercise he some kind of hand. Her a low IQ piece when, when, of trash. Yeah, when she when she was getting, stuck on her asshole. When she was getting mouthy yesterday, he's like, go sit in the corner. It's like, no, you're not fucking her. She gets five across the face. There you go. She learns a lesson, doesn't she? My now, favorite Jimmy, super five, chat. Somebody are said. five inches. Because that changes things a lot. My favorite yeah. super like chat. Come up last. short in both ends. Yeah, definitely. But my favorite super chat from last night was one that it was because of her reaction. It, it said, uh, watching Baked pretend to be Alpha is the saddest thing I've ever seen. And I saw her like laugh and go, yep, it's <laughs> <and> nod her head. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. And then today and then today on Worski Live, it's like, hey, w would you would you date him if you were single? Nope. And you just no. you, can, uh. you can you can just. Hang on, Worski stole it's our rejections. content on that. Worski stole our content because he knew because he was in the fucking stream and we did it on Scrubs and she said she wouldn't do that. Who well, cares? Uh, to be fair, to be fair, it's rejections like that that made serial killers yeah. like Son of Sam. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's yeah, all I'm saying. Get that message out to as big of a fucking audience as you can, so people know who the fuck Baked Alaska is and what he's about. So, so, so people know who the Alpha is in their relationship. Gotcha. So. I'm wondering, like, uh, you know, I always sort of wondered, like, what Baked actually thought about things. I mean, I guess he, I mean, not that, you know, game is like the be all and end all, but I think most people in this thing have some understanding of it. And he obviously doesn't. No. I guess. Yeah, it's it's just a complete lack of fucking game, dude. That's, that's why you, that's why you flush, I don't even want to call it a fucking career, but your entire... Mm fan base away for some girl that's not even gonna fuck you and a and hole at that 
It's, yeah, it's, you, need, you need to be able to read the signs that this girl's not going to fuck me and disregard her like a lot faster than. Well, he still hasn't done it apparently. But uh, I mean, it, he's literally Jim, on a, his way on her way to his house right now. Jim Jim said it best earlier. It's um, he's trying to go more mainstream. He's trying to get away from the you know the 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 toxic chat quote unquote. And um, you know when Jim and Andy were saying you know you betray you betrayed your. You betrayed your chat. You betrayed your fans, and and um, Baked is like, no, I didn't. Well, you know what? I agree with Baked on this one because you have to have some loyalty towards people in order to betray them to begin with. Hey, real quick, can a uh, chat asking? Can we all introduce ourselves because they don't know who you all are? <laughs> sure. So my name is Morikai uh, Morikai Leibowitz. I'm the chief rabbi <laughs> of New York. Uh, I'm gonna bite my foreskin off later. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my name's Oy, uh, my name's Jeff Holiday. I'm at real <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at real Jeff Holiday on Twitter and spam me asking me why I won't come on the Kumite. I'd appreciate that. Thanks. I like it. That sounds legitimate. I believe that. <laughs> Some people would think that guy's fucking around. Nah, I believe it. <laughs> that sounds like a good man. <laughs> Making fun of the way no. I talk, motherfucker. I think the, the, thing that, the thing that irritates people about fucking Baked is he tried to co-opt this fan base for his own gain and then just completely took a shit on him. And that's just the worst kind of fucking people, man. I mean, that's all there is to it. The They're first, fucking everywhere. The first time there was pussy in the equation. The first fucking time. And we're talking like three out of ten pussy. Most of us wouldn't even fuck her if she was the last chick at the bar. Right. Oh, there it is. Hang on, hang on. She is live hey, on stream. Hang on, guys, 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 guys. Hours ago. Zoom, hang on. She is live on stream with her family right now. Oh, good. <laughs> so, see, you guys, I'm going over this chat. <laughs> this stream is called. Watch my this train wreck. Is there a link? Is there a link to this? Uh, uh just her, her, it's sweet Aaron on YouTube. I'm on two different computers. No, the interesting thing is, wait, oh, oh, wait, 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 in the chat. He just. It's oh in my the God, side chat. In the chat. Yeah, he just said, Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. Call him a pussy for not coming on. I mean, it would be awful if you guys called him a pussy for not coming on here. In 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 good conscience, we could never ever. Hey, no more family. Got you. Such a thing. Get that faggot on here. <laughs> He's a faggot. Ow. <laughs> Dude, Aaron almost Dude, has three Monday maps. This is this is like. <laughs> this is like. I don't know. I'm not used to like this level of people just being terrible. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, maybe you, this is like what you guys do, but I, I'm not like a, no, dude. a lawyer I mean, of like meltdowns. No, it's just fame horse, man. It's, That's all it is. It's, it's, watch, it's been watching this entire thing that is making me think that the only way humanity can continue to evolve is if we have another plague. Yeah, I think social media like really fucked people up, man. I, I don't think people were ready for it. Like, I think it actually, like, fucks with people's brains. Seriously, what? the best book ever written on the internet was So You've Been So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson. And he just <laughs> the stories of people that basically had this shit happen to him. And it's like, how do you recover? He wrote a whole book on how the fuck do you recover after being completely blown the fuck out this hard. And it's hard, and his prognosis is not good. The only ones that really did it were the ones that just stayed the same and just kept doing stuff and figured it out. I don't have any fucking sympathy for these people, though. I mean, they're so devoid of any fucking character. Like, where else were they going to go with this? It was their fucking destiny. If it wasn't social media, it would have been something else. <laughs> why is she broadcasting this, guys? That's what I don't understand. Yeah, well, fucking fame exactly. girl, dude. She's a, she's a fucking what? female baked Alaska. She's in a the goddamn fame girl. Mom Big is in the chat saying all kinds of shit. Wasting my Uber... <laughs> Uh, what else did he say? She was on the way to my house. They lied and said they were having a heart attack and wasted my money. They are an abusive family. Uh, apparently, um, she's okay. saying that her and her boyfriend don't work and they just live off of them. Oh, that's a <laughs> shit. That's what her mom just said. I'm just, I'm just going to say this right now. I'm praying to God at this point that she has a barren womb. Oh, shit. A bear in her womb? <laughs> Tell your yes. roster in their chat. Tell your mama to stop being a thought. Yes, I want that to happen. I want her to have a bear in her womb, and I want it to explode out of her like an alien's. Okay. That'd be adorable. He's still, he's still posting in that chat. How dumb is this guy? I'll, I'll, I'll say something, you know. You know, maybe I don't fucking completely politically align with all you guys, but at least all you guys have fucking jobs. 
<laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. It's more than just providing for yourself, because I think having a job and paying the bills for a while it gives you a character. There's mm -hmm. a lot of these people that just, you know, and not, th this isn't a slight against somebody who doesn't have a job, necessarily. But well, shit happens, I mean, sometimes. Yeah. I mean, the worst, the worst fucking thing for me was after I was getting off of active duty, um, I called my mom the day before I left active duty and said, Aaron's mom, mom I... is yelling at her and she's like, what is wrong with you? You're not even looking up at me. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I, I told my mom, I'm like, mom, I need a place to crash for a bit. And it's the worst fucking feeling because you go from this independence to you're now dependent on your mother again. It, it really is a terrible feeling. How old were you? 23, 24. A oh, fucking there, dude, well, dude. There's a That's fucking there, there's a key component to that is that it is fucking embarrassing to you. If you have exactly. no shame about going back and living living at home, that's the fucking problem. If you exactly. think there's... I, I I I felt really bad about it until I realized that I was I was helping her pay the mortgage and everything when I was paying rent and stuff like that. Did you remember so that keeping... you're Italian? God damn it, wild expected. smile. <laughs> so this is insane. Her parents are just Fuck like raping job. her. Did you see oh, how she spelled insane in, in the <laughs> fucking title? No, in the insane. The best part, the best part is we've got Wild Smile over there in their chat right now saying, Aaron, tell your parents about the JQ. Dude, this is... fucking <laughs> 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 Make sure you download oh this uh, when it's over. By the way, I'm gonna have to get it. Oh, should, should we call the priest yet? <laughs> what, oh, the God. top patrol? Should we call the yeah? The, should, I said priest, not police. Uh, but oh yeah, we should God. probably call the police. We should also probably call the police too, because this is going to turn into a domestic. <laughs> I'm calling it now. I mean, she's obviously mentally disturbed, so some part of me kind of feels bad, asking, but not really. Um, no, I don't really feel bad. Plus, she's put it all out there, so it's like, of course, I'm going to laugh at it. Like the only thing, thing that can make this worse is if she got mom is demanding right a drug test. <laughs> yes! Probably right. She's probably right to do it. Oh, Mom, dude. intervene. Get this bitch off the internet and into fucking rehab. Well, fucking facility, yeah. Apparently, um, she lives with them and they pay all her bills, so they're demanding a. They're demanding. Is she stopping an idiot? Also, Holy her shit. boyfriend lives with her parents and her. That's the funniest part of this whole situation. Hold on. Have you guys read the fucking description? My voice yeah. has been silenced too many times. <laughs> At the age of 26, I gave up censoring myself. I'll never look back. She puts I'm that here. in every single video. Such a woman fucking thing to say. Jeez. That's her same uh, description in every video she puts that there. It's women weird, are always so. like turning over a new fucking leaf. Every time they ruin <laughs> oh, something, they're like, Yo, I, I'm, I'm starting on a new path. And it's like, shut the fuck up. Cut Who their hair not? short, kick their husband out, yeah. start looking box. There's only so many sides of one fucking leaf you can turn over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. someone spook Myers and get Mike Enoch in here. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's she's a, she's a real. So apparently, people sent her parents clips of last night. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> her, I really hope nobody sent her parents her. pictures off my Twitter. Oh no! That would oh be cool. no! <laughs> it, 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 like it's it's like baked. Oh, hold on, They're look not at that. Hey, did we just lose audio? Uh, I think I fucked up. No. That's good. Uh, that's good. Shit.
Hmm. I'm muted. Hey, if you guys can hear me, type 1 in the chat. Because <laughs> I unplugged my microphone and that fucked everything up. Alright, you can hear me, but you can't hear them. Yeah, I fucking, I unplugged my microphone. I'm gonna do it again. And fuck everything up again, wait. Now I know you can't wait to get back to that wonderful conversation about some fucking dried out slut. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to fix this super quick, okay? Uh, I'll just, I think I just have to refresh that. The, uh, the category okay, for her back. video, how to in style. This was a how to video. Hey guys, you <laughs> did it for the last 30 seconds. <laughs> so, if it was a long story, start over. Sorry. Mm. I unplugged Where my mic with, with my I don't know, you, huge dick. You know what the best, the, the best troll on Baked would be? And you can't do it because you can't control the autistic horde, but is to have everyone, and I know it's so appealing just to fuck with him on his, you know, donations, his, you know, text to speech if just no one fucking donated to him like that would break that dude he donate to himself so he feels better he's not even that smart dude he, you uh, have to be smart to put those two he's brains really being a pussy he's he's not answering my dms he's not answering my fucking gab what a pussy oh and we blew up that chat there was like 20 million ads to him i know people everybody fucking saw already. it like how did he not he saw it i oh yeah he, he laughed at it when he saw it He's probably praying. He's he's probably wishing the bully hunters hadn't gone away now. I doubt that he would come on a stream with like eight no. dudes making fun of him. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, don't fucking underestimate this guy, Mark. I mean, who I yeah, <laughs> knows, but I, I it doesn't seem like something that you'd do. He he did it last night, twice. He fucking did it on Andy Worski's stream. He he, yeah, he he'd he come did. he'd come on, but he he demand to know why his fucking uh why his channel isn't in the description for the video. Yeah, <laughs> well, Andy, Andy, why isn't my channel in the description? Can you link it, please? Uh, dude, he did that like three or four oh. times. Like, wow. Yeah, it made me fucking sick, dude. Oh, Ralph, he actually He's said, you know, cut. he actually said, like, why is this guy streaming my video and not putting my uh my channel in his fucking description? What an asshole. <laughs> he said that about you. I mean, like, honestly, I I would have put it in there. I just didn't even think about it, but. uh I you just were don't. you were doing him a service by not linking <laughs> your fucking people. Yeah, to that's it, Ralph. What the fuck. And then after the stream was over, I do usually go back, you know, after I stream and put in whatever videos I played or whatever. And he took the video down, or you know, he put it on private. You can't watch it now. The the stream, so like it's pretty much. It's off. okay. Oh. It's okay. Aaron's the back internet will remember. He says, he oh, says he he's back. By the way, by the way, real quick, Mike, I love you for introducing me to this term, but everyone's telling her to defu her parents now. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez, the thing that killed me Christ. is when uh, when he was on stream and that that CF guy, uh, Cuck F, he was like, "Hey, Aaron, <laughs> you should come on as a as a regular ghost like once a week, and we'll teach you how to be a host." And then like he he looked like a kid that was told he wasn't going to the toy store, and he was like, well, "Wait, really? Are you guys serious? What about me? Like, you don't even list my channel? What the fuck?" He's like a bitch. Yeah, isn't he, isn't defooing a fucking concept that came from? Uh, Stefan Molyneux from Molyneux. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> so, so, are they is... seriously entertaining the idea of bringing this woman on as a regular guest on? Uh, that would be uh, so Are they doing that as a meme or are they no, doing that? Dude, it's some fucking, people were. It's well, some people were saying. Some people were saying is they were going really... to just to fuck with uh, Baked Alaska. So that's the, why the, I did that. Like, yeah. No, but is yeah. JF really that desperate? No. Yes, well, yes. He's, it's he's not. Canadian, it's yeah. not. It's you're misunderstanding JF. It's not him being <laughs> desperate. He just wants to fuck everything. Did you see what Rebsion said in the chat? He said, "Aaron, because you do so much activism, I'll give you a discount on my feet pictures." <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That's actually him too. Yeah, that's really him. He was oh watching Mustering the other day too. I saw him leave wow. a comment. Oh man. 
Fucking Keemstar was in there. Uh, people swear PewDiePie was in there, but I haven't, you know, I can't confirm I it. I didn't see him. No, that, that wasn't yeah, a PewDiePie. It was a fake one. Yeah, well, they kept yeah. saying it anyway. And then the, same, then the same one went over to fucking Baked Alaska Street and Baked just like, oh my God, PewDiePie's in my <laughs> shit. Oh my God. Dude, so Keemstar really was good. for real there, though. He yeah, actually yeah. gave me a super chat. I've never watched fucking Keemstar. I know he's a big deal, but he's been lurking blood sports. I know. He's mm-hmm. falling yeah. hardcore. Well, he's, yeah. I, actually, I kind of like such a pain in the ass to get in touch with. He's he's always got, like, a wall of return. He follows like, me on happen. Twitter for some reason. I was like, oh, okay. It's because you got that thing that uh, Monday and Matt can never get, Ralph. Oh, that verification check. Yeah. That that's that's check hey, everybody that's who's really watching sweet. Aaron's stream right now, throw 1488 in the chat. I happened to just be talking to shit to Monday Matt one day, and this was like a week or two ago, and all of a sudden Keemstar jumps in it and just starts going off about how Monday Matt blamed him for a swatting and just starts roasting him. Yeah, so I guys, remember that. He's Dude. being blamed for the YouTube shooting. Somebody needs to verify him, please. <laughs> R- Ralph, this is the real, this is the real no. inherent thing. Ralph, how often do you do fucking um, videos like you did on Matt? Because that was fucking top notch dude oh dude I, that was just off the top of my head like i was like okay i'd already known because um a guy i know named wild goose had looked through all of his tweets last yeah. i don't know last year and i knew that there was a ton about him whining about verification so then when he did that thing with the shooter um where he literally tries to take advantage of the shooting <laughs> to get his verification check that he's been crying about for years i said okay i already know there's a, a stash of tweets so i just made a quick video you know off the top of my head just laughing at him mocking him dude that's but, like I've, I've got to script the fuck out of all my stuff and that was just a complete rant by you wasn't but, it? Yeah, but it's it's okay. yeah it's a complete rant. Uh, it's, it's okay great. ralph though he, he doesn't you, really man. want that twitter check yeah, he's, no, he doesn't he's verified my YouTube, and that's all that matters. And he kept saying "lol" after all this, and it's clear that it's really bothering him. And it's, oh man, uh, that "lol" might have been, might as well have been. I'm crying right now. It's just fucking hilarious. I feel like I'm watching a grown up. Oh, Jesse she, she just DM me back on Twitter. Oh my god, that's it. Jeez. Oh, she, is, yes. she is a grown up Jesse Slaughter. That's exactly Yeah, she's it. a grown up Jesse Slaughter, dude. Her parents are screaming at her. She's sitting on the floor talking to the computer like it's a person. Ripsion just put 1488. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. This weekend. Let me put it on again. God damn, this notorious hacker known as 4chan. Uh, I gotta go make another drink. This is getting ridiculous. Oh my god, if we can get her on here. <laughs> I'd rather get her on. I don't parents. even want to talk to her. Get her fucking <laughs> <out. laughs> I'm about to go get a drink too. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm out of alcohol after all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take another shot too. Fuck, this is depressing almost. Almost. It's a little It's a little satisfying in a uh, Scheidenfreuter sense. Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Schadenfreude. Whatever. Shot and Reuter. Repsy on Aaron, don't disappoint your dad. <laughs> it's okay, she's got two dads to disappoint. Kill her in five days. I think I can hear her typing back to me right now. Yeah, I can. That's fucking awesome. Mom, look at all these people who love Queen me. Queen of Pants, quit trying to kill herself. <laughs> Come on, we want her on here to do that before she does anything. Kill yourself. She's not telling her to kill herself. She's telling her to keep herself safe. There is no. That difference. was spelled out. Kill yourself. There was no KYS. <laughs> <laughs> that was Queen of Bands saying, "Kill yourself." Well, I can't help her then, Queenie. You're you're on you're on your own for this one. I'm I'm actually upset because like Baked Alaska won't talk to Queen. Queen was trying to get me on Andy Warski earlier. And she's like, "You have to open it up with the oh, Queen sends her regards." Because she, she could get you on, but she couldn't get me on. No, they just sit there letting Andy jerk himself off for fucking two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Was that she before or in, after the show? She she says she sends in a super chat saying, "Shut your fucking mouth and get my get my guest on." <laughs> Somebody's just throwing up Reed Siege in her chat. <laughs> Murder suicide. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Gas yeah, that kike button. Oh uh, yeah, you guys are being toxic. I might have to ban you. Sorry. <laughs> this is a girl with daddy issues. She sounds You're like Louis C.K. Like. doing an impression of a girl, doesn't she? 
So it looks like you were not donate fifty bucks from I'm, Rosebud. I'm 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 actually starting to hear the uh, I'm actually starting to hear the Adam's apple when she starts talking. Should we try to get Repsion on? on? That's what yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I don't think I, on Twitter. I have this um, strange feeling that that his account got hacked. I don't think he has this much of a sense of humor. Again, I think it's actually him. I mean, I know it's actually his account, but I don't know. Color me skeptical. Like all, all I'm saying is the uh, the 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 female persona is starting to slip, and I'm starting to hear the Adam's apple when she talks. You think she's gonna get angry and start using her man voice? Oh, <laughs> motherfucker! <laughs> Surprise, motherfuckers! Why are all the girls that I hang around with telling her to kill yourself? Kill herself? Oh no, wait, never mind. Big cat killer, don't kill yourself. Kill your parents. <laughs> see, the way I see it, this woman could make a very below average man very happy. Ooh, below average man. Oh, I get it. Below yeah. average. So below average, big. This is the Twitter that's linked on his YouTube, but it has like 31 followers. Uh, oh god, J-House Rock, how the fuck long have you been here? Oh, I came back, man. I couldn't keep up with this drama. Or I was keeping up with this drama and shit on Twitter, and I was like, holy hell. Anyway, man, um, I looked into that stuff he wanted me to look into to uh, ask uh, Sargoy tomorrow, or actually today. <laughs> that's some crazy-ass rabbit hole shit. And it's funny because your picture is a bunny. Ah, uh, that's the point. I just like bunnies. <laughs> well, it's a very specific rabbit, but there's a very specific reason for that rabbit. Python? That's the one from Monty Python, right? Correct. Yes. What a great, what a great film. Yeah. It was. She has 250 fucking viewers right now. All right, Joaquin, you better fucking deliver on this because I ran out I'm of my so I ran hard. out of my cheap booze, so I had to break into the good stuff. What do you got? I I I don't know and why. Oh, told, I've ran out of booze entirely. I don't know, man. I got I've got a Highland. Uh, I got a Dalmore Special Collection Daniel Blard. It's about a. It's not cheap, but it's it's, it's thirty dollars. Wow, Toad, fucking big it's, spender over here. It's, it's about not, it's not cheap, but for this, it's worth it. It's about, right, well, I'm gonna go see it's if about two hundred. It's about two hundred and ninety dollars, but you know, you better fucking deliver. That's all I'm for, saying. For this, I gotta say, this, why is Mike not wearing pants? That's kind of a weird look. It's airing his dick out, man. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> you gotta get a bit more of a quality stream if you want this man in full attire. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show up, but I'm not throwing in on any pants. <laughs> You oh, faggots want pants? That's an extra twenty bucks. <laughs> Mike, uh, what kind of mic do you use? Uh it's a Rode Procaster. Yeah, you gonna ask Procaster. Joaquin what kind of Joaquin he uses? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm interested. I'm interested in decent fucking audio quality, not autism. Wow. I was actually curious of that same thing, but I didn't want to ask. I actually <laughs> use Blue Snowball. I've been using this fucker for two years, three actually. No, no shit. Yeah. Is that is that the uh, is that the same mic that uh, Alex Jones uses? Unironically. Oh man, I hope so. It looks I think, no, no, no blue, blue snowball. Blue snowball is the giant uh, ball. The uh, no what was... what what Mike's using? It looks very similar to uh, uh, what Alex uh, it, it is similar, but it's not. But the one I use uh, in studio when we do the show is the same one that he uses. Dude, say what you will about the fucking living meme, but his audio is fantastic. <laughs> Alex Jones is this? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. yeah. He's breaking the conditioning of big audio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I actually don't. I, I never used to notice what kind of mics people use, and now I do. And it's funny, like, he's he actually, uh, you know, Sven actually bought me the same kind of mic that Alex Jones uses. Yeah, it's... Fucking... He uses the same one that, that Worski uses, although he had it before. And then when Worski started making money on the Super Chats, he like upgraded to that that mic. I don't know. I don't know what, what that one is, but I can't tell if Andy has good audio quality. You know, it seems like it's bad, but it might just be his grating voice. I think it's just his voice, yeah. <laughs> they really need to like I, I've kind of got the same thing where my voice is higher than normal, I guess you could say. 
So uh, I really have to mess around with voice meter to kind of bring it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. If you're in the same chat with me, you're not going to be the fucking worst soy voice. (laughs) I don't know. It's it's pretty bad. It it can be pretty bad. You can also have shitty audio with like decent equipment if you don't know what the hell Uh, you're doing. Yeah. If you don't don't have a good sound card. Yeah. Or if you don't. Like this one I'm running it through. There's like two, three fucking inputs I'm putting through. I'm drawing President Trump. This what do you? Kind of of this. Oh, Robert, oh, I got a thing from somebody. Uh, they wanted me to bring up to you, Mike. <laughs> We've got a guy who's a regular who sounds just like Alex Jones. It's so fucking weird. If you ever need like an Alex Jones like guy to pop in and fake him out, it, I swear to God, people can vouch for it. This guy goes by Underwater Alex Jones because he is legitimately Alex Jones. Dude, fucking tell him to from. send us like samples. Okay. Yeah, oh, I got you. Send. Uh... Here, give me a follow back on Twitter, and I'll fucking I'll uh, DM you some stuff. Oh, that's that's how it gets you. You have to follow him oh, back. Right. What, is, what, what is your what is your at? Here, I'll just type it inside. I got Ethan. That's I've got open. You know. See if you can hit me up, whatever. <laughs> Bitch, follow me back. Okay. <laughs> well, you followed me on your old account. It's not like ooh, whatever. But uh, I am unironically fucking interested in audio. Would you say you're running that through, Mike? I'll be right back. I have um. Uh, M audio interface and a tube MPC compressor. Hmm. Yeah, that it's going through. So uh, the the M audio interface is the USB that goes in, and then there's a the the mic goes into the the tube MPC compressor that goes into the M audio interface into the USB. Oof. Yeah. Well, I'll fucking look up all this stuff uh, tomorrow and figure out what the fuck it does. This is actually. Now that I'm looking at it, yeah, this is a. It's actually not a cheap setup. Sven handles all this, though. He's actually legitimately was a pro at this, so he. Yeah. Are you are you trying to bake Alaska there? Because I I couldn't help but notice the uh, the tits. Price <laughs> price price isn't the problem. It's my fucking complete lack of understanding of it. And are you drinking the official drink of the alt right right now? Is that I a Bloody am. Mary? I see. I did make a Bloody Mary for myself. Yes. Mm, cheers. Cheers. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit uh, late at night, I guess. This is a, but yeah, I, I, I was feeling the, uh, the lack of alcohol. Yeah, I'm, 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 I hear that. Could be that we're doing a fucking stream about some crazy bitch in her parents' house having a break. Yeah, there's no reason not to be drinking here. It's like t- <laughs> tomorrow's a state holiday for me, so it's like normally I wouldn't be up this late, but mm, don't care. Oh, yeah, is it? It's Patriots Day tomorrow. <clears throat> yeah, it's Patriots Day. So what state are you in that that actually gets recognized? Massachusetts. Oh, I was gonna say you don't have to tell me why, but whatever. Yeah. So I, go I, go I, to the. I've uh, put out there. I've put out there that I live in Plymouth, Massachusetts. You should go to the Proud Boy rally, man. Uh, if 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 I can get up there, sure. I mean, just to watch the shit show. I, if I was in the area, I would go just to like watch it. Last go. last time there there was that what march for something. It was it was some kind of march up up here. And the last time I went up there, it was like, um, you know, I, I got cornered by some Antifa. I wasn't going to take a part, but it's like, you know, the usual shit. Uh, you're a racist and you're a fascist and, and all that shit. And one of them actually, like, pulls a knife. Like, he legitimately pulls a knife on me. So I just, like, flip up my flip up my uh, shirt, show him my pistol. I'm like, you get one stab. And if it doesn't drop me, you're not getting back up. These, these fucking people, like. Did you ask him if he felt they're, lucky? They're, com- they're complete Look, pussies. No. Dude. You punch well, them one time and they run away. Yeah, they're just one the side cops. of the one side of the gun, and, and I'm sure that they they're run to get the yeah. cops as they threaten them. Like, yeah, they would have actually run to get the police. Oh yeah, <laughs> they no, they they, they but... did. They they ran. They got the cops. Cops came over. Like, what happened? I'm like, we got on camera. They one this of them guy fucking one pulled them, a knife on me. Yeah, one of them has a knife. They're like, are you licensed to carry that weapon? I'm like, yes, I am. Here's my license. You okay, didn't. You're good to. You didn't unholster it though. You just showed it. No, to I didn't. I, I didn't. Even, I didn't even snap the. Uh, I didn't even snap because, like, I carry an FN five seven, so it's like. Yeah. Well, it's funny. I, it's funny because I hear I hear a lot of guys like tell stories about like the time they like took their gun out and like placed it. Most of the like, time, they're take yeah. your. Are right, you feeling lucky? Like, dude, actually, my dentist did this. I was at the dentist dealer the, uh, like a month or so ago. And uh, he's like in there, like drilling on my tooth, and he's telling me a story about how he's like the one of the only men in New York City with a with a concealed carry license, because he he used to carry like jewels and like cash around. And yeah. I was like, all right, about whatever. And then he's like, 
he, he says like he, some thugs cornered him in Brooklyn one time, and he all he did was they weren't expecting me to be armed, so he took his gun out and he put it on the hood of his car, and he's like, "Take one more step." I was like, "Yeah, none of this happened." Yeah, dude. Yeah, generally, no. I was <laughs> like, when, when someone tells me a fucking story about brandishing a weapon, yeah, I'm, I'm like, like, "No, yeah. you're lying." Come on. It's it's one it's one of those things. It's like I I I I was the same way, and then it happens to me, and I'm like. Fuck, maybe they were telling the truth because I, I, I have no problems admitting, you know, I've drawn that weapon twice. I have used it twice. I'm not happy about it, but I have. Yeah, and well, dude, like you it's... seem to be you seem to be telling it an actual actual genuine story. It's the people that just will approach you nonchalant about it and be like, "Yeah, one time I pulled a gun on a motherfucker." Well, it's when your things... dentist is like drilling your tooth, telling you this shit while you're like, you can't talk. <laughs> go like, go dude. ahead, call him a liar. See if that Novocaine helps you, bitch. <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, dude, why? What makes you think I give a fuck? Like, it's 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 like it's it's one of those things. It's like you know, I, I'm not happy I did it, and. Well, actually, no. In one instance, I'm happy I did it because I, you know, I saved the life of a fucking cop. The other one, I'm not happy about. And to say even that I was happy afterwards that I took a life, nobody should be ever be happy about that. Hmm. It's an it becomes a necessity, but it's not something you should be proud of, kind of thing. Right. Yeah, I pulled out a gun this one time. And knocked his Were you uh? Out. Was this like military contact? No, I, I, this was a civilian. Oh. Oh, okay. Can can you so guys you're like you like Mark Edge <laughs> from, from Free Talk Live? You ever no, listen to that show? Camel used to go on at Free Talk Live, like one of the hosts, like no, I, I killed, just thought it guys in like a drug deal, and like that, like that's why he was an ANCAP. <laughs> I mean, dude, like I, I should have been allowed to do that. Like, like if you, like I hate <laughs> these motherfuckers who are like, you know, I killed a person. Well, congratulations. Are you happy about it? Yeah, that makes you a sociopath. Get the fuck out of here. Hey, real quick, yeah. just for the uh, the chat, this is a slow mo shot into the basket. <laughs> Dude, I can. Okay, I'm done. I can I'm fucking. You know, I listen. To, I listen to you guys because you're entertaining. You know, politics aside, but I cannot listen to Cantwell just because of his voice. Like, I don't know that guy's position. Oh. His fucking voice is so great. Well, listen, his position is uh, stockpile. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, no. Here's, here's what you don't understand. It's the radical. No, radical shut the agenda. fuck up. The thing is, get off no. my fucking stroke. Listen, here's, here's, gonna, here's what you're going to do. Here's what you're going to do, all right? Listen, you're going you're gonna to stockpile fertilizer and coffee grinders, okay? <laughs> you're going you're gonna to fill your house with bomb making materials and, uh, you know, wait for the uh, race war to come. Um, All right, FBI, and if you don't do that, you're a fucking cock. Okay, okay. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. I, 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 I promise I'm not going to get clips that and used against you. I promise. Hold on. No, 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 this is, I'm actually literally imitating a sketch that was used on our show <laughs> last week, so I can't even take credit for these bits. Like, we had a guy uh, do it. Hold on, you're saying you don't agree with my show? Are you a Jew? <laughs> <laughs> How much pike are you? That's it's like, I look, know. I've. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I've got a list of a thousand white nationalists, but I would never dox anyone, all right? Look, as long as you fucking stay in line. Uh, oh, sorry for the F. Uh, this is like totally, I'm just biting off this guy that did this sketch for President <laughs> Jesse last week, but like, it's still funny. Uh, but Chris Chris actually like wanted to call truce uh, to oppose the war in Syria, and I was like, all right, truce called, my man. Like, I never, I never said shit, so. Did you tell him that gassing Syrians isn't wrong? Yeah. Because it furthers the Jewish agenda. I was like, it's a tool in the toolbox, agenda. right? It's a tool in your toolbox, right? Like, you, you don't want to ever take a tool out of your toolbox because then you're, you're, you're weakening yourself for no reason. So gassing Syrians, it's always there in your toolbox. It amazes me how fucking insane people go over gassing a state that has only existed for, like, what, 60 years? And it was just a Jewish invention to shut up a bunch of mud slimes. <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people who's like, you know, I, I am not a fan of, you know, even hitting Syria the way we are, and and it's not because not I'm, 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 I'm not one of those, you know, America shouldn't be doing this. It's not part of the Constitution thing. It, it's not that for me. It's we don't actually know who did it. Remember the last time this happened. You know, CIA is coming out and saying, "Hey, we know it was the Syrian regime," and then it was um the French DGSE was like. Uh, comes out like a couple days later saying um actually we have proof. actually well actually actually, we actually. Have proof it was rebels because the chemical composition is uh similar to the chemical composition of similar shells found in iraq 
that went missing after 2000, the 2003 invasion and stuff like that. Uh, all and right, Cole, what, I got to yeah. cut you off. We got somebody else coming in. It was, it was a good time. You're on but, the radical uh, agenda. <laughs> well, the reason I don't like it is because it just shows like the same fucking Jews are just like running the foreign policy. Like Trump doesn't. Trump well, is actually. Two days ago, they like, came out and uh, Russia said that it was actually the UK that did it, and then mm-hmm. an that, that like totally said wouldn't that it surprise UK me. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Isn't can't we just all agree that John Bolton is fucking based? Well, didn't you hear what happened today? Now, uh, now they're saying that the UN is saying that. Uh, no, France, Ari the Donald France says that guy wants UK. to fucking bomb people for Israel. That's fucking based, man. <laughs> no, didn't you hear what happened today? Like, it was when we were doing the stream of Uh The UN came out and they're they're bitching at uh, the UK and France because they bombed a factory that apparently was going to contain evidence of whether or not Syria was involved. And they bombed <laughs> the whole area before the UN could send in. That's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. That's all. That's all. Yeah, that's literally, all. No, it's no, like no. literally all lies, dude. None of it is fucking true. There was no gas attack. Like, let's yeah, just get the, it. It never I, happened. I, I, I'm winning I, a war. Let's get. Let's use. A, let's do the one thing that will exactly. stop from winning the war. He doesn't just do it while he's winning the war. He does it on the outskirts of his where his fucking family is. I don't believe that the Syrians themselves gassed anyone. I think there was a chemical they weapon attack. They didn't. They didn't. I, think- I don't even think that, that. I think it's fucking literally they staged this shit, dude. This is like the fifth time they've done this shit. No, I agree. And, and my whole thing is if there is a gas attack, I guarantee you it was rebels. Whether it's the U.S. backed rebels or ISIS and Al Qaeda, so it doesn't matter. But you it's repeat the- yourself. But ultimately, yeah. the, the the thing is, you got to understand, is like Jews are allied with those fucking like Salafist, Wahhabist, whatever you want to call them, ISIS, Al-Qaeda. They're like Salafist, Wahhabist, like fundamentalist, what, any of those words fit, Sunni Muslims. Those people are like the reserve army of the Jews in the Middle East. And that is why they do things like they fuck up Iraq, they fuck up Syria. And look at the most, like the the other governments no, wait, in the Middle wait, wait, East. Wait. Someone just farted. The- Who the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking talk like you didn't do that, Mike. What the fuck? Yeah, that was uh, sorry. That yeah, was I. Uh... Got excited. <laughs> that was an dog. Okay, good. I did it. Okay, all the talk about gas attacks just got me. No. <laughs> what do you got a theory in it on the your desk or something? Yeah, there, there was there was something that came up that I wanted to fucking ask you guys about because I have not been interested in politics in any serious way for like eight months. Yeah, he's what the, serious. What the what the well, what the fuck are the Proud Boys? I can't figure out what the fuck those guys are. So Gavin McGinnis fan club. They're a group you should yeah. join up because if you're a pussy, you'll join it. <laughs> yeah, you should join it because they. They they like have a hazing ritual. It's cool. Hey, did they actually burn up? Hey, that guy's hey, 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 hazing yeah, ritual, sticking your thumb up your ass on like yes, on the that's like no, that's like step back one. Behind the bar after excuse me, it's not it. hazing. Hazing is illegal. We call it corrective action. <laughs> no, they, they take you <laughs> up behind the bar after for you today. Today. shots and then exactly. they punch you and make you name breakfast cereal. It's hilarious. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like it's hygiene. That didn't work too well for that one pedophile parrot boy though. They beat the shit out of him behind the bar. Did they? Did you? Do you have? Because people are saying that that guy legitimately got his fucking shit rocked into yeah, someone. Yeah, he got his shit beat out of him. Did wait, they take wait. his ink? Hold on, <laughs> Zoom. Are you telling me that some guy that doxed his full name, address, place of work, and phone number got beat up for saying he liked to fuck kids? Oh, yeah, yeah, and then he had pictures of a fucking baby yeah, vagina. Yeah, that's fucking. So wait, 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 I didn't even hear this. What happened? His okay, name so was we... a Brit bong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Excuse so... me, I'm gonna go get my gun. Yeah, so we had this we had this stream a while back. It was like, you know, Civ Civnat versus Ethnonat, right? And the guy comes on and he's just going, going, going. And eventually I was like, dude, you've got no edgy positions. You're basically a neocon, but more of a nihilist. And he's like, I've got edgy positions, and I don't want to say it because someone will take it out of the context, but the guy starts advocating oh, for pedophilia. And he's like, I've advocated for pedophilia before on my show and this and that. Anyway, he's, I, was asking, I was like, so what's the youngest you ever jerked up to? Oh, well, I don't know, like five. And then later he tries to play off the, oh, I was just pretending to be retarded. It was all a joke, right? And then... Still, he should get his ass beat for it. No, no, hang on, hang on. Hang it, gets on. Worse. It, gets, it gets way better. So uh, so the thing ended, and the working relationship with him and our people kind of deteriorated because he's an asshole. And somebody decided to put together all the clips of him saying that stuff on the show and put it up there, and he decided to get my channel a strike for it. And uh, it turns out, doing the research that this podcast he has, he has there's a there's like a 20 minute clip of him talking about 
having a picture that he took from someone else's phone. He's had it on his phone for like a decade of a baby's vagina, and he has a podcast, and he spends 20 minutes talking about how how big this baby's vagina is and how what? fucking... Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, under, yeah. I understand this, too. This dude works for AT&T, so he was like working as a technician with cell phones and just grabs some person's picture of their baby naked off does, of their does phone. Does AT&T stand for a toddler toucher? No, it's actually T-Mobile. <laughs> T-Mobile. We don't want to, we don't want to, AT&T is a great company that wouldn't employ pedophiles. Same thing. But yeah, so that, that happened. Anyway, it turns out the guys are proud. Boy. They're all owned by the same person, if you know the what king, I'm the saying. The King of Pole, exceptional detective. Uh, he did he did a good video on the guy. I don't. I, I mean, it's a lot of whatever stuff to get and into. And what they found out and beat his ass, or did that not happen? Uh, well, it turns out that um that uh, underwater Alex Jones is like very well connected to the Eastern Seaboard Proudway group. And then I got onto my chapter, and I told my chapter leader about it, and he messaged Gavin immediately because Gavin is in charge of one of the chapters that I'm in. And they messaged him, and then the actual like Proud Boy admin messaged me and was like, "Hey, what do you have?" So I gave him all the clips, and then they watched it, and then they beat the shit out of him at the next meeting. Did Gavin take one of the doorknobs out of his ass to beat him with? Good. <laughs> it was really. Like, I'll give I'll give Proud Boys some credit. Like I I see them beating the shit out of Antifa in the street. I do see it. Yeah, that's why I don't go to the Antifa rallies because I don't want to fucking kill some nigger that's upset about the fact that they don't get, you know, free hey, welfare dude. and free. Dude, college. I love those videos where that guy was that big fucking Samoan guy was like punching the shit yeah. out of these lesbian chicks. I was like, that is fucking great stuff. Dude, right don't there. fuck with Samoans. I'm telling you. Uh, I think don't... they call that guy tiny. And he's like <laughs> decking these like five foot four fucking lesbian bitches. And I was like, this is fantastic. Like, I'm loving every minute of this. You but should be able to legally the with kill Samoans an Antifa You think member. you fought them all, but there was, there's always Samoan of them. I'm sorry. Dude, that was... <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> kill, kill yourself. You botched that one pretty badly. Right, let's, let's move this to Joaquin's channel. So it's like, You're there's always no. Samoa. That's what you said. <laughs> You think, you think they're all gone, but there's always Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I was, I was concentrating on my beautiful artwork. Chip, chip, is <laughs> the joke that never dies. Uh, what are you saying, proud boys? What are they proud of? Beating up some pedophiles or something like that? Yeah, it's something to be proud of, man. It's worth it. I don't know, man. I've seen some fucking weirdos in that group, and most of the people just want to drink and tell people to stop being pussies, and I don't see a problem with that. I don't really have a problem with Proud Boys, man. Like most of most of them the are just like a woman. She belongs in the kitchen, and she should be at home taking care of their kids. Like, hold on, yeah, Zoom. Aren't you a Proud Boy? Yes, I am. He's a proud man. And there's there's nothing wrong with that, dude. I used to hang out with the Likewise. New York City Proud Boys all the time, man. They would fucking love it. Oh, when you I in New York? Uh, so not, any, not anymore. I was. So that's right. What I'm... happens to Sal, man? What happened to Fat Sal? Uh, last I heard, you don't have to there. tell me. You don't have to tell me if you. Oh, because somebody told me he wasn't in the New York group anymore. Uh, Alex told me that he moved to a different group. Oh, all right. All right. So, do you know? Uh, do you know Gavin personally? Then, so uh, I've met him a few times. I've actually been to Vice HQ, but that was usually to be interviewed for something else. I I I always wonder if he's a little bit more. You know, uh, I right, like the, right, I like the lets on. The, I like to troll the fucking the vice reporters all the time. Like I had this dude Lorenzo. I just had him running up and down uh, Fifth Avenue looking for me. And I, what happened was, is I had actually taken a break from work, and I spent like an hour walking up and down the street taking pictures. And I just kept making him walk around in a circle and making him think that I was just moving really fast. And he was like, "How are you doing this?" And then I was like, and then I just came up behind him. I scared the shit out of him. And then I trolled him for like That's a good great. hour, giving him this fake interview. And then after he got done and he took all the notes and shit, and I got back home, I told him I was lying and that it wasn't even real, and he was really pissed. <laughs> I told him that when we, uh, when we broke into the CIA's email, uh, we found a bunch of evidence of uh, aliens being hidden, and that the uh, the leftists weren't allowing the all right to release the truth about uh, life outside of our own universe. So, I love Actually, how you're the one guy. I love you're the one guy in a conversation who just casually break and casually bring up breaking into the head of the CIA's personal email. Well, I mean, according Ooh. to United yeah. States law, we didn't do that. Some retards in North Carolina did it, and we just let them take the fall for it. So this was in a public stream, so I assume it's okay to talk about. Joaquin said at one point in your career you have stolen 4chan. Is this true? Oh, yeah, I did. 
uh, I this was like back in 2007. Um, we got an, an idiot rep to install a reverse shell that connected back to one of our uh, boxes, and we were able to get uh, full access to network solutions. <laughs> and we had access to pull uh, 4chan, basically any account that was on record in network solutions. So I decided it would be funny to pull 4chan. I took all the DNSs, and then I transferred them out, and I registered to a guy named Corey Herman in New Jersey. And, um, <laughs> and I transferred everything out to one in one and then I moved it to like a Swiss registrar so they couldn't get it back. And then I sat on the phone with Moodle for like three days and had like a full conversation with the dude. He's sitting on the floor with no computer and a flip phone telling me that he doesn't know anything about computers. Uh, he doesn't even know how he did this. And he's like, dude, I just need my website back. Like, this is my whole life. <laughs> dude. So I met him in real life and I turned it back over um, in exchange for him giving me back my Skype, which had a bunch of our group uh, people's personal phone numbers on it. Because what happened was... Uh, a dude that was in our group, uh, he was so stupid, he was hosting our website on a small hosting company that was registered <laughs> to him. And it also had his full college uh, like club information on the <clears> server. <throat> and it was the same server he was hosting the group uh, website on. They doxed him, and they threatened to get him kicked out of school. So he tried to throw us all under the bus by giving out our fucking password ashes. Jesus mm. fucking Christ. I remember wow. you came on the, the goddamn Brit Bong's Brit Bong stream, you know, and then I got on, I think it was Scrub stream and I fucking made fun of you for saying you had all these passwords and then I slowly began to realize that you weren't joking. I was no, like, I really <laughs> do have all of them. Like, I might have I made a mistake here, stepping on this I, I showed, I showed it to you. Like, I have, I have a massive database of emails. Yeah, it's it's kind of scary. Yeah, I, re I realized shortly afterwards that I'd made the wrong joke at the wrong time. <laughs> Yeah, and then, and then these fucking retards like Brit Bong, they say shit like, oh, you don't know people. You don't you don't really know people from Wolfsack or Lizard Twat. Then why are they following me? And why are they in my fucking personal DM groups? And why am I connected to all of these people? Like, why was Julian Assange following me on my old Twitter before he got suspended or retired? Ugh. Like, there's, lit conspiracy. there's literally a fucking, there's literally an article. It's in Wired. It was written by uh, Kim Zetter, and she's talking about... Uh, the time that I took, uh, what the fuck was the name of that website? It was like Cryptome. I took it from this dude, John Young, that told everybody that he was in the CIA and that they wiped his memory. <laughs> and uh, I did it because he was like talking shit about Julian Assange and he came out on IRC and asked us to like get rid of this dude. And he started this whole conspiracy that we put like spyware on every file on his computer. And uh, it was it was all bullshit. And we wrote this hilarious article. And then like after it comes out, this dude like says that we're like stalking him and that we infected all of his computers at his office and shit. And really, he was just insane. So, is it safe to assume that you're either doing something for a good purpose or just fucking around? Then I usually just do something and fuck around. But usually, when something major happens, I'm probably connect to it or or know about <laughs> it. I'm not, I'm not gonna confirm or deny it, but I might have something to do with it. I like to think of myself as, uh, you know that French guy in the Matrix, the Merovingian, who knows everything because this is his business to know? That's, that's kind of how I am. Like I, I like to be connected to everybody. I like to network. That way, when something goes down, I always have all the information I need. No. I don't know how these people can just operate with no information. It drives me fucking insane. Hey guys, I gotta jump out. I'm gonna be starting my own live stream in about 15 minutes. But uh, thanks for having me over, and uh, yeah. you guys all good night. Hey, well, hey, before coming, you go, uh, before you go, yeah. sometime uh, you want to come on back here at Blood Sports this week? Fucking anytime, man. All right, all right, I'll hit you up on Twitter. Appreciate you, bro. Right on. Yeah. Well, yeah. not anytime. Anytime I'm not working. <laughs> right. I got. You. I got. Hey, you, you wanna you wanna come on a good boy goes live when I do it again in six months? <laughs> Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> good booking there. Uh, right Fuck on. it. We'll do it live. There you go. There you go. Yeah, right. I'm actually. Right on, everybody. About, Sorry, I'm go ahead. To to, I'm about to have to jump out myself. Oh, well, you're leaving too, so. Um, yeah. I got to go to the store and stuff. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys having me on. I had a lot of fun, so. Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy ass weekend, hasn't it, Ralph? It really has, man. I'm probably gonna take uh, this footage from from Aaron's live streams and do something with that too because that <laughs> shit. That shit's just too fucking funny to pass up. So, Please stop uh, trolling Aaron. Her parents are beating her, and she will stop. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know. I'm just waiting to see what happens next because I have a feeling uh, there's some more shit uh, about Baked and his crew that, that's going to come out in the next couple of days. But yeah, thanks. This is, this is oh, she uh, she deleted the one stream where her parents were saying that she was living with her boyfriend. Oh yeah, I still I have the drama one pulled up. I have the my family is going insane pull up. And yeah, she, she deleted, deleted, she deleted those. those. She oh good. Well, I'll make sure to leave those windows up then. I already knew she was probably going to do that. So, uh, I'll have to take OBS out. Yeah. And, uh, she deleted uh, uh, she deleted that and she deleted yeah. everyone except for drama. I've got to, I've mm -hmm. got a couple of videos coming up and I've been mining the uh, the Ralph retort pretty good. So, I appreciate your work there. Oh, thank you very much. And, it's uh, like the human centipede content going on right now. <laughs> <I'm so sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right Jimmy, you have a you have a good one. I appreciate you having me on. Yeah, see you later. Ralph. Later, everyone. Oh, now, know, technically, if you're in the center of the centipede, are you a lucky Pierre? We were talking about that earlier. <laughs> yeah, you are. That's well, basically what that is. Well, it depends. It depends on what the head of the centipede ate, I guess. Oof. Ass. <laughs> yeah, they, everyone's eating ass. Like, so everyone's got Giardia up and down. Uh, and, like, oh my! I gotta give you a shout out. That fucking Giardia article you guys read once. I was on this crazy ass 24 hour stream. We were raising money for Beard Barian. And whatever reason, we're just like filling air. And I got AP and some other guys. And we are talking about that baked Alaska hops on because his stream ended. And we're just getting to him like, yeah, baked, why don't you just hop ahead and start reading that? So I've got like him fucking reading half of that article just talking about eating ass from his boyfriend. It was. He should have happened which articles? The, the, the article Giardia about one. Jo Yeah, the guy who was like, I can't stop rooming. Oh, oh, God. The rimming article in Vice. That was so fucking bad. <laughs> But just listening to fucking baked Alaska, see, I can't stop rimming everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get, I gotta get it. You have two. Oh, does that video Chronos. exist? Yeah, in, yeah, does that Chronos exist has tonight? got it. All right, I gotta get. That needs to be isolate that. I gotta that needs to be clipped that. for a soundboard. Yeah. <laughs> There's got to be a fucking meeting place for all of the Clippers for when shit like this happens with baked Alaska, so they can try and put this goddamn Dude, just timeline can't together. Stop rimming. <laughs> <laughs> People are uh, clipping old live streams of Aaron <laughs> as they're zooming in on her mouth, and apparently she's got fucked up teeth. Yes. Yep. <laughs> oh God. Uh, oh, hey, Jay has rock. Fill us, fill us with some content of you hanging out with your uh, your friend, your old work friends. <laughs> Come on, do it. Hanging out with a. Oh, you you want to talk about? Well, you got to ask Ugh. me some specifics on it. Wait, what is it? Oh. Gosh. Well, this guy used to work at uh, ADX Florence. I'm not doxing by saying this stuff, right? Oh, dude, I, like I've told you before, I don't care whether or not I'm doxed or not. I'm, okay. All you got to do is look up my name, and it's everywhere. Okay, so. but so you, you've hung out with some fucking crazy-ass motherfuckers, like uh, not Tim McVeigh, but Tim Nichols, right? Those kind of guys? Uh, yeah. Terry yeah. Nichols? Terry yeah, Nichols. Yeah, yeah. Nathan Hall, a bunch of the different guys, yeah. Silverstein, yep. Yeah. Tell us a story. You've been quiet as a motherfucker. What do you got? Well, uh, shit, you know, my, <laughs> I'm just with living with my family or not living with my family. I'm actually hanging with my fam right now, getting ready to go to that proud boys March. We were just uh, talking about or Mike was just talking about earlier. And, uh, yeah, anyway, man, um, let's see. First story. Uh, I think, what is it? Jeffrey Fort, interesting little guy out of Chicago, Cabrina green, um, Got to shake his cell down once, and man had probably about 4,000 packets of sugar. And that's, it's against regulations there, so you just take it, and you figure out, you know, oh, well, we're going to have a conversation. You have to establish, uh, essentially establish your dominance when you first uh, enter onto a unit. And it's the first time he had ever uh, had an interaction with me. And he pitched a fit like crazy. And, uh, yeah, we just ended up getting to talk about uh, what had happened, about the formulation of his gang in Cabrina Green. And, you know, the sort of history about how he got caught up by the feds. It's pretty interesting stuff. I, I, don't, I can't really go specific into it, you know what I'm saying? Well, it was worth a shot, whatever. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah Did the, you feel a, a little bit weird when you said, give me all your sugar? <laughs> Actually, it is kind of like that. Yeah, you know, it, it is. It, that's yeah, kind of how Ted you played off. Too, right? uh, you had the original TED talks with Ket Kaczynski. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. 
Uh, he's an interesting little, well, he's an interesting guy. He um, will not go outside of his cell except for a couple times a year, a year for recreation. Uh, typically runs back and forth in his cell. Um, he used to mess with me when I was on the unit, and he kind of messed with most of the uh, most of the corrections officers there, especially when you were feeding him his tray. He would uh, he would take a crap right before you were coming to pick up his tray to make sure that the the place stunk real good as you were entering in to, to pick up the tray. <laughs> it was kind of his way to buck in the system, even while he's still in it, man. But uh, I don't even know if he's still ticking or not. Like I said, it's it's been eight years since I was there, so. Hmm. It's a different did, you ever read, did you ever read his manifesto? Actually, no, I didn't. Mm, it's a good read. I wanted to purchase his house, though, <laughs> or the so called house. That'd be some badass piece of history to have. Yeah, no, you should read, you should check out the manifesto. It's a good read. Okay. I mean, like low key, I mean, I don't believe anything that's in there. Of course, I would never, you know. Well. <laughs> I wouldn't hold a, I wouldn't hold it against anybody if they were a Luddite. <laughs> well, I think it's an interesting conversation to have, right? Because I think a lot of oh, you know, yeah. you know, dude, it's not even Ludditism. He gets a lot. No, I know, I know, I know. It's, like I, more, I it's deeper than that. He he explains exactly how like they the, you know, they control people's thoughts like through oh, yeah. media, media and intellectuals and the university systems. Mm -hmm. Like, there's a reason. Well, what I'll stop talking now. No, 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 It's not like we brought you on the chat just so we could watch you. No, there's a reason he was bombing the places he was bombing. Like, the, the, he thought, like, the intellectual class had to be wiped out because they were destroying people's minds. Intellectual class. Can control. you say Jews and be okay with that? No, no, <laughs> no I, I, I can't that. say that, dude. I, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit timid on that. I'm gonna do I'm actually, I'm, I've actually got a question. I never thought I'd be on a fucking live stream with you, Mike. Um, You're such a fanboy. Well, <laughs> I've, I've always kind of wondered, like, why, why would you go with the Daily Showa? I mean, and be so upfront about it. Do you think it's a better tactic to be upfront about it than to kind of ease people into it? Dude, we went with the Daily Show because it was fucking hilarious. Like when we when we decided to do a <laughs> podcast with, with me and Jesse, and and like I guess Ghoul, if if you guys remember him, you know he yeah, has Cooper's the, a good guy. Yeah. So when when we were we were in a just this edgy Facebook group and we were like, let's do a fucking podcast. Why the fuck not? And people were just putting ideas for names into the chat and like um a friend of mine who i haven't now talked to in almost three years just put the lol the daily showa and we were like all right that's fucking hilarious and from there on it was like that's it we've talked about changing the name but it's always like it feels gay like you what know. are you going to call it, the tri-weekly racism podcast? Yeah, what well, we call it. Like, we, <laughs> we, like, people were like, just call it. And, dude, all, and like, the optics cuck guys, like, would come at us and be like, oh, you guys should change it. Just be TRS radio. And I'm like, it doesn't feel, it, like, feels wrong to do that. So, Do you think it's an effective approach to just be as it's, upfront it, about it as you are then? It seems to be effective. Like, I, I don't know. We got... Like we got we, a lot of people listen to this shit, so I, I I don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know if that's because I think it's a combination of the name and because it's actually funny, pretty good content usually, unless it's an off day or whatever. But, um, yeah, no, I think I think that uh, it's not like being upfront; it's treating the whole fucking thing like a joke. Because like, I was on this stream earlier today, and I kind of was like not happy about the stream i didn't i didn't like it i jumped on because this guy called himself brexit party oh I, fuck that guy dude i believe me uh and so i didn't know what it was because i was like oh yeah i'll go on this british stream or whatever and i'm I'm like interested in i know stuff's happening with brexit but i don't know what it, what it is so i wanted to ask him about it and it was just like a lot of like weirdos okay like there's just like a lot of weird oh yeah yeah that it. guy i was on, yeah he was on my thing on friday night and he brought his whole fucking crew, and it was just a bunch of cringy losers. They're, they're total cringe, and I, I like, I bailed quickly because I was like, I, at first it was like I was on there with Ryan Dawson and that guy uh, Mike Dar, 
And those guys are really knowledgeable about the Middle East. So we had a good conversation about the Middle East, but then they left. And then I was left and I was like, whoa, look at these, uh, look who's left. And so I was like, all right, like I'm going to, I'm going to bail on this. But it was, um, I can't even remember what the point of telling that story was. Oh, the guy, there was a, there was an old boomer on there that was like, you got to go at him with the Holocaust and everything. Like always, always, always a Holocaust in their face. And I was like, do you, have you, do you, I don't want to be like an asshole, but do you know what the name of my show is? I, I didn't even say this because I didn't want to engage the guy. I just sat there like while he was saying all this, just like whatever like waiting for an opportunity to be like all right guys i gotta go but um i don't think that you should be i mean my theory is like don't have like if if i want to like i could tell you why the holocaust is bullshit right like i could run down the whole fucking thing yeah yeah but it's better just to every time the holocaust is brought up be like lol implying right like that's i think that's a better approach because you just like I don't need to give you like because because you seem like spurgy and weird to people if it's, if you're like really into it and you have like and granted when, when Worski came on the Daily Show we like I like spurred out on the Holocaust. I thought narrative. honestly I want to say as as a regular listener I think you guys handled that pretty well knowing where he came from knowing that he wasn't full on about everything I I mean Jo might have gone a little hard but that's Jo but I got I got criticism they're like Mike like you had this guy on and you went hard on like the Holocaust and I was like. Eh, things What's happen. What's wrong with going hard on the Holocaust? Well, I think it's I think it's interesting. I I mean I I just went where the conversation went, you know, and I didn't think about it. And later on, everybody's yeah, I get counter signaled from all directions on everything I do. So I always like, <laughs> was this the right move or not? But whatever. Like it was, it was because like he, you know, Worski never heard this stuff before. But like uh, I, I think that it's good to know your stuff. But for, for a lot of this stuff, you want to just get people used to the idea of, like, LOL, it's bullshit. Like, right. you don't have to know, yeah. like, the whole, whole all the reasons. Because it's actually a hard argument to make. Um, well, and it's tough, to, it's tough to penetrate people's programming. I mean, uh, it's better to, I think, what you what you want to do is use, like, uh, social, like, extreme confidence and social proof. I think these are things... These are things that affect pe- how people think. So if there's like three people that think something, someone else is more likely to think it. So if you can get somebody in, a, in an environment where there's one of them and there's three people that think this, then you, they'll, they'll, they'll accept it, right? Like that's just human psychology. So that's kind of how you have to work people. And also just the um, absolute like not even engaging it seriously. It's like I, it's like it's a joke. Like you really expect me to believe this bullshit? I don't think so. I I, I, I think it's interesting because it's the usual approach is you win more flies with honey instead of vinegar, but it obviously you've had success. You um, win more flies with Zyklon. Yeah, but we're not using <laughs> vinegar because I'm not going into a full. I've ne- we've actually never done a show other than the Worski one where we've gone into significant detail on like why the Holocaust is bullshit. We've just always treated it like LOL fucking yeah the holocaust right. implying and that just seems to work i think that increasingly- it's really funny to watch people freak out when you start hitting them with the flat facts about how yeah. six million jews didn't actually die in the, in the war yeah. that it was only two million you, you kind of touched upon it too how do you handle the fact that there are a lot of people now that it's it's really become mainstream since you started up the people that just want to spurg out about the jews to where it just becomes a meme instead of something well, I think there's like, like I, I go pretty hard on Jews, but no. then I, I hear the way some people do it. <laughs> I hear the way some people do it, and I'm like, that's cringe, right? Because yeah. like you're doing the meme that is gonna make people think being woke to the Jews is like you you think there's a Jew under your bed, you think there's a Jew hiding behind every bush, but it's right, like no, right. you have to understand who Jews are, how they operate. I mean, to me, denying the Jewish question is ridiculous. It's like an absurd, it's like actually the denial of it is the more absurd thing to propose because you're saying you got, and this is how I always presented people, you say you got like an extremely wealthy group of people that have like their own, whether it's true or not, they have their own narrative history of themselves going back thousands of years. They've got separate rituals from the rest of, of the society uh that you kind of don't get to see um you know you don't always get to see everything that goes on in the shul uh they've got a lot of money they've got their own fucking state 
Like you're telling me these people aren't working together? Like get the fuck out of here. Like <laughs> well, I think you know, Dr. Pierce and, had a pretty Mike. good handle on specifically the issue you're addressing of like the people, because obviously, if there's somebody to your right who's a little bit more edgy on stuff, you don't want to counter signal what they're arguing. Now, obviously, the way that they handle it, the way that they treat people is not always even productive. But, you know, it's like Pierce, Pierce said it nailed. But the guys who are completely humorless and who won't just say, you know, the Jews everywhere, the Jews everywhere guy. It's the humorless aspect of it that kills you because that just makes people like. <clears throat> That's that's what kind of makes it like you know Diogenes love him to death, but he's got a bit of the and you too, Joachim, at times have a bit of the the. My humor is a little drier than most. I'll give you that. Uh, well, it's not always humor. It's just you always want to go in on, go in on it, and I I understand where you're coming if from. If they give me an opening, I mean, sure. But like you were you you saw the stream with uh with the Jewish guy that we just did on Scrubs thing, right? Twenty four hours. I went on there, and I don't know if you were watching. Twenty four hours with a Jew. Well, I, took I, actually, a, I took a nap. I took a, I took a full well, eight hours. They but. started with ten, but he negotiated them for more. That, was, that, was, <laughs> that would be a pretty funny thing. It was, <laughs> but like the thing is, is towards the end of it, the guy was cracking Holocaust jokes because it was like we had the Aaron girl on, and I was getting her to deny the Holocaust. But the guy was setting me up for it. He was like begging me to make that joke because yeah. you know well, he, he it, thought it was funny too. It, Dude, it, 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 jokes it, have always been funny. That's that's the secret. It's so, the Anne Frank joke. Everybody laughs at it if they think there's a Jew not around. And Everybody. frankly, I think it's a tired joke. Yeah. Well, it, it, at first, Joaquin, when you came on, it was like you know you're going at this guy that didn't want to talk about it, that has real no, really no association to his identity, and you just wanted to talk to him about the the JQ. And oh, but it's a it, on Scrubs thing. Yeah, but no, he, I came on because he wasn't funny, and I was just getting mad because I was listening to him being a retard. <laughs> I said that. That was the first thing I said. Is I don't even care that you're a Jew. You're just not funny. Yeah, it, 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 it did end up being pretty fucking hilarious. I'll give my, you my friend my friend is Jewish. Um oh, you know, God. born born and everything. He's not oh, religious, but he still follows some of the tenets of like the, the uh He's not okay. a practicing Jew, but he's still no, a member of the tribe, right? He's he's it's really funny because he's also, you know, really liberal on some things, but on other things he isn't. And he cracks jokes all the time. And one of the funniest he ever said was we were waiting for the train to bring me home where it's the middle of a snowy, snowy evening. We're in his Jeep and he's got the, the heat just cranked up and he's reading and I'm reading. And he just slowly looks up at me and goes, man, it's nice and toasty in here like an oven. And as a Jew, that's my natural habitat. I just fucking died. <laughs> You know who would actually be an interesting pairing if you could set it up on Backyard Blood Sports would be uh, Mike and Leo Pirate. That would that would be good because that's a ton. I mean, I don't know, Mike, because do you, you don't really talk about a religion a shit ton in your content, at least from who is this guy? I, and that's Leo, all Leo talks about. Oh my god, he's a good guy. He's a good. He does a lot he of is. videos really on is. YouTube. He's kind of. I don't know. Why don't you Christian, give him the he's, he's a Christian. Christian. Well, he's yeah. a Seventh Day Adventist. Yeah. He's he's. he's um, oh. That's he's a Christian. He he, he's a Christian. He's very Christian would be the polite way of putting it. But when he came on BYBS the first time, he's a very liberal person. But when it comes to the Jews, uh, he's got very strong opinions. And I think it would be interesting to hear you guys talk about it. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't do the religion thing. Although we've, when every, every time we've like dipped our, our foot into that pond, it's, it's never turned out well like it just creates shit storms because you get you get lol kike on a stick versus like you know deus volt and it's just like can we just like literally none of this matters like <laughs> yeah i mean when i was when i was more active in your community that was always one of the things that kind of drove me when you see it on the image boards too is just a constant people will, like do it on purpose shit. yeah it's divide and conquer Mm -hmm. It's Almost not even. It's literally. It's not even guys doing divide and conquer. It's just like Spurgs. Like, lol. I'm gonna blow this forum up. Exactly. Just and for the fun of it. Just for the hell of it. Which it wouldn't bother me because I just like don't get it. When I see pagan versus Christian infighting shit, I'm just like, all right. I'm. I'm just like not. Touching. Leo's actually he's he's very well informed on on policy as well. I mean, it doesn't. He, he he's not just interested in the he acts religious like the aspect. Jews are the fucking fire nation and they're just taking over everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean it would be an interesting pairing, but if I were to actually get Mike on, I'd I i, I do not know if that would Wait, be the one that actually the Jews are the one? The what? fire nation from fucking Avatar. I think like they're just gonna take over everything. Everything kill everybody. Change when the fire nation attacks. No, they don't want to kill everybody. That's not their objective. Like their objective is just 
maintain themselves as the I richest, most hold powerful him. ethnic group in the world. Like that's what they're that's that's what they go for. That's what they do. I literally told them that I was pro Israel and that they're our best allies. And, that and that's like your unironic pos- that's like your unironic position. And I was I was no, he was lying. He was lying. Okay. Okay. I, was, right. I was flat out trolling and dude he came on and fucking lost his mind. He was just screaming at me for an hour and twenty minutes. Yeah, you know, what the fuck he chose her up to? <laughs> yeah, that that becomes like all right, dude. I got it. I got it. What about working class liberalist? You ever you ever uh, done the liberalist debate too much? Are you tired of that one, Mike? Liberalists are like the easiest people to debate. I can't believe you're even aware of these people. There's like I, well, I don't know about working class liberalist, but I, I I mean I was supposed the one time I finally got in a stream with Sargon, the guy fucking ran. <laughs> To, oh, hold like, on, he Mike. literally no, left. No, no, no. I'm not gonna yeah, I'm take not care gonna, of his wife's dinosaur. I was Mike, gonna say I there. can't I can't just sit here and let Mike slander him. He did have a dinosaur to go hatch in his his defense. Yeah, his wife's dinosaur. Uh, so so there was a guy who we had as a regular on our show um for a while. He was he was like the one liberalist we could do. And uh it, just kind of a spurgy dude, right? And he comes on, and he didn't understand the context of uh, Sargon running away for the dinosaur thing. He thought when people kept saying my wife's dinosaur that it was just a, like a cuckold joke. And so he ironically thought that dinosaur was just a term for nigger. And <laughs> Can so, I, so, so what happened That's pretty was, good, though. He, it's called Park uh, Survival Evolved, guys. These, these, these Jurassic guys got, Park, man. You want to go to Detroit? <laughs> these, <laughs> these, these guys ended up getting uh, Medicare on, right? And he's sitting there talking to him. And I went in the DM group that they had me a part of. I was like, dude, Medicare really wants to talk to you about the liberalist position. <laughs> he came in. He's like, I heard Jim wants to talk to me about the liberalist position. And yeah. I know and, who this guy was. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hardcore. It was hilarious. Hardcore. <laughs> Parkour. Yeah, he crashed and burned real quick. Oh Mike, what's, yeah, still Mike, lucky. Still yeah, crashed. that's like the liberalist position. Well, Mike, what's your position on the trap no state? The trap no state? Yes. Oh, the only liberalist position. Exactly. It's not gay. <laughs> oh, betrayal! <laughs> yes. Um, no, I, I uh, don't believe in it. Oh, uh, now Andy Worski is going to cry himself to sleep. Oh, Hope right. you're happy. But Mike, you were my internet friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're all friends here. That's how you do everything. <laughs> uh, what do you think about people? Because I know you guys are, and I think it's an interesting dichotomy between the, the TRS guys and kind of what Blood Sports is doing and the, the mentalities of, especially with internet relationships, right? Because you guys are very much about building the online thing so you can make the real life relationships work or at least a real life thing like a movement and blood sports has always kind of been you can work with somebody you hang out with people but you're not friends like toad toad and i interact i think he's funny he won't say it but he thinks i'm funny right but we're not going to go get a beer after this you know i never said that we might be in the same fucking area you don't know you're in you know, we're that's in a different thing. country that's that's the thing is like and a lot of people don't seem to get this is you can have acquaintances over the internet, okay? I talk with Sid Alpha, for example, but I'm most likely never going to meet him in real life. I'm never going to live near him. How can I be your friend if all I know you is over the internet and we never interact outside of it? And Baked Alaska didn't really seem to get that. Well, that- my, 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 my position's always been like, I like Joaquim. I think he does entertaining content. But if Joaquim... Spurgs out, I'll laugh at Joaquim. If somebody else spurgs out, I'll laugh at them. Joaquim has great performances. You know, that's I'm just here to be entertained. I'm I'm not here for politics. Exactly. If, yeah, if, no, look, exactly. if you if you if you start a trash fire, guess what? I'm grabbing the popcorn, I'm grabbing the marshmallows, and we are gonna have some fun. I wouldn't be grabbing you guys' guests if I didn't think your show was entertaining. No, I give you a hard time because you give me a hard time. You know you know it's all love. I would never do anything like that. Yeah, you're a good boy, right? God, you guys sound in This is gay as fuck. I know. Yeah. It's, 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 you're like regretting that you're never going to meet in real life now. Oh, whatever. Yeah. But like, it sounds back sappy. to the point I wanted to make. Back to the point I was asking wait, wait, about wait, wait, is wait, the wait. difference between the, the real life. Because, like, you know, like I met Ghoul, you know, and we, we had a beer and it was a good time. But that's like a whole different mentality, right? But, but, Mike, are you saying you'll never have a Bloody Mary with me? I don't know. It depends where you are, man. I'll hang out with whoever. Like, I, I, I don't give a fuck. Like, I like hanging out with people in real life. Like, I, I got actually, it. I've always Mike, been. You gotta go one. to Kilroy. You gotta go to Kilroy. Uh, no. Is that, is that happening? 
Yes, Mike. Mike, Toad's driving down there. You can hop when in the car. When is it happening? No. The, look, this coming weekend. My, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. It's this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. My, I've got a thing. I've got a thing. Have uh, they revealed Mike, the top secret location well, of Kilroy yet? Well, fucking cancel it and go to Kilroy, Mike. Where, where is Kilroy? Priorities, goddamn. Dude, I can't disclose that. Uh, it's in Arizona. My, 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 oh, my, I'll be. Yeah, it's in Phoenix. It's my, at the my, University my entire, of Phoenix. It's online only. My entire position. <laughs> oh, no, Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, no, they're, they're, they're letting. Oh, Aaron's back on live, guys. Guys, they're actually letting DeVry graduates in as well. Oof. <laughs> Oof. All right, so it's in Phoenix. Yeah. What, what date? What's the date? 21st Saturday through Sunday? the 23rd. So I got a thing on the 20th. Hey, just so you're all aware, I have Wait, the yeah, feed. You got something to do on 420, huh? What are no, you, what you, you celebrating? Well, you know, what, you know what 420 is. Are you getting high and celebrating? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Well, no, I, I don't use drugs. Yeah, I was going to say, you than... fucking degenerates don't smoke. He's going to smoke you. six million marijuanas. Yeah, put them in an oven. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I need to buy a marijuana for the for the 420. Yeah, look, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not part of the movement, but if any of you guys are smoking weed, I don't I don't even want to talk to you. I really You uh, prefer the Jenko? Uh, <laughs> people are people I'm, I'm still do, begging you. Degenerate stuff like weed, just Jenko. <laughs> <laughs> Means over to Huff Bottle. <laughs> Here, I want to buy weed. I want to buy some weed with uh, with this. Nice. I need a twenty Ooh. bag. Jesus Christ! Give me, give me a uh, twenty bag. I've got uh, twenty. Ri- I got twenty Reichsmark here. You know, I was uh, I, I was regretting know. this for a while, but this has been the best stream I've ever been on. This is a good time. <laughs> I'm welcome. just Aaron's right now. It's funny. It's like somebody on their wrench me blonde thought. I love. <laughs> Third Reich memorabilia. I hope that doesn't. <laughs> I hope that doesn't like give anything away. But I mean, look at. It's so cool, man. <laughs> Are there any swastikas on that? Yeah, I'm. It's like right. Uh, it. uh, where is it? See that? Oh, that's fucking dope. Yeah, <laughs> fucking cool, I don't know how much this is actually worth. A fan sent it to me. Dope. The funny thing is, he sent me three books. And like as I leaf through the books, like this falls out, and I was like, "Whoa!" Was go like, go try like... and go try so- buy something at a Jewish bakery. Isn't it illegal to sell? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sell like some pastrami on rye. Not in the United States. You got to put no. the money in the back of the oven. Uh, yeah, so you gotta reach in for it. Is, uh, I think country. I think in other countries it is illegal to trade in Nazi memorabilia, but it depends yeah. Z- Z- uh, we- if there's like some exceptions for if it has historical value or not. Uh, the United States, it wouldn't be. The only reason it would be is if it's, like, involved in war crime or something like that. But, yeah. Zoom, we know that you're holed Eastern up in Europe. Eastern Europe somewhere, but we live in freedom land. Yeah. You talking about and, I live and, in if you and if you don't knock it off, we're going to bring some freedom to you. <laughs> I think she's at Baked's house right now. I don't understand. I don't understand. Well, that shit no shows fucks. too. Baked, are you mess- or, I'm sorry, Zoom. Are you messaging her on uh, Twitter? I too? literally told her to come in here. Yeah, we chat's to talk saying to her. she's Multiple streaming people. right now. It's, I'm is. watching it. Yeah. He cried your name before he blew his brains out. It's your fault. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the, one of the things is. Uh, you know, Biggs has been trying to play this off as it was all part of a master plan or something, and he goes on. He, you know, he goes on. Last... He's got a, a mess. Right, <laughs> right. Implying, um, but he goes on Warsky Live. He's like, "Look at it! Like all of you are riding my dick." And I was like, "Why can't I be on there right now to say yes?" Dude. Everybody's Why? writing your That's team. what I was saying. Why couldn't <laughs> they put me on? Aaron. He said that to me. I said that last night. He was I'm like, "You're all riding in your head, head, head right like, now." I was like, nobody's Dude, that's, riding your dick. That's like I, such a cope. It's like, yeah, everyone's making fun of me. Oh, well, get off my dick. He's like, no, dude. When he <laughs> said that, I said that exact thing to him last night, and Aaron laughed right in his face and shook her head yes, that she was never going to ride his dick. Okay. I got to say, the, the roasting you had, I mean, yeah, okay, Tonka's right. You lose points for writing some of it down, but the... The, you going through different ways he could oh, kill yeah, himself and how they would all be I'm not going to work. Tips from Tonka, the guy that just sits there and bitches about a woman's a whore and rehashes Whoa! it for 45 minutes. Ooh, 
Kitty's got claws. Tips? No, but the, I say claws. I don't think he was. That shit was hilarious. So who knows that guy, Tonka? You, who knows that guy? I've, I've like I, not I talked to him. Yeah, yeah Toad, 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 and I probably is he white? Anyway. I'm just curious. I don't. No, know. he's an Indian. That's what I figured. It doesn't sound like he's, doesn't sound like he's white. Yeah. He's he's basically a white nationalist though. Yeah, no, I don't like. I'm not. I mean, I'm not like such a racist <laughs> that I would hold it against somebody not being white. But uh, <laughs> like, I, the funny thing is that sounds like a joke, but it's actually like true. Like, right? Uh, I don't. I actually legitimately like, don't hate people that aren't white other than Jews. Oh yeah, we got this guy, stone Mexican guy, great guy. He like comes around our thing a lot. Full on, you know, fucking chill. Dude, there's guy, there's like guys that like, like that you like come and they're like, "Can I help?" And I'm like, "You're like fucking Pakistani. What the fuck?" Like, but please, do you need help with your computer? So, yeah. so, so this this is interesting to me. If somebody doesn't have any ties to their um, ethnicity, do you do you still dislike them because they're Jewish then? I mean, a sleeper I mean, agent. I, I don't know, dude. Like, it's, uh, I, I don't, I, I have, like, a very, I don't want to go down that road because I feel like that's a slippery slope, like, legitimately. Sure, no, come on, just, come like, on, Goy, let me in the we keep, we keep a hard rule, like, if somebody, like, if there's somebody that, I see, I don't even want to start talking about it because if you start making exceptions on this ground, there's going to be some spur out up. there that's going to fucking, like, like come at you but like i don't you know it's kind of like the rule is like this is not a thing for jews like jews have their thing you go do your jew thing in israel that's for you mm. like why do you want to be pass, part of our thing if they don't pass the bacon test then get the fuck out i don't know i understand if you don't want to go into it but I just, if you're like I, a I, jew that like legitimately hates being jewish and wants to be on our team then just don't fucking tell anybody I, uh, like I said, I don't know anything about it. I'm just trying to, you know. No, there's, there's like the based Jew phenomena, which has been happening recently. And look, you won't believe the numbers that are like, I'm really red pilled. I, I, I'm against Israel. I'm for white nationalism. They show up in like my DMs and stuff, and I'm just like, all right, like that's interesting. You know, I, I swear, go I'm, I'm totally on your side. Yeah, no, and I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I never have had, I've never, I used to go in for that or like at least talk to them, and I've never had a good, I never ultimately gotten a good vibe from them because I always feel like it's, it's like what they're always looking for is the, the loosening of the rules, making it, because the thing with Jews is this Jews are forever uncomfortable wherever they are uh, because they're always a minority. They know that historically they've been hated. <laughs> And so they always want to make it so it can't happen again, but they fuck themselves over by doing the things that they think are going to make it so it can't happen again or exactly those things that will make sure it happens again. And they can't stop because they're now neurotic, paranoid people. But like even the base Jew is nervous about acceptance. So he like overdoes the thing and it gets uncomfortable and weird. So my thing is like this whole relationship is fucked. Like you people just go away, and then it's everything's fine. Hmm. So you're you're more concerned about Jews than uh, Muslims, and this oh, is just me asking. I don't. Yeah, dude, Muslims, dude. Look, white people historically have never had a problem dealing with other people of other races from a position of like power and like fuck off. Mm-hmm. It's Jews that are the ones that are, are like, uh, have, have come in and, and sort of changed the paradigm, the moral paradigms of society so that we no longer think of ourselves that way and that we no longer deal with others that way. So Muslim, Islam is a problem, um, but it would, it's a problem easily solved if you don't have uh, Jews, like, bribing your government and, like, running your media. It's, it would be a very, like, Americans, white Americans, if we could have a democratic vote on kick Muslims out of the United States, absolutely, and it was limited to just whites, <laughs> it would be like a fucking majority of Why stop the Muslims? Let's get rid of everything. Okay. No, I, I agree I, I with what you're saying. This is really good stuff, but I just want to throw this out there. Big Cat Kayla's doing God's work right now. Sweet Aaron is streaming, and she's possibly about to kill her family, and Big Cat Kayla has nothing to do with that, I promise. Mm. Oh, is that the screaming I hear in the background? Yes. 
It's not so much that I would stop at Muslims. It's just that, like, I think you'd only get them. Like, if you get went with blacks, like, people have been so conditioned to think blacks are awesome that they wouldn't. The conservatives. Lazy, the way, they're like, can, lazy and they want something for nothing. I, yeah, I understand that. Believe me. Like, I grew up, I, you know, you're from, I think you're from New York. I'm from fucking yeah. New York. Believe me, I know this. But uh, people have been conditioned to think that blacks are like the best fucking thing ever, and like that. You know, no. dude, I've always looked at it like this: like if I were black, and I, I've said this before on my show to black people, and this is my advice to any black person: just like watch Sean Hannity one night, get the talking points down, and if you can ape those talking points with any amount of like coherence or credibility, you're gonna you have like a job for life, like conservative. The conservative establishment will fucking throw money all over you. That is, that's really what turned me off of politics was just how fucking generic and rehashed everything was. Dude, no, no, no. But it's, 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 gene- but it's, it's fucked up in certain ways. Like, dude, why is it? You go on NRA TV and it's all blacks. You ever, you ever notice this? No. Like, NRA members aren't black. Do they hold the camera sideways too? There's, <laughs> they do, don't That's you watch good. World Star? Well, there, there's, there's, there's a, there's a big focus on the base black guy, on the, the it's, woman it's, who it's focused to the point where it's fucking unhealthy, and yeah. it's because everybody's brains have been fucking warped by Jewish fucking uh, well, it's conditioning. Not just the Jews, it's the fucking Democrats. They take advantage of minorities, especially. Oh, they, they, they take advantage of them. They uh, yeah, they do. They perpetuate this belief that the blacks are always the victims, and that. That that's their their little yeah, charity. You're implying that that's protect. not just Jews, well, like uh, uh, really oh, quick. It's, I'm gonna... it's not just Jews. It's the Democrats too. Yeah, that's why they hate there's Republicans. Like, there's like shitty, hate there's like shitty liberal white people that do that too. Hey guys, Actually, gonna, they don't. I'm gonna, though. Dude, I'm gonna leave. Uh, I, they they hate like them when they're just getting too racist for you now. No, no, it's not that. It's it's four in the morning and I need to pass the fuck out. My good night, buddy. My my hey hit me up on the Twitter. I'd love to have you on sometime. All right, ha- have a good one. I'm, no, no, I'm... but dude, you're wrong about you're wrong about they hate Republicans and whites, dude. There was a poll on the Root, which is a black website, about like what's the shittiest kind of white people, and it was like fucking like non-racist white oh, no, allies. I didn't mean the black people. I meant Democrats hate them. Democrats hate them because they want black people. Those are our victims. Those are our charity cases. And when Republicans come in and they offer them jobs and put money back in their pockets, it's like, hey, you can't do that because then we don't have anything to pretend we're spending money on. Yeah, but that's a li- that's a limited. That's a like we're, we're Republicans. First of all, the the republic the average Republican thoroughly believes that like all the blacks need is the American dream, right? Uh, the I don't know what the fuck the you know the people are running the thing. Well, they call it the American dream because you got to be asleep to believe it. No. Thanks, for it. Yeah, I know. No, but like uh, I don't even think that, that, that. I actually think you're wrong. I don't think Democrats are defensive of that at all. I think they perfectly understand how it works, and they're like, "LOL, try free I, I market." Beg to, I beg to differ because uh, they couldn't even handle losing an election. They've written five books about it. Oh, sure, they can't handle losing an election, but I don't think they're worried that like blacks are going to like defect to the Republican Party or that they feel ass hurt if one black well, does. I mean, like, it's not just blacks. They want anything that's a minority to bl- they'll hold it up and be like, "This is." Our charity case we're helping this yeah but they th- like that it. will happen though like it's that has to happen with these fucking parkland kids they're all retarded you know, yeah, no, they, so, they are legitimately so supportive of the democrats then why didn't obama from 2009 to 2011 when he had full control of the senate and it was fully democratic why didn't he pass a single gun law democrats have never passed a single gun law or gun control law in the past 20 years well they wouldn't be advocating it if they thought they had a chance of it because they know that it would destroy any sort of electoral chances they had in the future they don't want to advocate it they got a serious con- minorities to use well, they've, they've got a there's that there's that i mean they want to find a way to take it away from whites only um yeah. i mean they do want they do want gun control i think the issue is that even with the Democratic Congress and House, they don't know that they're going to get it because there's Democrats that are in certain areas that are subject to uh, pressure on that issue. Also, like there's a constitutional challenge, whatever. But um, that's literally the only issue on which the quote unquote right ever wins anything in this country, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, they also you'll, you will get leftist groups when gun control starts encroaching that that pop up and they're like, hey, we want guns too, you know. So right now we're in the state where, and everybody says it, and it's getting less and less true every single day that the right is the counterculture. 
and you see all of these MAGA jackasses running around just being cringy as shit, do you think you'll do better when uh, it becomes that the left is again the counterculture? I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know, man. I, I, I think we're gonna do better as the conditions that gave rise to us worsen, like multiculturalism, multiracialism, and anti anti white bullshit coming out of you know so the it's media. Sort of trans- like it's not counterculture or not. Like that's kind of a thing that we use to fucking throw in the face of like dumbass leftists that think like being a fucking anarcho communist is rebellious. Like, you just make fun of them for being fucking establishment shills. But, like, uh, we're going to get... Uh, there's certain conditions that gave rise to white white people being like, wait, what the fuck? And that those are only going to get... Like, they're, those conditions are getting worse. As demographics get worse, white people are going to get mad. So well, I think it was always a big failure of like, and I, I'll throw Baked Alaska out here because he's a great example of it. The people who hopped on this movement, not realizing, re- not realizing that, that this was not a short term thing. This was not just a 2016 election thing. That this was not, you know, a very you know narrow term, short term political thing. That these there are people that want to make long term political impact. In order to do that, you have to build structures. You have to play the long yeah. game. And they were always right. and, the and I've, game. as I've. And I've, Look, as I've even heard Mike, when I first got introduced to you, Mike, you were talking about how you were anti-war, like at the Iraq war start. And, yes. you know, I, I slowly worked my way there from, from being a neocon and seeing a whole, all the BS political stuff. And I was in a, a street group um, that was counter protesting anti-war protesters. And now, you know, I'm actually anti-war protesting just yesterday. Oh, did you go to one of those tanky protests? Yeah, yeah, the freaking international answer, dude. Yeah, I used those to people are like literally them. fucking Stalinists. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're the Leninists, actually. Oh, okay. Right. I'm a, excuse me, I'm a Hoxhaist. Don't, oh, yeah. don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, sorry, I'm like a, uh, I'm a Titoist. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm like a honest Leninist, uh, uh, what is it? Kerensky, no, it's uh, God. There's one guy who is fucking. Ah, uh, I can't think of it. No, I, but I legitimately had to re- had to debate once this Hoxist, and he told me that because he was like, "Okay, oh, oh, dude, can you be more I had to like?" That. It looks like what? Can the you be fuck? more special snowflake? Like, yeah, you know, you know, what's gonna take over the U.S. Hoxism. Right. Like, well, on. you know what I told I told him too is like, oh, you got all this stuff about Albania. Wait, it wasn't Albania an ethno state. Albania <laughs> yeah. is like the niggers of Europe, like legitimately. They, like people say it's <laughs> Ireland, no, it's actually Albania. And like they need to go. Like Serbians like legitimately were entirely justified in genociding those people. Like fuck those people. Uh so no, uh, my question did you ever run across the the uh the group protest warrior when you were in uh New York City? Sounds familiar. That was a conservative anti anti war. Yep, yep. Maybe, but when um the anti-war movement was ex- like it was extremely gay. Like I didn't like it. I was uh <laughs> I was anti-war. Right. But I stopped going to the the demonstrations after like a couple of them cuz it was all commie shit. Oh, it, it was commie it was Surely. cat ladies and fucking commies all over mm-hmm. the place. Isn't it amazing Fat how right was with McCarthy Carthy was? Oh, oh god, god yeah. yes. And the no, McCarthy is- McCarthy was trying to save this country. He yeah, was legitimately was, trying to yeah. save the country. Well, and look at look. At, I love the lineage of like you follow this historical. He failed family. because he well, couldn't, yeah, one of McCarthy's couldn't name the Jew. He, he he wanted to, and he tried to use Roy Cohn as cover. Yeah. Right. And who did Roy Cohn mentor? Yeah, but ultimately, like it it didn't work because he should have just come out with it. Like these, it's not communists; it's fucking Jews. But uh-huh. yeah. Well, that's that's such an interesting. I mean, you can, and I know you've spent fucking hours peeling apart that fucking onion or like, yeah. you know, that whatever that entangled knot is of Judaism, communism, leftism, uh, Trotskyites, neoconservatives, because it just oh, keeps yeah. going. You think, oh, yeah, I found the end of this rabbit hole and then just no, another fucking go. There's no end shit. to it. It doesn't. Exactly. It doesn't yeah, because all, all your stops. neocons, you know, you pull in that thread of neocons and you end up with, you know, all the guys going all the way back to, uh, what is it, Yale and shit and, and their, excuse me, my language, Yale and uh, 
yeah, that hey, BS with them your, being your, com- your hardcore out. communist. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 now. Hey, hey. Sorry for the S. <laughs> Kids watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a family stream. Let's talk about Jew communists and their control of the United States. <laughs> Keep it clean, well, communism well, you know, is just another it. domination structure. Like this is where I, exactly. I, I part ways with uh people that obsess over communism. I mean, obviously communism as an economic system fails, right? And and Jews aren't dumb, so they've learned that lesson. Uh it's but just th- never been tried properly, Mike. That's like for stupid people. That's like literally dumbass people that are like unreconstructed that still say that crap. Um, but it's it's just a, it was just a domination system that they were it would be have been able to monopolize. How do you how do you reach those idiots though who think it's that simple? That Seven is, six two is, is my preference. Those, like uh, like those people if people that think like what communism can work it hasn't been tried. Just, just the average like person, the person that, 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 that oh, okay. But just the average person that simplifies any ide- uh, ideology to that. There is to a solution. Basic form. They want free stuff. Give them a bullet for free. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> guessing that we're talking cream. about practical Im- implementation of your policy. I think it's pretty practical. It's very cost efficient. In it's the grand about. scheme of things, I mean. Well, my thing is that I think that we need to develop. Now, this might sound like extremely ambitious but i think that uh one of the things that jews did um and whether they did this like consciously or this is how they operate as a tribe or whatever is that they dominated the intellectual sphere and then in a generation they had everything yeah um and so we need to cultivate and that's a lot of people come at me they're like um you know, you need to be cultivating an audience that is uh, like Patriot, MAGA people. And I'm like, no, nah, you know, I, I try to be friendly to those people because I understand that ultimately, even if they're dumb or they get things wrong politically, like it's not sort of in the rational interest of like a median IQ working class white person to know everything about politics. Right. That's society is hierarchical. That that's not necessarily for them. Um, so I can be for those people without like pandering to them because ultimately they'll go along with whatever is you know. And I I want a nation that's genuinely in their interests. So I I appeal to people that are already big brained and into politics. And that way I think we cultivate a new intellectual class. And once once we do that, I think that Jewish bullshit not being able to penetrate that is going to is going to be an interesting thing that we will have erected. Also, I don't know, like the demographics are going in a very bad direction. I don't think Republicans will be able to win the presidency past 2030. So I don't know what the fuck is going to happen once we literally are in a place where Republicans cannot win the Oval Office. Like where, where once it's like literally just fucking demographically impossible for that to happen. And that it has to hit home to white people. You have lost control of the country that your ancestors built. What happens then? Well, Mike, you just need to read Siege. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, I know. I get the, I see that, I get the joke, but it's like I think that's a. I'm actually in a way like looking forward to that. Like I will be about fifty something years old when that happens, and it'll be an interesting thing to watch. To be like, okay, we are at the point now where white people, because basically the Republican Party is white, uh, you know, that is white people exercising a political will, even though it's totally under the uh, narrative illusion built by Jews, it's still white people exercising, you know, it it is literally the 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 politics are race divided, and if it's it's yep. nowhere more clear than in the South. Go to like go to go to Alabama, it is literally. It is seventy thirty Republican Democrat, literally based on race, and that's it. So, so, so you and, think you you said you look forward to um, when you turn fifty? You think it has to be driven to that point before there's a real turn? Then I don't see. Look, Trump was our attempt to start correcting the demographic situation, and it's not happening. Yeah. So I I don't think that there's a way out of whites becoming less than fifty percent. I don't think there's a way out, and I don't think there's a way out of ultimately it, it coming to the realization of white people like you don't have political power anymore well, and the political power that, that's going to mobilize them to try the and political get it back. the political power you thought you had was through actually people that aren't really white 
and they're going to reveal that they're not white when <laughs> when it comes down to the wire. So I think that like and the- once once it actually is at the point where the electoral college is out of reach, 2032, 2028, some projections say 2028, maybe we'll be a little bit more conservative. We'll say 2032 or even 2036. Uh, right. At that point, what happens? I don't know. That's going to be a very interesting time to be alive. Mike, let me gonna, ask you something. Hold on. They're going to round us all up and force us to learn how to dance. That's going to be the first thing. They can't round white people up, though, because white people are armed. And I know you're not going to you're not going to be able to form a militia of armed men to go take on the government. But you're certainly going to make it very difficult for them trying things like rounding people up. Well, let me let me ask you two questions then, because the first question is I want to ask is, were you at this point politically 12 months ago? Because, I mean, you know, I, I feel like I've probably got more of an idea, you know, where you are within a couple other people on here just because I've listened to your podcast for quite a while and I've kind of followed your evolution with that. And I don't think that I think that you at least the way it was coming out was that you weren't I don't want to say black pilled on it, but that you didn't expect it to be so totally inevitable 12 months ago. I thought Trump was a a chance. I thought Trump was a chance to turn it around. I don't think we have it. Did you? you? Know, low key, I, I I'll root for any any possible thing he can do that's good. I also think that um, the ideology comes out of struggle. So as we as we struggle politically for what we want like so you always have to fight for what you want this is why like the accelerationism black pill disengagement is dumb like you fight for what you want and even if you don't get it that's a political lesson uh so so through i mean there's a lot of actually things that i think that are in a way very marxist inspired not in terms of belief structure but in terms of tactics and so one of the things the marxists believe in is actually like forging you know, forging the new through this, the struggle. And so we're going to, we're facing a political struggle. And as we push forward and we lose, because we're going to lose, we're going to lose on sanctuary cities. We're going to lose on the wall. We're going to lose on immigration. But those are all political battles that will, you know, create the the kind of people necessary to ultimately win. So, so did you guys, I know Joaquin was definitely supportive. You you really believe that Trump could have made some sort of oh, impact? Sorry, that he was What's that? Did you really think that Trump would have made some sort of change? Because I always he, kind of thought that he would come in. He, he was this bombastic figure, but I always thought he would like cuck to the establishment. Yeah, I mean, that was always in the back of my mind, but I wanted to stay positive about it. And I, I thought legitimately he could have actually done more than he has. Like I, I thought building a wall like could have been done. Well, apparently um, they took money out of the fucking eleven trillion that the Congress just gave him for military investment, and he's gonna put two trillion of that into the wall. Two trillions, like way more than it would be needed. If he did that, that would be hilarious because you could build like the best wall like ever. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. You're gonna love the wall. I'm gonna it's build. It's gonna be great. I, I, I get the, uh, I get the feeling like the third year is gonna be when Trump really comes out of his shell. And he goes, All right, yeah, we gotta we gotta not get fucking slaughtered in the midterms, though. Yeah, well, look, I, I had a second point. question I want to ask, and it's about slaughter because this is kind of where it's going. I missed a stream today because I was fucking up all night, and I was planning on doing a South Africa stream. We've been doing a couple of these. Um, we've got some South Africans who are pretty active in our stuff, and I'm sure that you do too. Um, but that's, I mean, that's kind of where at least I expect that we're going. Africans. See the Africans. But that's kind of where I expect that we're going. I mean, in the medium to long term, especially as you know, you said with the with the demographics being what they are, and yeah. that doesn't look like even with our whites being armed to the fucking gills. There, I don't really understand what they can do to get their way out of that situation. It really looks like they're just facing down the barrel of a gun, and it's either extinction flee or something a hell of a lot worse. Yeah, the problem is that what they would need to do to take back power in that country would never be allowed by the international community. So they have to go, they have to flee uh, or die. Like, that's basically the, what yep. confronts white South Africans. They have to leave or die because those are their options, literally. I, and I don't think, I think that the, the issue is that, like, you have to under, you have to remember, like, they were always a minority in that not always, but once blacks were uh, introduced into the environment, um, they were more numerous than the whites. And it's 
a significantly less populous country. So even though whites are demographically on the decline, there's still over 100 million whites on North America. Yeah. Right? On the North American continent, there's like 120, maybe 100, 120 million whites. Um, probably more than that, maybe 150, 160 million. There's a lot of white people on North America. And so it's it's not anywhere close to the demographic situation of the Boer or the or the English uh, in South Africa. So I, I don't think that that's the situation that we're heading towards. I think the, the nightmare scenario for me is that like literally what they're doing just works, right? Like people stop caring about race, people stop caring about nation, people stop caring about patriotism or God or any higher ideal, and they just blend together in this undifferentiated mass of like interbreeding people looking for immediate pleasure from like corporate products. Brazil. You, that you to me is the like fucking that. nightmare that. system. And I worry that, like, I don't think it's going to be like we're getting genocided by black people. I think what the future for the U.S. is, is like a, like, unthinking mulatto, mestizo, consumerist horde with, like, Jews at the top. And I think that's just fucking horrifying to think about. Like, that's, like, worse. I'd rather be fucking genocided. At let least me, that's let me ask you another question, if that's all right, Mike. Like, um, the The... There's like two different schools of thought um, when you come to the ethnostate people, and it's either we take over America and we try to fix America, and we try to make America the white ethnostate and go back to like the 1790 immigration laws, that level of it, or at least 19, pre-1965, or the secessionist kind of people. Do you think either of those has a realistic shot, even in the medium you're to never, long term? You're never going to secede. Uh, if you could secede, then you could take over the whole thing. Because the only way you would secede would be if the government, the central government in Washington was weak enough that it would allow it to happen. It wasn't weak. It, it didn't allow it to happen 150 years ago. It's not going to allow it to happen now. So secession is not happening ever. So it's, it's collapse and then uh, something else forms. But I don't see collapse on the horizon. This is a problem. The system is, is stable. It actually is. And there's enough people that will work to keep it going, to keep it stable. So, you know, I, I am I think also the idea of like the 100 percent and this is going to get maybe some people get annoyed, but like, let's be realistic. The idea of like literally every every non-white is like kicked out of North America, like that's not going to happen. What I think we need to do is focus on first regaining political power for white people. So that it's our political will being done and not the political will of, of a coalition of, of Jews and people of color. Because that's what's happening right now is, is Jews, homosexuals, and people of color are pushing their will on, on the white population. And the white population, much, most of them don't see it yet. Uh, or they don't care. Well, or, you've got, you know, you know, probably over half of the white population that are voting against their best interest. No, no, no you don't have over half. You have maybe 30%. Yeah. Oh, really? In terms of whites that vote liberal, it's like 30%. Oh, really? Most yeah. white people are, are, like, this is the actually thing that, this is actually a, a white pill for, for people. When you actually start looking at this, like, if you're from, like, New York, you're going to think all white people are fucking ridiculous shit live fuckheads, but they're not. Sure. And people. It's it's the same it's the same thing is true in England. Like if you're from London, you're gonna think all white people are faggots, but they're not. Because they voted for Brexit the same way white people in the United States voted for Trump. So like white people generally are not cucks and faggots. It's it's urbanized like bug soy people that are, right? But that's not most white people. Most white people aren't like that. So that that's that's something to take heart with. But um and, and the only actual people that are for things like stable marriage traditional institutions the only people for that this idea that like oh let's bring these um south american mexicans up or these these mestizos these guatemalans up because they're catholic no th these people are whatever religion the last person that gave them food is like uh they don't give a shit like they, the whole they're catholic thing like they're catholic because catholic missionaries came and brainwashed them like there's a lot of Protestant evangelical groups that are going down to South America and lo and behold, all these Guatemalans are turning into whatever dumb Protestant evangelical sect these people are. 
So these well, people are getting be, a lot of shit for free. Yeah, these people will be whatever. You go down, you give them a bunch of shit, and they're like, oh, yeah, we're your religion. Yeah. Like, they don't, they're fucking stupid. These people are like 60 IQ. So like that's why Mormonism will take over the world right there. So, so I know I know it's a I know it's a I know. meme. I know it's a meme, but what about the um the Asians or any other ethnicities that you wouldn't be Well again, I, I think the, the I think goal number 1 is reestablishing the system whereby the political will exercises that of the white majority. Mm. Right, like that's goal number one. If you can't accomplish that, you can't get the fucking one hundred percent white ethno state, right? So your first goal is reestablishing white power. Frankly. White power. And I know that sounds like that's a slogan. It's like oh, it's associated right. with certain right. things, but no, bringing back white power, making it so the people, the movers and shakers, the intellectuals, the media, the institutions, these are controlled by whites for whites. That's the first goal. Then you can start thinking about like, wow, it's like I don't. I'm not even like that's like a lesser thing. Like, who cares if there's a certain percentage of non-whites here, if we are just the people that are unquestioned in power? You know what I mean? Like, yes, it's true that diversity is bad for social cohesion, ultimately, and and you know, a government that's literally anti-white and pushes all kinds of races of people together in communities that don't belong together to deliberately break them up, to deliberately put like Somalians in with like Swedish people like that's retarded. Um, but it seems to keep happening. But, uh, you know, I think like first establishing that you can take back power and then you can do what you want. Right. Mm. Um, it's, it's like, and, and the rivals for power are Jews. That's, that's the other thing that the, the people that are in power where whites should be are, are Jewish people. So, that's the challenge that we face and that's ultimate so it's less about like how would you deport every non-white than it is how do we take back power right that's the most important thing do you think that perhaps the meme of the ethno state has been kind of counterproductive to what would really be effective solutions i think so because i think what happens is that people get into because the first thing when they people hear ethno state they're like well what are you going to do with my cousin who's like Three fifths Iranian, you know what I mean, or whatever. Yeah. Like, oh, I run into that shit all the time. Yeah, like it's constant, right? Yeah. And then you always your your mind is occupied with answering those questions, and and then your mind starts coming up with like theoretical ways that you could you could create a demographically pure white country, right? And not that that's undesirable, but that if you can't take power you can't do that so your first goal has to be to take power and once you tell people like well it's not that i'm against the idea of the ethno state but the ethno state's like a it's like a out there thing it's not my immediate goal and you start saying my immediate goal is political and i want to take you know i want to take political power i want to do this that the other then they start taking you like way more seriously because if your goal is literally like i'm going to imagine myself into the role of dictator and then tell you how I deport everybody I don't want around. That's just, you sound like a fucking spur and it's, or just like a weirdo. So nobody has any sympathy for that. But if you're like, no, 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 like that, that comes later. Like right now we want to take concrete steps towards holding, yeah. gaining and holding political power. Well, as it, it, someone from the outside looking in, it is pretty off putting when you have the spurs that just, immediately go to the it's an interesting like brain teaser how do you non-violently get rid of like what a hundred million non-white people i mean it's not that i'm like capitulating that this is always going to be how it is because there certainly are right now president trump could <coughs> cattle de- cars he could deport every single m- brown person without a fucking green card or a visa right like, he could he could just round them up and ship them out Theoretically, he he's not doing it. Well, why not? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, you- well, I mean, political oh. patterns. Hold on, political patterns are that typically a president wants to get elected for a second term and then goes full bore. Correct. Well, I, uh, I, yeah, I don't if Trump know. gets elected for a second term, that's going to be an extremely hopeful sign, and and hopefully he can just go full bore. But again, there's spec. I think he might have things where he just can't do what he wants but um the, the, oh yeah we understand that the, the the immigration point is really what made me give up on politics the fact that we can't have you know bipartisan support for security on the border and you know just 
Oh, there's bipartisan yeah. agreement there. Yeah, well, there oh, yeah. is bipartisan. Yeah, there really is. It's uh, just it's a, a, it's a shell game. Big Cat just joined us. She was telling me in side chat that she was jealous of Aaron showing off her titties. She wants to show <laughs> hers too. No, no, no. I was what? just trying to see uh, get Aaron. Out of here. Kick her out. to get on the stream, Aaron. How she's toxic. You? Kick her out. She's not showing them titties. Oh. Uh. No, she's been Locking doing good work. In a hat. Come on. She's been doing good work tonight. Uh, so I told I understand you were giving some life coaching to our friend Erin. I was. Uh, I do think her parents are holding her back. They're not letting her be the star that she uh, she really can be. So you know. Are we still just... talking about this hole? <laughs> <laughs> I was asking Medicare how hole that deep you know how deep that hole goes, but. Anyway, I find this on. bitch to be totally uninteresting, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, I mean, she mm -hmm. fucking, like... Wow, a she, thought behaving like a fool. <laughs> two, two, two hours in. Basic bitch behavior, exactly. Well, it's now I'm, like, two hours in. Now I'm, like, you know, one very strong Bloody Mary in, so, yeah. Well, no, we're, 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 we're like, nine hours Let's in. Let's get Enoch the, en the, energy is, the energy levels are building here, you know. Well, <laughs> Enoch, I wanted to... I did want to ask you, I mean, uh, just so even we, regarding... Can, can I ask you one thing, though, real quick? Me? Yeah. Yeah. That stream earlier, was that not, like, a fucking embarrassing shit show? Oh, my God. Like, do you <laughs> understand why I just said, like, all right, guys, I'm out. Yes, I know. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Kick Jim, not Enoch. Well, I just, the thing was unrecoverable. I was like, who are, I'm on here with a Jew that loves Hitler, a guy that talks about taking over your local cable news station. <laughs> And like a, some other dude, and and like th the Jew that loved Hitler is like I'm into Nazism from a Christian perspective, and I was like, all right, you know what, guys, I'm out. Wait, what stream are we fucking talking about right dude, now, dude? It was it was not good. How many train wrecks have been going on today? I, dude, I've been I should not have gotten sucked into this. I'm trying to set a new record. So Jesus Christ, can somebody explain to me? This what guy Brexit, whatever Brexit, Brexit party. party two, right? His he channel, him, and he's like. He you, had this I, I thought he wanted to talk about Brexit. I was like, I want to talk about Brexit. And then it's like, I was like, let's talk about Syria and Israel and Brexit. That sounds like a good topic list. We and then so like, it's just like, it. it's just like got retarded. And I was oh, like, was fantastic. this guy is asking Enoch, what, what are you like? Pretty much saying you don't talk about the Jews enough. Why won't you name the Jews? I and just like, guys, like, why won't you name the Jew? Mike? It's, <laughs> this, this is what like, you're like, like most of it. This is what you're talking about earlier. Though. I didn't want to engage this guy because it's like I was like, "Look, I get it. You, you probably have the guy's probably like not wrong about what he thinks. He just has no idea how to actually do this." And when I when it got to the point where he was like, people were like, "Yeah, but the internet reaches more people," and he's like, "No, no, no. Take your local local like public access TV station. You have to be an army of one." He was uh he he kept saying that's, that. That seed that shit was. right there. That's that. That's like siege posting. <laughs> but, uh, no, but he was like, take over your local public access TV station. And people were like, yeah, but I mean, I wasn't, I just like sat back. I'm like, I'm not going to fucking stoop to the level. Sorry for the F. I'm not going to stoop to the level of like arguing with this guy why the internet reaches more people than a public access local station. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not even going to do that. One of the stories that was great was that, I mean, he, he talks about the Jews and he's open about it and he tries to run for public office and then talking about the Jews, right? That backfires and he's not elected to public office. And so kind of right, but he's people, out there doing something. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm on the Internet and I'm an avatar. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It was That's such a boomer point of view. <laughs> it was that like. Because you're on a computer, it's like inherently not doing something versus not like, bro. Can I, can I tell you something that is just fucking infuriating me? It's the fact that millennials, my generation, are turning into the new boomers. I oh. fucking hate it. How's this like explained? Watch the old men. Look at, look at anybody wearing a fucking MAGA hat anymore. Ah. They are the most cringy motherfuckers. They repost these pixelated memes that have been shared around. It's all fucking. I think they're just normies, bro. I think what you've yeah. what's happened is just wake up. You've soon. encountered people of your own generation. The fat bitches in the pussy hats don't drive you nuts either. It is the international bugman. No, but it's not even bugman. It's like.
No, these are like, I mean, right there, your everyday men that are everyday men and women that think, oh, okay, I'm part of this alternative movement. Am I, like, am I fucking crazy to think that my generation's getting worse and more fucking boomer and out of touch and just cringy as shit? Or is it just. No, you're, you're pretty close. A uh, young youth avatar. I, I'd say you're, you're right on point. Wow. So I don't know. My, my generation is like always been like faggots. The difference between my generation is lazy. The difference between like boomers and Gen Xers is like Gen Xers have self awareness. Like Gen Xers have like hyper self awareness, <laughs> but they but they they don't. But they're like gay. They're like still shitty. They have like dumb like libertarian or progressive politics, whereas like boomers have like retarded politics and they're totally unself aware. Like at least Gen Xers started to recapture the idea of self awareness, but um. Yeah. Well, someone like Sargon always reminds me of a boomer. Sargon. 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 Sargon, you're just not as big of a boomer as you think you are. Dude, this, the not as smart as you think you are is a hilarious. Love, that was one of the best it's things. It's a really difficult spot for you to be in. I don't even do a good Spencer. R- I wish, I wish Richard, I Richard, have you even read Locke? Well, I can do a, I can do a Sargon. Do it. Do it. Richard, you, you, you don't don't even understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, hold look, on. Look, you don't... Look, it's obvious to everybody, Richard, that you don't understand what I'm talking about. You can't do a good Sargon impression until you learn how to chuckle intellectually. <laughs> God, dude. I remember, like, there was a time when it was, like, it was, like, December, January, when, like, the whole meme was getting me on a stream with Sargon. Like, that was the... That was a good... Low-key, like... The Sargon Anglin stream on, on Baked Alaska's channel, like Anglin set it up where I was gonna come in. Like he was gonna send me the link and I was gonna jump in. But like it got rescheduled and I forgot the night and I just fucking slept. And then I woke up and I had like ten messages from Anglin on my phone. Like, where the fuck are you? And I, I like texted him, I was like Oh shit! I'm uh, sorry. I'm a damn Gen X. <laughs> and he was yeah. like, it literally just ended, and it was a total shit show. And I was like, I think th- people have a bad view on that. I honestly think England did as good as he possibly could have in that. I'm not saying because I think England is a lot smarter than people give him credit for. But he got Sargon to look so fucking bad, which was what he went in saying he was going to do, and he I was, absolutely. I was using this as a cope meme, but in the end, it actually is true that like, there's the it's the same sort of thing with me and Halsey, where like if you weigh it. In terms of the actual, just the thing right there, like Halsey made he won because he he was like consistently had me on the, me with shit, and I was just like not in the right state of mind, so I was just like letting myself get wrecked. But at the end of the day, people still like me and still hate him. Real quick, Mike, Mike, I hate to I hate to cut you off, but um, there's a guy in the chat who goes by Ethnarch who keeps saying that Strike and Mike won't name the Jew, and he wants to get on here. <laughs> no. Do you have a way of getting in touch with him so that we could get him the link so that he could get on here? Because apparently he doesn't want to at me on Twitter for some reason. Jeez. He has his, his I don't have Ethnarch's contact. I love Ethnarch, but I don't even know his, how to contact the guy. Hey, Ethnarch, go on Twitter, bigcat underscore Kayla. We can make it happen. Oh, yeah, maybe, we've, got, we've got Queen of Manson to knock off Queen of Manson here. Let me check my Twitter, but I, I would need to... Until she speaks. Could you just resolve this now by naming the Jew, Mike, please? It's, it was... Never mind. Don't take the internet so seriously. Wow. Are you wait, Was that a gag? There's the, the whole, trying... No, the whole strike and Mike won't name the Jew thing. That's a meme, right? I mean, what the fuck? Wait, is, is Ethnarch... Is Ethnarch, in- is Ethnarch trying to come on the stream? Though? Yeah, no, Ethnarch wants on. I can't... He won't, he won't be able to... He says he's trying to add me on Hangouts. But my hangout handle is different, and it won't fucking type in the chat right for some reason. Do you guys have a way to DM with each other? I'm just this open chat right now, apparently. So that's why I'm like, do you guys have like your back channels? I don't actually. Fuck. I don't have a back channel, to Ethnarch. And he Should I call Sven? Yeah, yeah sure. Hit yeah, us. It's four thirty. I'm sure he's gonna. He's up. Absolutely... Well, yeah, it's he's... not like he's got a family or anything. This guy just goes to sleep at nine thirty. <laughs> so he's probably up already at the peak. You know, he woke up. He's doing his morning constitution. He's gonna get up to do his lift and like. Yeah, I was down. gonna say, make sure he does those squats, right? Yeah. Uh, so shit. All right. Um. 
Ethnarch is laughing like, in the chat. Ethnarch, you laughing is not helping. Just hit me on Twitter, man. Hit me on Twitter. It'll come up in my other. Oh, he says you have him on Skype. Oh, I do have that. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you name the Jew, he'll just appear. Send, send me, send me, send him to join. Well, see, it's not the Jews. It's a international clique of root, rootless cosmopolitans. They're not the same thing. The, it's the fucking. It's the Kurds. It's always. I mean, the wait. Who is it? the Armenian? No, is it? Which one are the Kardashians? Are they? I don't know. Are they fucking Somali at this point? Who gives They're the fucking fuck? animals? What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, dude, Ethnarch, your... what is this gay message you put in my tw in my Skype? Like, let's not. I don't well, even know like what the, the hell this is. Like, this yeah. is extremely gay. Like, black pills. What are you talking about? This is fun. Dude. The black pill. You know, you know who's fucking hilarious? Uh, what's that dude's name? Does the Paul Joseph Watson impression? Oh yeah, that's uh, Horatio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so, Bruno's told me about that guy. So DM me. Uh, DM me the link to send to Ethnarch so we can jump. Just in. you copy it, it on the copy, link? Yeah, it's copy, what you clicked copy, on to get here. Copy it out of the Hangouts. I don't know where, the fuck, like. where the hell did I even get that? All right, let me. Um, I'm Dude, gonna I'll take. Post it in the I... fucking side chat. All right, can you can you get that? Hang on. Yeah. Are you like a Gen X on the edge of boomer? Is that is that yeah. what's happening? Like it's, no, it's, dude, I was a computer programmer for 18 years. I know this that. isn't Linux. This is Windows. It's just the URL for the. Uh, it's right there. It's, it's on the side window. Chat. Just click it. Okay. I'm trying to make friends, and yet I'm <laughs> someone in the chat. Call Sven. No balls. You won't. <laughs> Can we get Steven Crowder on here? <laughs> Whoa, no, fuck, that guy's too radical for me, man. He definitely I, I won't name That's like one of my favorite memes. That's they, an old meme. I beam, think that I, I managed to do it. Diversity not, is our strength. Change my mind. Oof. Ooh, yes, yeah, so Queen Advance is saying, let's get underwater Alex Jones and fake Paul Joseph Watson together. You can do fake Infowars. That would be fucking fantastic. Yeah, where is, uh, yeah. I don't, I, again, he said he had a family. I wish I actually, like, talked to people, but I don't. Well, I sent you a DM, so if you talk to me, that's people, that's fine. You're good. Okay. I don't know I don't know any of these guys except Joaquin. I just have the old hangout from Scrubs. Uh, <laughs> this hangout is like two days old now. I, I happen to end up with fucking Mike. As long as the link still works, right? Yeah. There we go. I see a nice man in Hugo Boss. Let's Be careful you don't turn on your camera, Ethnark. Yeah, or you, or you can. Unless you're showing I mean, some yeah. titties. Just put some tape over it. Why, why? Or, oh, fuck. Oh, Show wait. Bob's. Who in the fuck uses devices that have cameras on them? That's what I want. I, 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 I the Japanese. Camera. This was an office computer. I got it for free. They're they're watching everything. They are. They are. <laughs> no, I was like, I was like, I thought it was so funny because the the New York regional director for the ADL started following me on Twitter like after like a week or two, and I was like, oh, they really, really are watching. Wait, who is they? They. <laughs> they, they, they. Who do you think they are, Toad? It's no. the people behind Kilroy. Oh boy, I'll go and talk to them and get to the bottom of this big problem you guys <laughs> have. They have about a 170 IQ. They have a high. I, I would watch the fuck out of the Toad McKinley and Mike Enoch Crash Kilroy show. Oof. Hey, Mike. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Did you was that you that was saying there was people saying that there was black pilling going on? Or? Yeah. What yeah, the dude, they're they're like, dude, Mike Mike's here saying everything sucks, you know, on on the on the stream. So what's the deal? You gotta get your friend in check here, Ethnarch. I don't know. What's I'm going not on. sure what they mean. I was giving a what I was saying is a lot of doom and gloom, Mike. We're doomed. Uh, well, well, did I you guys think I was doom and glooming? No, was like, I was I think you're telling... just... no, no, I can clear this up. The problem is I've got a nigger like avatar, which is black. And, right <laughs> and I was I was telling him that I was going to send my girlfriend over. No, no. <laughs> the, the issue is, the issue is that when I, I was telling what I actually think is going to happen in this country, which is that at some point white people will lose the ability to control who the electoral college what what you're getting is mike explaining Certainly to a possible retard, but which is know, me. obviously we don't we don't want to give up right well that was exactly what i was saying and i was saying that you have to fight for what you want no matter what and that struggle forges the kind of people that ultimately are going to win i see 
I was like, trying to convince him of the ethno state, but everyone just kept interrupting. I was going to say, you know, I mean, at least it's kind of showing people yeah, like, they're like, like, separation. Dude, Mike's like uh, four thirty in the morning on a school night, and Mike's out handing out black pills. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I well, wasn't countersinging the ethnostate. State. State. What I was saying is the first goal is political power. If you can't get political power, you're never getting the ethnostate. Well, and the only way you get political power is through numbers. Or, right, so. or huh. like killing a lot of people. No, <laughs> I'm, so I'm, not, I'm not for that. Of no, course not. No. Of course not. No. We're peaceful. Disavow. But, like, I mean, I don't know. I'm just thinking maybe uh, if it's not in the continental U.S., if there's a territory outside of that, they might be uh, less likely to fight for it. Just a thought. See, what I've been saying is I'm supposed to get of... Uganda. Well, no, I was thinking... Mike, actually... Mike, Mike, Kayla, right. here's the problem. Here's the problem is it's all this debate over right. Israel. You know, two-state solution, one-state yeah, solution. I see it negative one-state like solution. We make the ethno-state there. They ha you know what? Do you want to make our, our white ethno-state in Israel? Yeah, we make Israel the white ethno-state. We just take that... it from Fuck that, it's would too would be hot. the most interesting timeline, but <laughs> I don't see it happening. Really? Plus, where are they going to go? We already have like 20 million boomers that we would fight for that land. <laughs> yes, we do. The we send them, we send them in first. I say we take back Guam. <laughs> do we ever lose Guam? Didn't Guam tip over? Wasn't that... Like, Perfect spot. Who was, who was like the black the black congressman? Was like well, maybe it was gonna like tip over, and I was like, dude, maybe you're fucking drunk. <laughs> maybe I'll tip over. Oh boy. No, for real? Who was the ethnarch knows everything? So who was the black congressman that said Guam was gonna tip over? You remember this? Something. It doesn't, it doesn't matter who it was actually. It was in relation to stationing troops there. Yeah, yeah. If you put too many on there. He's like, if you Mike, put you too many, there's a cacophony of people talking simultaneously here. Oh, yeah, this might be triggering Whoops. your autism. Right. There are like, do we do we need to all mute ourselves so you guys can have a? Uh, if we one start chanting, will we have a brain. nervous breakdown? Very big brain, uh, shit. But yeah, I'll be quiet. What were we even talking about? Go on. If she breathed, she a thought. Ethnic <laughs> Ethnic Clark has a question for you. <laughs> Ethnic cluck. Uh, so no, I'm not. I wasn't handing out. Who said I was handing out black pills? Ethnic I was. Clark. I was just saying, like, I do think. I mean, do you think that we're? It's never going to happen that whites are going to not be able to control the presidency. I mean, like that's going to happen. Maybe that's a black pill. I didn't realize it. It's reality. Clark? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, I'm trying to be quiet now. Okay, F, F Narc. That's, that's he's, like, he's muted. He doesn't know that he's muted. Oh. Yeah, unmute yourself, buddy. I mean, and, and what, what you're talking about is if we can't control the president, we'll just stop having presidents. We'll have tribal lords with bones to the Hold nose. on. Hold on. <laughs> what, what, do what, do, what do you guys mean, we? <laughs> well, we? no, I think that... Um, you know, I want Trump to do everything, and I'm going to agitate for everything uh, that we want. Um, but yeah, like the white people are, are going to have to start to organize around uh, the idea that ultimately, like, polit geez, I don't want to be. No, this is too blackpilling. Okay, well, let me ask you a question. For what me. I really think is like, way too blackpilling. Well, then fucking say it, bro. No, I think that. The reality of a, you know, uh, white people dropping under 50% is probably inevitable. And I think that the reality of the electoral college slipping from our grasp is probably inevitable. And we need to be politically prepared for when that happens. Yeah, I don't see how that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm like off the Trump train or like I'm going to root for Trump to fail or something like that. No, I want Trump... If if we can stave off that future, that would be amazing. That's that would just be truly an incredible feat. But that's just being pragmatic. Yeah. Is it wrong at this point though, as somebody who feels rather upset with especially the way he's been handling foreign policy and the immigration policy so far, to say fuck him until he gets his shit together? I think no, it's that not. It, you expect anything less is your own fault. Right, but you can't. I mean, I get that, but you can't blame people for having hope, right? No, not at all. Um, I did too. I voted for the guy. 
And the, the Middle East stuff, the thing that sucks about it is that we know, those of us that are totally woke to how these things actually work, you know that, like, the people, if the people can push them around to do things like that, then we don't get what we want elsewhere either because those are the people in power ultimately. Um, the here and there is not like he Trump is not like the, the narrative that Trump like pulls the wool over like the deep state, which we all know what that really means. Mm. The idea that this, like these limited airstrikes, this brilliant show of strength that accomplished its goal and therefore like defuse the neocon agenda for another year. That's total bullshit. Like this, you have to look at the, these strikes were, were so weird in terms of what they did and how it was carried out that you had to really start getting your noggin jogging to try and figure out what was going on because like these were actually less effective than last year. Well, I actually did read in a New York Times article today that they said, oh, well, we didn't take out all of their, their chemical weapons bases or, or wherever their storage is, right? We just, we, we tried to kind of uh, dissuade uh, Assad from, from pursuing further with any of these attacks. And you're like, oh, okay, so you're leaving the door wide open, right? Wide open for the next one and then the next retaliation well, and so forth and so on. What it's, they did yeah, was uh, they hit all the bases that had evidence against Hillary Clinton <laughs> stashed in a vault somewhere. <laughs> I, 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 servers are just all stacked. Oh, yeah, like a I, okay, here, they didn't hold, hit anything. Wait, hold on. I'd like to say too, uh, Ethnarch, if you don't know that you're muted, if you're yelling right now, you're oh, fucking so muted. Sorry. If you want to chime in, yeah, I'm I don't sorry. know what's going on. Okay, so here's here's something. I, oh, he unmuted. Yeah, there oh. you go. Clark, are you there? Sorry, fam. Uh, I was double muted. Actually, I was muted locally. Yeah, what I was going to say is you can't knock out their ability to to make chlorine because people can make it in their toilets. And you can't knock out their ability to make sarin because it's a byproduct of the organophosphates that are used in the insecticide industry, right? So no, you can't knock it out. But also, like, they weren't even – the idea that we even talk about chemical weapons, it makes me feel – it's like <laughs> – it's not relevant. That's not what was going on no. here. So, Ethnar, you tell me what you think about this. This is Ryan Dawson's big brain narrative, which is like Oof. they deliberately launched slow moving missiles on, and on over a broad spectrum to see what the fuck the Syrian air defense was like. Well, that's part of it. And then they the gave reason. all of that when all now Israel has all that information. About. Well, yeah, so, so there's a couple of things. First of all, the, the United States and Britain and the UK and, and France and Israel, for that matter, have very sophisticated electronic warfare capabilities, right? And so they've been monitoring the, you know, what the, 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 the passive stuff and the occasional active things that the Syrians would turn on for quite some time. Yes, by forcing the Syrians and the Russians to go active, um, because and the Russians are smart, right? The Russians will turn on their, their, their radar, they'll make use of it, they'll shut it down, and then they'll immediately move you know, the, the, the uh, control van and, and the missile platform somewhere else. Syrians aren't that smart. So, yeah, they got a better electronic warfare picture of the SAM envelope. That's true. That's not the entire reason they did it. But I am concerned because we have this uh, carrier strike group with the Harry S. Truman that is currently steaming there. They'll get there around midweek or later later uh, this week, Thursday or Friday at the latest, because with the carrier strike group, you're actually looking at alpha strikes, which, you know, manned aircraft going into the SAM envelope potentially. And yeah, they've got, you know, they can do what's called SEAD, suppression of enemy air defenses, which used to be called like Wild Weasel or Iron Hand back in the day. Uh, and they can use that uh, electronic warfare map that they've built up. And that's what I'm concerned about is they're going to start launching, you know, more airstrikes against the uh, the actual, you know, uh, administration there in, in Damascus. I hope not. I hope it's just for show. But no, I, 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 I to, to his comment, what you really originally asked me about, Mike, um, it wasn't just an ELINT mapping exercise. Um, they did it, you know, to, to show that they were doing something, but it also has that byproduct as well, if that makes sense. Well, yeah, I, but, can I throw out something real quick on that? Because you brought up ELINT. I thought it was really fascinating that earlier, right before the strikes, they had the Donald Cook, the USS Donald Cook, pushing the, uh, they were inside Syrian territorial waters. USS out. are the Donald one? No, yeah, USS, USS Ar uh, Donald, Donald Cook. Cook. It's a, it's an it's an Arlie Burke class. No, I know. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Squeak, squeak. No, but the the point is, is uh, Ethnarch, you remember the last time that the Donald Cook said hi to the Russians, right? 
Yeah, yeah, they 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 shot shot those missiles. I sure do, and well, they, they're they also by, and they supposedly shut down all of the electronics on it. So I, I yep. do kind of think it was a my dick is bigger than your thing, trying to show them that hey, we figured we got your fucking number on this uh, electronic warfare stuff. Try that shit again. We dare you. We double dare you, motherfucker. Yeah, uh, I, I think you're I think you're spot on there. You know, the other thing to to keep in mind too is that the Syrians do have a number of uh, anti ship missile. Uh, installations on the coast, right? And um, the, the the games that the Donald S. Cook and the NITSA have been playing, they've been dodging in and out of the, the missile envelope there too, which is something to keep in mind as well. The, you know, I, I, I don't think we're going to get end up in, at war with the Russians, but uh, with all this hardware, right, and all these eager young fingers on triggers dodging in and out and playing these games, the potential for a misstep is very very high, and that's my main concern more than anything else. Well, do you think there's going to be another fake attack, a fake chemical attack that will then elicit a response? Because without a doubt, because um, all the indications I'm seeing are negative on this. Like it's it's uh, basically the French and the British, and this is weird. Like the French and the because I guess with Trump rather than somebody like George W. Bush in the presidency, like in a weird way, America is like the reluctant party here. Like Macron had to like neg America into action. Of course, America always supplies the largest amount of missiles and such, but like, well, I and think that's actually after BB already called Trump uh, and he tried calling him, but Trump had already decided to pull the troops out. That's before the gas attack. So sorry, yeah. Go ahead. yeah, but I mean, I think that it's, it's like the, the signal is being sent by like, if there's another attack, we're like locked and loaded and then more stuff is moving in. And, and then the fact that this was actually like a less effective strike than, than 2017 where they actually at least blew shit up like this. They, they seem to have not, you know, they just lobbed like slow moving missiles right directly into, you know, anti-aircraft fire. But, um, it's just, well, I don't, the, the, the Syrians, not either the Syrians or nor the Russians actually shot down any of the cruise missiles. Uh, that's well, not, that's, well, no, hang on, hang on. I've heard like the I'm exact a 67 opposite. out of 103. So that, the Pentagon wanna, says no, we, the Pentagon says everything hit, but I don't buy the, the Pentagon in the, in the next breath said Russian trolls are very active now on Twitter. And I was like, well, fuck, fuck and you. Plus, there were videos of them being intercepted, isn't that right? That's yeah, no, there were videos of of, of uh, Syrian anti aircraft, um, you know, missiles going up. But you know, in terms of uh, something visually that would indicate an interception, I haven't seen anything. Personally. I've seen a couple pictures that indicate interceptions, but I, I kind of want to move on away. From it wouldn't the, surprise me that they would be able to hit those missiles, though. Well, well my well, issue is by, whether is it symbolic because you keep saying it's a they can be intercepted a, potentially by fighter aircraft or by CMs, uh, even by by certain gun systems. So they've you know, got S three hundred Vs there; they can easily hit those if they want to. My my question is because you keep saying it was it was a mapping exercise or it, it was more related to a practical thing. I uh, my understanding of the attack was it was far more symbolic, and that it was really that was the big thing because you look at the outcome and yes, okay, the the people are saying the attack was a dismal failure, you know, so what? Nothing really happened. But it, it showed that they can do it with impunity, that the Russians were not willing to stop in, step in. That's right. And that, and that uh, the Russians really don't have a whole lot short of serious escalation in order to respond to this. Um, you know, I, do think not, a, I, do, I do think you're right. It's a symbolic attack. Uh, my understanding is that the Russian air defenses were not engaged. That this was all the Syrian uh, owned and operated stuff that, that, that was engaged and that they yeah. did not manage to significantly attrit the, the incoming uh, cruise missiles in any way. And uh, a good chunk of those were JASMs, right, which are a, a more, quote, stealthy. I mean, they're not really stealth, right, but they have a, an even smaller RCS than the Tomahawks. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not, they're they're not the really good it. hypersonic shit we got, but they got... They got well, there were no yeah. hypersonic missiles. No, that's what I'm saying, but we didn't... The United States doesn't stuff. have any hypersonic uh, mm -hmm. air breathing missiles. Officially. Not, not, officially. Not, not like submarine or battleship to, to ground missiles. Not, we I mean, we don't we don't have any air breathing hypersonic missiles, and quite frankly, I'm not sure that anybody else does either because of the unobtainium that's necessary to make them. But that's a different discussion. Well, what about we hit, we let's hit them with Trident twos? I know I'm joking. No 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 no. <laughs> no I'm but, joking. But I'm joking. <laughs> but but well, that's actually one of that's one of the reasons, by the way, that they, that they use that they that they use cruise missiles, right? Is because it doesn't look like an IRBM profile. Or something like that, right? That's one of the reasons they use them. Well, you because know, they didn't want the Russians to think, and it didn't go 1983 you, all over again. You want, you want to know something funny that I heard today from a, a, a friend in the Navy? Is that like, and now he could be wrong, but it's it's interesting. I didn't know this before that like 
apparently the missiles like aren't paid for until they're used like <laughs> like he was saying like oh yeah like all those tomahawks like sitting there like those are basically like we pay raytheon when we use them i don't know if that's true or not but it's like a rent to own program that, that sounds like a funny budget that that's not a really bad incentive. You know what? I, I've seen a lot of weird stuff in DOD budgets. Um, that wouldn't surprise me that they had done some kind of creative, uh, creative budgeting like that. Like, oh yeah, by the way, those missiles. Yeah, those are on loan until you actually fire, and then you pay us. Yeah. It's like, and I mean, every single one of those things, uh, especially the tomahawks that are made, are pure profit, right? Because the 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 original buys earned out, you know, years and years ago. So it's a very very low cost per unit for them to turn those things out. So they could certainly afford to 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 do that if they wanted to. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I just think that it, it's it's just there's a lot of speculation over it. I think that it's um, I, I don't. I think that the combination of the the missile strike, the uh, the announcement, of course, troops aren't coming out, which I thought was like an an assumption, immediate assumption upon learning that the uh, missiles were hitting, and now the announcement of new sanctions this this morning or tomorrow morning. Which which uh, Nimrata, whatever her name is, announced at the UN yesterday morning. She basically announced like yet more, like bullshit thrown at Russia. So I, I don't know. And and then like we're locked and loaded, ready in case there's another chemical attack. Well, what's that? What message does that send? That sends to the rebels. We'll get your get your ammonia and bleach out from under the kitchen cabinet, <laughs> and like start firing yeah. it across each other, and like see if you can simulate some phony attack and then like we'll we'll hit more targets so i I don't know i i um i you know we do know that you know israel wants ultimately israel's goal here was they wanted a salafist uh kind of state there that's what they want because that is their effective you know non-belligerent proxy regimes in the region like Saudi Arabia is the model kind of government they want to work with. They want to work with a non-democratic kind of fundamentalist Islamic regime. So much easier for them. I'm not even sure that they want that so much as they just want to, you know, reduce. Well, dude, it's, but it was literally no. leaked in strategy. No, no, I, I know what you're That's talking what about, the want. Salafist principality thing. I, I know what you're talking about. But yeah. I think that their real goal is just to reduce the military capabilities of all of their neighbors. And I think that they're kind of Yeah, I mean, ultimately, that's radius. sort of like the, the, the sort of... Mm, the, the, the ultimate end game here is greater Israel. But yeah, in the meantime... Say, build the in third the, in the, temple, yeah. Goyim. And in, in, in the meantime, they certainly do want to get these Sunni regimes uh, in place. And also the French want this as well. The French have decided that that's their key to become trying to become a great power Why again. Why is it always the motherfucking French dragging really. us into this shit? They did it in Vietnam. They do it all over the goddamn place. You know, the French uh -huh. start this shit. They leave us with the fucking problem. Hey, Uncle Sam, deal with this. And then we have to... Well, I, Eisenhower, that's Eisenhower, that's Eisenhower a, that's pushed fresh, them off, right? That's a pretty fresh take. Like, it's the French people that are responsible for shitty U.S. foreign policy. That's well, a, that's they, a hot take. I, I'm like, that's oh, like Eisenhower, very, Eisenhower, told, him, Eisenhower told him to get stuffed, right? But then it was a good old Jack Kennedy who uh, decided to 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 get to get us in there. Well, yeah, you know, the French connection, course, right? Yeah, of course. I have a different take on. I, I think of all the the Democrat wars of the 20th century that the only ones that were absolutely necessary ultimately for us to fight were both Korea and Vietnam, and those were a, a result of the wars we shouldn't have been fighting, like the Great War and the Second World War, but I guess that's a longer extended discussion. Yeah, yeah I think most people are on board with, like, LOL, we shouldn't have gone to World War II. <laughs> that's like, once we can get that meme active, because when I, when I first was, like, exploring politics, and I, I read Pat Buchanan's book. The Hitler Church on the Unnecessary War. When it first came out, I felt like I was, like, the edgiest guy, like, ever. Right? <laughs> like, I was reading that. I was like, this is so fucking edgy. And I was, like, reading it on the train so people would see I was reading it. And I was, like, leaving it at a conspicuous angle at my dad's house so he could, like, <laughs> see it and shake his head. Like, what is this? I remember the first time I told my dad I like Pat Buchanan, he almost fell out of his chair. But like, uh, you know, that thing I think is very powerful. That idea of like people feeling like it's cool to think what we think, and it, it is actually like way cooler when you look into the history of the anti-interventionist right. And there's like, oh wow, some some of them were anti-Semites. Charles Lindbergh did like, nothing wrong. No, he's fucking awesome. The kid. The, the kid thing kind of sucks for him. 
Yeah, but yeah, other than that, yeah, that second center of third family that he had, yeah. <laughs> his, but his, hey, hey, at least he was propagating good genes, right? No, his, his, his Jake, his, 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 his Judar was on point though. Like, you know, yeah. he knew about the the J problem. Yeah, this is something I was thinking about, Mike. Actually, is that what we want to, might want to think about doing? Is doing a series of deep dive podcasts on some of these grand historical events, and you know, um, peeling back the the uh, propaganda narrative and kind of you know trying to red pill people on what really happened. I don't know what that Troy was. Troy was an inside job. I think that's really useful because it gives people. Uh, it's one thing to be like edgy shit posting, but it's another thing to give people like a real kind of education. And the grounding that will really engage them. So yeah, I'm I'm all I'm all for that. I'll have to do some brushing up on some of this stuff. But yeah, you guys should. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can yeah, I always thought some of your best content was when you guys traced like the neoconservatives and the Trotskyites and the history there. You know, so that that's was- like my wheelhouse, though. That's why it's almost like, in a way, I feel like right at home again with the U.S. bombing the Middle East. I'm like now I'm I'm like in my comfort zone politically. It's like I, I don't know. It sounds stupid, but it's. It's like when it's you're like, a kid, you couldn't fall asleep until your dad started beating your mom in the other room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And now, oh, it's, boy. now it's, like, it's like happening. Yeah, no, I get it's exactly like that. You just got to turn on the Daily Show and it'll be like you're in 2005 um, again. I'm getting pretty tired if somebody could go beat their wife just to put me like a lull me to that point. Yeah. I appreciate it. Kayla, get over here, goddammit. <laughs> What's it, like five in the morning there, Mike? I'm taking. Find your own wife. Yeah, but I don't I don't keep normal hours. Like, I, I don't have a normal job. My job is That's true. this. I'm effectively at work right now. Yeah, get back. I, to I ain't paying you shit, motherfucker. <laughs> no, no, no. My my job <laughs> be like out as I'm um, like do like a thing where I talk. Hey, here here's a point. I mean, why are we always calling them Trotskyites? Why aren't we calling them like Bronsteinites? I'm just throwing that out there. Hmm. Bron- because because oh, most very, people very don't well. know that, that 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 was his real name. And we should get it out there. We should spread the word. Well, you just call him a Jew. Like every, <laughs> everybody knows he's a Jew. That's 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 the thing. Like you kind of don't need to to say his real name because everyone knows he's a Jew. But goddamn, Bronstein just echoes so much better than Trotsky. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, well, why do you think they did it? I mean, I'm I'm just like was just, just Jack Smith. He's an all-American wasp type. What, he likes to golf too. What, why won't you let him in your country club? Are you racist or something? Hey, wasps uh-huh. love communism. I mean, they're just notorious for it. You look all over the world, and every time communism rises up, it, it's always a wasp. It's just a fun fact. Oh, you, you know, remember the fucking the guy who was with Mao? He was like his first Treasury Secretary, who was just so Jewy, and he picked like a fake commie or a fake Chinese name. It was like General Jung or something, and the dude yeah. was just there with the stereotypical nose and the long teeth and. That guy died just recently, didn't he? He was a, he was a long lived dude, like into his nineties or something, if I recall. Probably those Asians live forever. Yeah, they're very they're very, the Japan uh, highest long longevity culture on planet Earth. Yeah, I think they got somebody uh, over there that's like one hundred and fifteen or one hundred sixty. Everybody right? in Japan is at lives to at least like eighty. Like all of them, they have a society where all their citizens live to what, at least eighty. That's incredible. What, yeah, what, but you, you have to be Japanese. That's the payment. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, but what they, would you, you motherfucker? See, was it uh, was it Chen Shao Mao? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, there were a couple of very prominent oh, Westerners no, 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 who were involved no, with really with, with the Mao regime for decades, and they lived to be very very old. Would it uh, would it be the possible okay. co- the cohesion of their society? Just just sorry, I, I have to interrupt. So I just looked up Mao treasurer on Google. Third result down. <laughs> Shut it down, TRS. If Chen Xiao Mao's tenure as the treasurer, and it's some Facebook link, so <laughs> just have to... and it's like it's literally it literally says shut it down, TRS. It says shut it down, shut down, TRS. <laughs> if Chen Xiao Mao's tenure as the treasurer, dot dot dot. Let me see this. Somebody Maybe responding in real time there. Yeah, this is this is some, that's, some, that's some incredible fucking SEO right there. Yeah, this high level we do. We have a whole team of people like oh. working on keyword optimization. Oh man, is this a whole Facebook thing? Shut down TRS. What did oh. I just find? Did you find a Facebook page dedicated to shutting us down? <laughs> yes, I is, it, is it Jews? Okay, is it I'm Jews or is it Chinese Jews? I'm sending you this because the their icon is so great. It says. <laughs> 
shut down the rubbish sites and like TRS is in a little trash can and it's like your classic uh, bathroom stick man. I- I'm sending oh, you that. Okay, but are they are they like are they are they uh, right wing or left wing? Are these just like pole tards or? Are, do you see anime there? Are no, you I'm people not... using fucking Facebook? I'm not on Facebook. That's why I was wondering whether I could actually get on there. Shut this down is. To you. Wait, I mean, is this, what is this? Why is it scraping my IP, Kayla? <laughs> is it? Is it seriously? Oh my god. No, well, like I've seen that meme. That meme's for 4chan. It won't let me, okay, let me see. I don't want to fucking join Facebook. No, what is this? This, this might not have anything to do with us. This too. might be different. This was just a, a happy coincidence, I guess. Oh, that, yeah, just a coincidence. <laughs> no, this is a Singaporean political thing. This is. I'm sorry. This okay. is Singapore politics. What the Dude, fuck? wait, wait. Is TRS in Singapore like our guys though? I, like this is something I need to look into. Biwa had refuted the allegations made by TOC about. What the TOC. fuck? I have no idea what I found. What has this, this fucking is evolved into? <laughs> Behind every I'm Jew sorry. Singaporean. Dude, this, this shit goes deep, man. I'm <laughs> telling you, like you never know what you're gonna find. Shut down TRS. Like I was so ready for this to be I about too, us. Me too. I'm sorry. No, but I think it's still like on some level it is about us. <laughs> Just <laughs> <didn't> like. <laughs> <laughs> what opposition members said to PM Lee about TPP before Trump's U-turn to re-enter the trade pact? Never buy into the socialism. Let's I want to know one thing, and and you better fucking answer this. What have the opposition like Chi Soon and Juan and Tan Ji say <laughs> have to say right now? I want to know what these motherfuckers <laughs> are saying I, right now. I can't tell issue. you. I mean, they've got Tom, my parents. Tom Limang, Tom Chiang, Tom Kung Pao. Close to their fingernails. I, I knew you were Canadian. Tom Mia, Tom Kung Chiang, Tom Pao, Tom Kung Pao. Speaks perfect Chinese. Fucking proof he's Canadian right there. Hui Oh, wait. Hui Shui. Wait. Damn it. Hua Shui. Bo. God damn it. Tom Kung Kiai, Shong Tiang Pa. It's a Bishi Toyota. It's too late for Mandarin. I'm sorry. Hua. Tong Soi. Dude, all I'm saying is that, like, these academics must have confused academic freedom with serious allegations made to Parliamentary Select Committee over the integrity of the government and the late LKY. Nobody stopped PM Thumb from doing his research. His papers were published without restrictions. But when he submitted his papers and making serious allegations of the government and the LKY, the committee has every right to scrutinize and question his biased, one-sided research. And this has been my fucking thing from day one on TRS. <laughs> just so, just so you know, what what, what they're actually talking PM about, Mike, is there's <laughs> what they're talking about is there's this big controversy in Singapore with the family of Lee Kuan Yew. Uh, because you know, after he died and everything, like you know, what's going to happen to the house and how are the assets going to get split up and all this nepotism stuff and everything. So that's what this is related to, I think. And it's like shut down TRS. Is that are they wanting to shut down Lee Kuan Yew or, or which? Uh, it, it, TRS has to be some acronym for for some well, uh, Sight, ministry or political party or something. Not I'll have like to dig into the it. Republic because of the, Singapore or something. Dude, I, they've I, got links to Prager U on this shit. Yeah, what yeah, Prager, 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 Prager U is big Prager. in Singapore. <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. What that time motherfucker is has, this? I don't that even mother, understand No, this. that motherfucker has ads on top of ads. Yeah. No, this is like legitimately like a post. Like somebody posted this. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, 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 it's, it's very vicious. And of course, they have censorship laws in Singapore too. And so um, people get actually oh, you know, snatched up. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Dude, there's one thing that actually is like a hilarious this is like an unbelievable meme hold on like this this image right here was it like, the trash can Please come in. <laughs> no it's like a here okay, let me post inside that. chat yeah can i like upload an image to this chat or just uh, copy the address link maybe yeah, <laughs> i don't know like i'm figuring out the internet it's like a screenshot though it's not <laughs> Let's All right. Well, here, let me, let me, let me. I'll post the address link to the post, and then if you look at it, you'll see. Well, I went to their about page, and uh, they're about upholding the spirit of shutdown TRS. 
<laughs> I think you should just totally freak out on. Well, him, look like. at that post that I, 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 I put, okay. like, put him on blast and just start being like, "What the fuck is wrong with like, you?" Look oh at, my like, look god! At that. Yes. <laughs> Are you sure this isn't just one of those Chinese automatically generated websites where they okay, just grab random see. words and generate it like they always what fucking do? What is going on here? And loading. <laughs> and it's about. Yeah, like look at that, that no. like dude, they incorporated. Oh, I gotta the, say, this it's like the three. Easy. It's like the three echoes with this, the yes. Junos. It's perfect. Yeah. It's fantastic. You will see this on Twitter tomorrow. Oh, they just got to see if it just I, now. I can't wait till then. Let's see, echo nose. Seems like a. There we go. It's a good meme right there. It's a solid that, meme. That's a solid meme. Okay, <laughs> I just actually posted the URI right in there as to what this is actually about. Uh, in the chat here. So the TRS is the real Singapore. And these are some of the... That's right, some, baby. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's These right. Fake-ass Asians. We're the real Singaporeans and shit. Yeah. I, mean, I the, think we the, found our new ethno state, this guys. Is, this has been one of the most... To, it is. What do you think my original vision was? Do you think it was about the U.S.? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, carry on the vision of Lee Kuan Yew. It That's all makes sense. Lee Kuan Yew is a great man, dude. For me. I I questioned you at first, Enoch. I really did. <laughs> I, oh man. Jesus, There's red bar, but I don't even know what's past the red bar. Like am I standing on the red roof? I don't know where I am at this point. The, the, the shut down. <laughs> TRS is also a party in, in like India. But I think it's like pretty shit tier. Yeah, I mean we do everything in India. Is, is, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's like but that's a good thing for them. Saying it's shit tier is like even even really like good. the Hind the the most base you get are like the 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 BJP <laughs> like the Hindu Nationalist Party and even they're yeah. pretty, like okay like okay. I don't dude, like uh, Modi. Modi's a fucking weirdo. Dude, well, I don't know. I mean, uh, some does some anybody Indian really like Pajit? We like, could work with them. He's not live with them, but Hindu nationalists are a strange breed, though, right? Because Hindus... yeah, they're the best of the crop in that country, though. Like that's who you'd want to be your your pals. They like were literally making shrines to Donald Trump, but like next to Adolf Hitler shrines are just like I mean individual from hopefully it, like a <laughs> little bit of both. Yeah, but I just like India. It's sort of like. Well, you know that these Indian nationalists were actually really involved with the Germans during the Great War, and they uh, there was this whole big plot they had in the U.S. where they were trying to buy all these weapons and buy a ship to, you know, to send them over to India so they could have a, another mutiny during the Great War. And they actually got caught in the U.S. And there was this huge trial. It was like the biggest, most expensive trial in the U.S. Uh, uh, to the, that point in time, and it was all about all these Hindu nationalists, and then one of them shot another one in the courtroom. I mean, it was pretty big stuff. It was like, uh, you know, a hundred and yes. some odd years ago. Fucking based. Yeah, that's, that's pretty based. But yeah. Hey, did we lose Carlton? I was just taking a dump. I don't see him anymore. Yeah, Toad, Toad had to go do a thing. Oh, How long have you, a good how night, Toad. What? Uh, five and a half hours. Jesus. Jeez. Should we oh. shut it down? Yeah, let's do uh, ten more minutes. You know, maybe yeah. make a plug or you want to say anything else, we'll go. And then I'll talk ten to the chat. Ten more minutes of, of Super Chats. <laughs> yeah. We haven't had we Super have Chats in about three hours. Chats? Oh, really? We had all, a few all fake the Super fell Chats. Asleep. Someone, someone wanted to ask, Mike, uh, are there any pro-white politicians or pro actually pro-white elected politicians in this country right now? Uh, already elected? I, I, I mean, mm. what about Steve King? What do you think of him? Steve King is a, is pro white. Um, let me try and think if I can think of any that are uh, low key. I mean, at the national level, Steve King is the first one that comes to mind. Yeah. Um, Chuck Schumer's pro white. <sighs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, pro China I think white. Steve Scalise, maybe. I'm not sure. Couple well, of Freedom what? Caucus guys. Yeah, I was gonna say, what do you yeah, think of Thomas uh, Massey? Gordon? Thomas Massey is is pretty good. Um, I don't know. He's he's a guy that will take positions that are like pro white by accident, though, because of his libertarian leanings. Yeah, but and he because he cucks on the weirdest stuff. Yeah, these libertarians always is like, oh, is this something unexpected? They're like solid, and like totally cuck on like border security, and you're like. Yeah, I had somebody who I have a decent amount of respect for the other day just unironically arguing that Rand Paul was the best choice out of all the primary people. And it's like, 
the dude launched fucking, you know, in Detroit. He's all Detroit Republican. We don't need border security. Like, I liked Ron a lot, and I know a lot of people kind of came over from that sphere, but, like, what what's become of that is not the same as what it was. Well, the theory on the whole Detroit Republican thing is that it's not that Rand is expecting to get blacks to vote for him. Is he's giving upper upper class whites permission to vote for him when he does like, hey, Detroit people, come vote for me. That means like the real signal is to the suburbs, like you suburban upper middle class whites, you can vote for me because I made noises about black poor black people. Well, and maybe if it had gotten ever more than one percent in the polls, I would have cared. But yeah, he was a pretty shitty candidate, so. Yeah. And then he beat the fuck out of his neighbor for no reason. I'm sure he was <laughs> asking for it. Yeah. He probably, like, you know, cut some tree or something that was hanging over his fence. Yeah, but at what point do you think, I'm a sitting United States senator, I've got people for this. Well, clearly wait, wait, he Biden beat up his neighbor? Aggression. He oh, beat wait, up no, his, his neighbor? neighbor, beat, his neighbor I thought the neighbor up. beat him up. Yeah, I had that backwards. Never They're mind. trolling. Never mind. All right. Yeah. Maybe I just. Well, well, I'm just well, tired. Just and I totally got that flipped. I'm not even. I, I actually like that. fell asleep for a second there. <laughs> yeah, Mo well, Brooks is pro white. Uh, Jim Jordan is. Mo, uh, Mo Brooks is good, but is is Mo, Mo Brooks is uh what, what is he? What office does he hold right now? Uh, I don't think he holds any office. They're waiting for him to uh, run in Alabama. Yeah. I think. They oh, want. We've got our favorite good. Jew in the chat. Hi, Babylonian Hebrew. Hi. Oh. Hey. You ever talk to Babylonian Hebrew, Mike? Don't bring that motherfucker in. I'm already sleep sleepy. No, I know, I know, I know. Years ago, Jesus years Christ. years ago, I talked to this fucking guy. Then we had to say, uh, you know, you're a Jew, so see you later. Oh, oh really? I think, think he got. I, I, I think he got involved in like the NRX scene in the city or something. Yeah, know. we've had him on a few times. Yeah, He's Mo a, guy. yeah, just just for the record, Mike Mo Brooks is a congressman, dude. Yeah, that's why I was asking uh, what he, what he, if he was holding an office right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in office. He's a congressman. That's good. Oh, so, yeah. so who's like, so like straight up on the level pro white? I guess there's Mo Brooks, Steve King, Mark uh, Meadows, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Who's Holden the guy Hill? who was the 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 professor who got elected in the by election and took uh, oh fuck old boys the seat in Virginia? Don't start yawning. David Larry Brad. Sabato? Barry Sotero. No, it's a bar, brat. <laughs> Barry Sotero. <laughs> no, so oh, just... Larry. I was thinking of Larry Sabato, but I don't remember the guy's name. <laughs> Not Barry Sotero. I, I, I would have said, said Larry Sotero, too. <laughs> just, just to annoy you. Like, wait, Larry Sotero? Like, so what's... It, all right, red, red bar me on, like, Barry Sotero. Like, this is the name that Obama used when he was living in Indonesia? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I... I don't know, man. That's what I heard, like, years ago. Yeah, that's yeah. his real name. That was his birth name. Okay. Yeah. yeah Obama, like, oh, my Obama understanding was he took Peter. Obama as his stepfather's last name, like... Any relation of... to Peter Cetera? Peter? No, I think Obama was, like, his supposed father's name. Oh, so he so his stepfather's last name was Cetera, and he used that because he was being raised by it, and then he went back to it? I don't remember. He was in. He was like he like lived in Indonesia for years as a kid. I know that was much. his mom legit a Jew. <sighs> Wouldn't no. surprise me, man. <laughs> no, but, but a lot of us think his father was Frank Marshall Davis. That's 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 that's, that's, that's the meat. Right? Frank Marshall Davis is his dad, not uh, Malik Obama, or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Malik Obama's his brother. But... Mike keeps getting lower and lower on his screen. <laughs> He's <gonna slide laughs> the Tired, yeah, the congressman you guys were thinking of was Dave Brandt, by the way. I think that's why I said that. I said that. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Yeah, hear Paul Blart Mall Cop, right? Yeah. I have no idea. No idea what you guys are talking about. Yeah, I got to go to bed, man. I'm actually like legitimately. Yeah. Well, uh, to fall. Toss out a plug. I'm sure uh, these guys already know who you are, but remind check them. Check out uh, Fast the Nation with Ethnarch on TRS Radio, the right stuff biz. And I'm gonna, it will, I have to do an episode of The Daily Show in like four hours. That should be fine. <laughs> That's going to no, be it'll, No, it'll be fine. Like, I actually, four hours of sleep, I'll be fine. Like, it's. Um, yeah, yeah, actually, Mike, Mike was on the latest FT, and we kind of did Show of the Nation. Yeah. This past weekend, so yeah, no, I do bimodal sleep. I take four hours, get up, do something, take another four hours. I don't do like eight hours of sleep, at least not recently. 
Yeah, but, how are uh, things going, Mike? Are they things, all right? Yeah, things are yeah. good. Things are good. Good. I'm glad uh, to hear you're doing well. Yeah, as well as can be expected. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Well, you've had a, you've had a rough past what, like 24 months. Uh, year. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's been actually everything was fine, and then like the lawsuit that's fucked up. That's that that's like if I could get out from under that, when I get out from under that, everything's gonna be gravy. Well, you always got same height as the fucking Trump card, there, right? <laughs> Just I, I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, of course, no. Wink, wink. Does anyone nudge, else fucking lose? <laughs> <laughs> no one would believe it. Anyway. Yeah, well, no, I actually have a, I have a good case. They don't have anything on me. I didn't do any, I didn't do nothing. You're so. a good boy. Yeah, I'm legitimately a very good boy. I'm such a good boy. I have to like scour around to find things, but yeah, there's like no. They're not going to get people on that discovery, are they? They're not going to get the the logs that they want. I, I don't know if you need to really lay out the whole legal. This is not, not really a good. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, no worries, no worries. Yeah, no. It actually, it actually is like literally a bad thing to do. Uh, Joaquin's yeah. just worried about his. Uh, I'm sure he's just worried about his. You know, I'm sure he's a pay cuck or it's, not pay. Cuck. It's. Uh, oh, I am a pay cuck. I'm uh, a well, I'll just cuck. say this: hey. like that, that, like things like that are way beyond the scope of reasonable discovery. So. Fair enough. There you go, Walker. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Hey, I'm a I'm a great moderator. I'm here to help. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're a good person. You've done nothing ethically questionable tonight, Kayla. Yeah. No, she didn't I'm show me them titties. Girl. That's as ethically Mike. bad as it gets. The fuck are you going on about? <laughs> Mike, you want to give us a preview of the show? Ooh. Yeah, there's a really funny, hilarious, um, pun that Sven came up with last night that I've been sitting on and I can't tell you right now. Oh, but it is it, it is really that. funny and it just it's 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 a new pun for people that go down the road of this was a oh, all of this everything is fine like this was a defensive win Trump is back in the driver's seat blah 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 like Oh, it's the ultimate cope post. Oh boy! Don't worry about it. It's a, it's, <laughs> it's a new, worried. it's a, it's a new pun that is really good that Sven came up with while we were hanging out last night. And Will it it's fit really on funny. a baseball cap? Yes. <laughs> okay. And I have, I have been sitting on it for thirty-six hours now. Yeah, don't blow That's it. That's gonna be driving. I'm, you I'm not blowing it. No, I just it's driving me insane. But <laughs> it's it's a and it's such a good pun that we like literally sat on it for thirty-six hours. My favorite one is Darth Seder. That was the best. You know, you know the funny thing is Sven has pun Tourette's. <laughs> so, like, as I realize this, because he doesn't just do it while we're doing the show. Like, if we're just hanging out, us hanging out is actually remarkably similar to doing the show. Where I just, like, talk, and he just... <laughs> As as I talk, Sven, not so much. No, no, here's how that Sorry, works. I, I talk. His brain, his his pun Tourette's brain hears the sounds, and he processes them, and then he spits out a pun. And like that's how that's like how it's like it's all he can't control it. It's automatic. So I'll just be talking, talking, telling the story, and he'll just be like spitting out puns as I talk, just like the show. Yeah, yeah, we'll see what you guys could work. do. Is you could kind of take that prep in the car concept and put on some body cams and extend it, right? <laughs> well, then we just don't have to do the show. The show had already yeah. been done. If we were just recording last night, then the show would be done already. It'd already be in the can. <laughs> yeah, but we'd be able to stare at like a dashboard and a steering wheel the whole time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and before we get out of here, you're going to Kilroy now, right? Mike and Kilroy. That's going to be. I, I can't thing. guarantee it. I, I don't know, Mike. But you're gonna try. You're gonna try to crash it. It would be hilarious. I think. I think if we could do it, when I get to the place I'm going, maybe I'll try and talk them into going there. That would be hilarious if we could do it. But I don't know if we can. I can't guarantee it. If you do, if you do, can you live stream it? I mean, just like, how would I? Can I just like walk in? Would I just feel like walk in? Or are they gonna stop you? You think they can afford security? <laughs> Only, I mean, if I go with the guys that I want to go with, there's no way they would stop us. I mean, just look like you're supposed to be there. Keep your chin <laughs> up. You're good. 
<laughs> how funny would it be to show up like a lot of people? Like, Actually, yeah, probably show with more people than they have in the event. <laughs> this is now our TRS pool party. Like, everybody. just take the podium and be like, "All right, <laughs> here's how it is," like, and then just, just start black pilling your speech. That would be great. Come I was giving like the most black pilled speech. <laughs> like, like we're gonna be a demographic minority. <laughs> They would be cheering for that. Those retards, they would love it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, I don't know. Well, d do it in live stream and let us know how that goes. We'll watch. We'll watch. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Anybody else got? Uh, Mike, don't forget to set your alarm on your phone. That's a good. Yeah, point. yeah. No, I'm going to do that right now. But yeah, everybody, what is it? What subscribe time is to it? Sweet Aaron on here. Make sure you've got it set so you get the mobile alerts when she goes live. I may just do that. Hey, Joaquin, oh. for, the, crazy, guys. for the people who are my fans, not yours, we're going to be watching this tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Why don't you plug them, let them know what you do? Sure. So tomorrow night on Ancapist's channel, we have Backyard Blood Sports lined up. It's going to be me and Ancapist versus two of Halsey's pet communists with Halsey debating. It should be fun. And then, uh, yeah. and debating Halsey. No, Halsey's moderating a debate with communists. Oh, oh, actually, real fast, uh, Enoch, I think hard to get that uh, that guy Rizzoli, the revisionist, to debate Halsey. I thought them discussing the Holocaust and actually discussing whether the numbers were accurate, the gas chambers were accurate, I was trying so hard. I spent like an hour tonight just trying to convince Halsey to do it. I haven't done it yet. You won't and do now, it? You won't well, here, do it here's now. the thing with Halsey. Here's my thing with Halsey. It's a shame. Just fucking ignore him. Don't talk to him. Well, he's in my Discord now. He's like one of the more active members. Who's on remove, Discord? Re remove him. <laughs> no, for real. The best troll of Halsey is like not talking to Halsey. He's he's funny. Like we run a tiny as YouTube channel, and he's like a draw at this point. He's he's useful. Well, hey, how about this, Enoch? If you know uh, any never, other, never never think you're using a Jew. That's a really good thing. <laughs> uh, well, no, but he's he's never playing. think it. The only way to win with Jews is to not play. <laughs> I'm not kidding, dude. Don't I know, think, you're not don't wrong. ever fucking think you're using a Jew. Like, don't ever think so. Every time I've ever thought that, I've been wrong. Well, I mean, he bring you know, he's the kind of guy who can because it's hard to find people to fucking argue from the other side. You know, you know, when you're a minority, you know, getting yeah. raped by Africans, you know, <laughs> don't say anything. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> You know, I'll, I'll have the discussion with the people. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if the co-hosts are willing to make that. No, it's a, it's up to you to do it, what you will with your channel. But if if you are like using him, he's definitely using you. Well, and no, is, I know. Well, like you, here's Halsey's thing. Here's Halsey's thing these days. I'm, I'm sure you don't keep up with him too much, but he's he's trying to do the whole blood sports thing now. He's he's got a site that's about to launch to be like the new blood sports thing, and he wants to be all blood. He's got fucking blood sports merchandise, Deuce. and he's gonna try to sell all that. Yeah, stuff. that's why you don't fucking talk to him because you're giving him a platform. Yeah. To, dude, this is the thing. This is the bit. As soon as all that shit goes live, he's cut off from the community. Oh. Seriously, oh. if we don't do it, if we don't do it, then I don't know what to tell you. Like, literally, he goes live with a new blood sports channel and a bunch of merch, and boom, he can't get on a single fucking blood sports channel on YouTube. I agree. If we don't do it, or I've already done it, if you guys don't do it, that's well, that's a conversation worth having, and I don't think I don't think that you're wrong. I, I that not, is a conversation worth having. Why I mean, give this fucking Jew what he wants? Why give him? Why give him a platform? He brings the crowd. Him... He's a heel. He's a he's a, the crowd. He's a guy is a born heel. I love how Mike was so sleepy until you brought up Jews, and now he's awake again. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no that was serious. What <laughs> crowd you're gonna get from Halsey? He's, you don't even want that crowd because no, that's crazy. it's not that crowd I care about. I, I have people come on. We had a very popular show. People who wanted to watch Halsey get destroyed. Yeah, That's what people show up for. Is for people and, to and, and as you do this, he builds a website, he sells merch, he builds his rep, he, he's now an indispensable guest. He's got to be on all the blood sports. He's Halsey, guys. We're the oxygen for these people. We need to cut them off. Exactly. Well, we, I mean, it's. I'm running a little tiny fucking channel here. Like, I got, you know, like, we're, we're, we've oh, got. Oh, I'm just running a tiny little, you know, philosophy school in Frankfurt, Germany. You know? <laughs> <laughs> It's just oh, a bunch, we're just philosophers. We're just sitting around talking about stuff. Well, let's see. I mean, I, I'm just an outside observer. I'm a middleman. Uh, maybe uh, sometime we cancel uh, we cancel Halsey and we book Enoch. 
Or, or do what you will. I'm just saying. Like, I'm with you. Well, here's you, the thing. Here's the thing, Mike. In like the larger context of what we're doing, I'm I'm kind of considering making a pretty large move going because we started out as like backyard blood sports. You know, just fucking around. We're just like mm-hmm. the backyard wrestlers, and it's kind of gotten a lot bigger than that. And Tonka was saying to me the other night, and he made a very good point that you know we're we've kind of outgrown it's about that. Ready we've, to like kick all the Jews out. <laughs> well, yeah, that we need to probably just, uh, you know, good. build a new thing and say, well, we're no longer just the fucking amateurs in the back. Let's do something professional and kind of redo it because we've got we've got some issues with some of our audience members that are perhaps overactive and a little insane in their participation. How they do <laughs> I know that feel. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I'm sure that you do. <laughs> you know, it's this it's the same fucking people. Yeah. I guarantee it's probably literally like oh. exactly. The same. I, that's what I'm saying. It is the same people. It's I, like I the same that individual people yeah i mean so I we're like we're, we're, we're like about to do something and i'm not sure because i haven't really had these conversations with the coast but it's also like i'm kind of the one doing most of the stuff if i wanted to make a move it wouldn't be that hard to say this is kind of how we're going to do things and it's like do we do we make a new brand do we make a new channel uh what's the what's the plan moving forward and all this kind of stuff goes into it and the halsey question i appreciate i appreciate you saying that on that because i think that that's good advice and i think that that's something i'll take to heart moving forward yeah, I mean, it's just it just started as just these innocent academics. Just we're just critiquing society. You know, don't we're just we're just here. We just have some ideas. We're throwing around. We just want to be part of the conversation. Next thing you know, like your grandchildren are at the library with the fucking tranny reading to them in a demon suit. You know, just, oh god, you know, I hate that red flag. You know, that's all I'm just saying. <sighs> Yeah, that's my, no, that's hey, my conclusion. Right, I, see this, I see this shit in our fucking chat, too. Like, Kayla, I've seen you throw it out. Slash our boomer Jew. That's what people are calling him now. That That is what people are calling him. Dude. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You fucking hit the You will fucking the take that Discord over if you if you don't watch out. Like, he will... I already have he one. Will, he will gather loyalists to him. He will spin a narrative in their ears. He will turn them against you. He will create factional infighting. He will split off a group of people from your Discord. He will then insist on being a part of every blood sports debate. He will make money from it. I'm telling you, man, I have seen this before. And, like, yeah. So, seriously, no. If you don't kick him out of your fucking Discord, you should just remove him. Just fucking remove him. No questions asked. Don't even tell anybody you did it. Don't even announce it. Just fucking kick him. People are going to say, oh, you're spurging, you're spurging. If you don't, I guarantee your Discord will be fucking in shambles and he will have turned half your friends against you by this time next year. Just take my word for it. It's what these people do full time. Jesus. All right. I don't want to be a black pill. I got you. I got you, Mike. And I I don't think that you you know this stuff. You know this stuff. And that's why I talked to you about these. Can we, can we just as an open ended thing, maybe do some interaction with the TRS people that are going forward? I know you got people on doing some hard shows. Me on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. Me on Twitter. I loved, I like doing these kind of streams. Yeah, they're fun. fun. This is is addicting. I've spent more of my weekend so far on streams than doing real life stuff. I have all these things I was supposed to do. And real life stuff is like sleep. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Real life is overrated. (laughs) Joaquin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm beginning to, I'm beginning to come to that point. Implying, implying real life. Um, <laughs> I'm loving it. I've got the house to myself for the next week, so this is this is what I'm going to be doing for the next. Y- week. Y'all alone for the next week, huh? What you doing? Well, yeah, what, you I'm coming out? over. That's what's happening. <laughs> that is not what. No. Gonna uh-uh. give you some Look at those five guys in the background. Mike wakes up all of a sudden. We, no, yeah. well, I'm so. living in Juneau, Alaska. If you guys can make it there, one, two, three, Main Street. Did you move there because the two parts of the word are Jew and no? <laughs> <laughs> fucking There's no synagogue. I mean, I'm just saying. Only with the anti-Semitic <laughs> remarks, all right? Fun fact. The Enoch, you're rethinking Juno, aren't you? This is just hilarious. <laughs> Jew. That was great. Jew. No Jew. <laughs> just turn around. No Jew. Yeah. No Jew. Trust me. We've, we've already. Is there literally there. no Jewish congregation there? I would be amazed. No synagogue. At least not in, not in Juno. In Anchorage and stuff, I think there is, but. Of course, yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Do they sure, escort them to the city limits when they come in? <laughs> no, <laughs> seriously, yeah, I don't get the sign. Native Americans but, but, there, and they're fine. We just take them off any state welfare or aid. Just call them snow niggers. No. Hey, we bring back their goddamn warrior spirit. That's a fucking disgrace. Shame on you. Before you so go they're not just like lying around drinking shampoo they, and stuff like that? They are. Well, you know, Mike, the <laughs> nice thing about drinking okay. Lysol is when you vomit, you just make everything cleaner. Problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I gotta go to bed. I'm yeah, take us off the air, man. Holy shit! All right, all right. Thanks all right. See you guys watching. It's been fun. Thanks everybody for coming you on your channel. We appreciate it. And Mike, it was a pleasure doing FTN with you this past weekend. Yeah.
All right, I'll talk to you soon, Ethnark. Uh, and seriously, everybody. fucking thank you for hosting this, man. This shit's yeah. been hilarious, Empty Hero. Hey, no problem. <laughs> All right, see you guys. I'm, I'm <laughs> hanging up now. Bye. Bye, Mike. Bye, Ethnark. Bye, Empty Hero. All right. Bye, baby. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. I want them titties. <laughs> I think it's just me now. Let's talk for a second. I got another minute, 15 seconds before we get that coveted six-hour mark. Anybody in chat got something to say? I don't need a super chat. Just type it, and we'll talk about whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, apparently... um. My fans were really put to sleep by the whole uh, Jewish question three hour long chat. And I kind of was too, but it, it's interesting. <laughs>